Hello, everybody. Welcome to Desert Mario 64. An eight hour trip, eight plus hour trip from Tucson, Arizona to Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, where Mario will be running and jumping for eight hours. That's it. That's 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 the intro. That's that's the intro. Um, hello, glad you're here. Uh, we're gonna have plenty of time to chat and mingle and 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 be merry. Uh, oh gosh, <laughs> what is what is happening? Uh. I think we're live. Are we live both on Twitch and YouTube right now? Are we are we live on both? Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're live on both. Cool. Hello. 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 We are live both on Twitch and YouTube today. Uh good to see everybody. Hello, Jezreel, Cyrus. Uh Aslix, how you doing? I can't, I'm so sorry, I butcher your name every single time. Dinich slash Beamfox, Melkar, Smart, Grain, o Oreo, Very Hungry, Ophibi, Ephibop, Grill Sarge, Third Coast, Trubbish. Uh, we're just going to get started. Um, this is eight hours. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on intro because we'll have plenty of time to chat. Let's start some music up. And... Um, yeah, happy March. I figured, what better way to start March than, than by doing this, right? Uh, let's let's restart. Let's restart here. Wow, you're really going to cross this desert by foot? What a crazy idea! But be careful. But be careful. It's going to take roughly eight hours by foot. And the desert is so hot, if you don't keep jumping, you will be burned. At least you have your trusty radio keeping you entertained with the best boomer songs throughout the trip. And so we begin! Hello! How's it going, everybody? We got eight hours. You're claiming the whole month? You, you, you have to. You gotta claim the whole month. Do not do this. I have to. This was a charity incentive. You guys always get on me. You don't do the charity incentives that you promise. Well, here you go. That's. Can you pause? You cannot pause. That's another issue. No pausing. This feels like a meme. I hope you're immersed. Yeah, early here, but only for you. Hey. I appreciate that. So it's eight hours of this? Hey, it's eight hours of conversation amongst friends. All right. Don't act like you're not impressed with this gameplay. I did put on some fancy road music. I don't know, it might be a little quiet, but it's on there. I had to, so normally Born in the USA plays by Bruce Springsteen, but I can't be doing that. When's the next viewer level stream on YouTube? Really? That's the question you're asking right now? Really? Man, if I had a dollar for every time I asked when I'm doing viewer levels, I, I'd be a rich, rich man. I would be a rich, rich man. What's up, Storm Hunter? Hey! Now, I can pause if I go into the emulator settings, but yeah. Thank you, T-Gamer. Hello, no you monkey. So this is the game? Yeah, we have an eight hour trip, but don't worry, the scenery, you know, subtly changes. We're in the desert. What's up, 84? What's up, Friday, July? Don't worry. Oh gosh, I almost went off the road. I almost went off the road. We can even change the, look at that. If we want to get spicy, we can change the camera angle. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, eight hours, baby. An eight hour desert bus stream featuring our favorite heroes, Super Mario and DGR. Nice on. <laughs> yeah, I added a couple new Tangia voices last night just to keep it fresh and spicy. What's up, Scrabble Boy? Are we speedrunning this game? Yes. Careful of oncoming traffic. Apparently, no one drives on this road. That's the Wii Sports announcer. Uh, I made a couple different ones. I made a Wario one last night that sounded really good, and then I put it in Tangia, and it sounded awful in Tangia. Like, I don't know what happens. Like, I made, I did the Tangia script, and Wario was perfect in the Tangia script. Or in the AI script. And then I uploaded it to Tangia, and they, like, completely changed it. Just goes on for miles. Uh, thank you so much, Daddy's Happy Sock. <laughs> Auntie, Aunt Tifa, by the way. Thank you for becoming a member, Aunt Tifa. Thank you, Aunt. Are you a... Isn't Tifa from uh, Final Fantasy VII? Apparently nobody drives on this road. Well, having seen this road, can you blame them? Yeah, now that now that I think about the name, yeah, it's maybe it was good I didn't shout it out at first, but oh well. Uh, anyways, uh, Daddy's Happy Sock, thank you for the gift sub to Tony McStoney. Thank you, thank you. Just a slight r rash, just slight, slight burn. What's up, Bart? What's up, Crazy Bee Guy? Yeah, so. I figured this will take this time. This will be an eight hour QA. Can I sing the hamster dance for you? Sure. Bit of dee da dee da do da dee da bit of do. Little 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 do. But dee 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 We can do predictions. I don't know what we would predict, but predictions, absolutely. Boo this game right now. When do you plan to do donator games? <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. What's up, Grover? Hello, Plaid Cat. Thank you, Sir Hurricane. Fire gameplay? I know, big deal. And, you know, I asked some streamer friends if they wanted to do this with me, and surprisingly, no one... No one took me up on the offer. No one wanted to do this with me. I don't know why. Why this version, not the OG one? I don't have a Sega CD. And I don't have a Sega CD. I don't have a way of streaming it. So this is the it's it's the next best thing, okay? Action man, thank you for the 39th. This is the high quality top tier gaming that keeps me coming back. Well, this is why I do it, Action Man. I knew you'd come back with this. What's up, Duck Knight? There is music playing, but apparently it's not alright, hold on. Hold on. I'll turn it up. Okay. I'll turn it up. No! No! Dude, if I die, the game ends. Just FYI, chat. So, I'm taking a big risk here. And I have to restart! If it gets up to 100 heat, you take you start taking damage. There you go. We're listening to Super Nintendo music this morning. Because I pretty much don't have to worry about copyright claims on Super Nintendo music. Unless it's Chrono Trigger or Earthbound. Then you have to worry about copyright strikes or copyright claims. But everything else is pretty good. When's the Getting Over stream? I've already done. I've already played Getting Over it. Can you jump on objects like fences? I don't know that I want to risk it. We're already seven minutes in, Nathan. We're almost there. What's up, Mass Justin? Exactly, double scoops. Uh, if you want to play the chat game, by the way, you have to be on Twitch. It doesn't work on YouTube, I don't think. Maybe it works on YouTube. It might, actually. 
I've actually never tried it on YouTube. It might work on YouTube. What's the goal of the game? Uh, we're trying to get to Las Vegas. It does work on YouTube. Nice. Yeah, I'd say some of my most popular videos and streams are when I do very stupid things for whatever reason. So here we are. Mario's kind of diving with the music. I don't know what you want to predict, but sure. I mean, if mods want to run predictions, I can't... I can't really do much. Mr. Crazy, thank you so much for the two years, by the way. I'm sorry, for the 27. Average Mike, thank you for the two years. Uh, dang it, I put... Hold on. There we go. Uh, Brianda, thank you for the $5 super chat. If you had to quit streaming, what else would you like to do? Uh, a lot of things. So, I hear this guy, DGR underscore Dave, is streaming himself playing Desert Bus. I mean... Who has the time and patience to drive a virtual bus across a virtual desert for hours on end? It's like watching paint dry, but with more monotony. <laughs> I guess some people really enjoy torturing themselves. Thank you, Jerry. Can you go off track? Yes, and die. This is peak gameplay because I woke up with a what headache. Would you like to do? Work is going to be pretty boring, but I might get news about the new job today. Hey, there we go. It might be pushed to Monday, the hiring manager said. Of course. A question, if I will. Sure. Was your phone call about being a secret daddy? No! Kappa. I'm not a secret daddy! I am not a secret daddy. That, that Seinfeld sounds pretty good, actually. Anti-swipe. I've been waiting for news to hear from you. I know you said at the end of the month, which was technically yesterday, but I also know how companies like to uh, drag their feet as well. So I'm also not shocked that it's going to hurt. But that's the worst. That well, the waiting is the worst part. 100%. Bearded Chuck, thank you for the 10 bits. Brianna, thank you. Um, I'd like to do a lot of things. Considering being a trash man, opening my own business. Uh, you know, I, I think about that stuff a lot because, you know, this is not... Streaming is not a forever career, right? As much as I love it, um, it's not a forever thing. Some people, it can be a forever thing because there's people that are large enough that they can uh, do this forever if they choose to. I don't have that option. Uh, I'm very I'm very thankful how long I have been able to do this. Uh, but for me, I, it's always definitely in the back of my mind, like, what's the next thing? Because I take it day by day. So we'll see. I, I don't really know. I've considered being... You know, getting my CDL and becoming a garbage man. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind picking up people's trash. Uh, I don't mind cleaning stuff. Like, I used to work in public sanitation. Like, I used to clean uh, public park baths. I mean, it, as much as it sucked, I didn't mind it. As many horror stories of, as I had. David uh, does yeah. almost anything for $2. It's true. Spin the wheel? Uh, no, I cannot spin the wheel today. If you do something wheel spin worthy, like being a tier three sub, that's gonna have to wait till tomorrow's stream when we play something normal. What's up, see Cyrus? Um, but yeah, I've considered like I got some business ideas that I would consider doing. Uh, as, as like an entrepreneur, um, since I've been my own boss, it's definitely gonna be hard to go back to like typical like eight to five schedule or whatever it may be definitely getting used to uh you know doing my own thing that would definitely be the biggest that's that's the hardest thing that i think about is like when i have to go back like but i also i'm also a guy that really really likes structure so it took me it took me quite a while to get used to like having no structure. Like um, if you looked when I went full time, like I started putting on some weight and I, you know it was just hard because I was so used to having a structured schedule for years and then not having that. As much as I tried to keep a structure, it it, it was difficult. 
excellent guess with oh 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 so I've, it's something i've definitely improved on over the years yo victor thank you so much for the gift sub to hey i'm bleeding me <laughs> great name What's the username's origin? Uh, my father-in-law's name is Dan, and he did video game repairs. That's it. That's that's the origin story. Yes, this is part of the Mario Thon. Yes, it is. Oh gosh, bad to the bone. How fitting is this song? <laughs> How fitting. I hate this song so much. I hate this. Hey, is that a mushroom? Look at that. That's our first time seeing a mushroom. Speed limit's 55. Has anybody actually driven this road, by the way, that I'm on? From Tucson, Arizona to Las Vegas, Nevada. Has anyone legitimately driven this route before? You have yuck? Yes, action man. <laughs> Is it as riveting as the gameplay you're seeing here? Why does this game exist? Ask Penn and Teller. Yes, I know thousands of people. I meant people that are here. I meant anybody in the stream ever driven this. Not quite as exciting as the game. Now, I gotta ask you this, how how patrolled is it? Like, could you go, I could find yourself, if it's just flat and nothingness, like I could, not even trying to, I could see myself speeding, like getting like into the 90s and 100s just because. Dolphin cheese? Now that's a new one. I mean, I've heard of all kinds of cheeses from cheddar to brie, but dolphin cheese, is that even a thing? I gotta say, DGR underscore Dave, you've got quite the imagination. But hey, who am I to judge? If you think there's a market for dolphin cheese, go for it. Thank you, Jerry. I'm, I'm so happy with how Jerry's voice turned out. I'm so happy, it sounds so good. What's up, Tylendor? What's up, Touchpad? I'm going towards the equator. <laughs> What's up, Sir Darby? Fruity Koala, thank you so much for the uh, seven. Chris, thank you for the $2 super chat. Um, can't spin the wheel today, but maybe tomorrow. Look, chat, we're already 15 minutes in. It's it's going fast. We're already... I don't even know. going fast what's the task time for this 645 kink as you can tell this is not tasked what's up star lily uh does mario get him on a bus at some point we are the bus can you blj in this unfortunately no this is, this is the game. This is why I said I, I was hoping people would show up to keep me company. <laughs> this is basically going to be an eight-hour Q&A. Eight hours. Is this console compatible? I actually downloaded it and have it on my N64. However, I didn't know like if it would work the whole time. It like fired up and I played a little bit of it. I paid like two minutes of it. But I'm like, is this gonna work all eight hours? And I didn't want to get like four hours in and the game crash or something. So I decided to use uh, Parallel Launcher. Dude, I would have been like, I would have just... Game Explain was hacked today. Dude, it can happen to anybody. Hacking is very scary, Noah. Like I'm... I'm trying to take all precautions. I changed my passwords. I actually bought a Google authenticator thing. Like, it plugs into your computer. It's, like, fingerprint activated and stuff.
Was it from? No, it was directly from Google. I don't remember what it's called. Where's Mario's cap? He's in the desert. All right. You approve of it, Ken? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I, I'm trying to do the best I can because I know, like, a lot of high-profile channels got hacked. You know, hearing that another channel got hacked, uh, probably going to change my password again. What if somebody has access to your finger? <laughs> Mario's good. Mario does, Mario's like a camel, dude. Mario can go hours, days without water. I did not buy anything. <laughs> this was a legit Google purchase. I have a receipt from Google. Yeah, I think it's a Titan security key. Tighten your hands. <laughs> Will I ever return to Game Builder Garage? Um, maybe so. That's a game that had a bunch of potential that Nintendo just kind of was like, here you go. No, I did not buy it from 2TB. Mario's holding a radio. So normally, the only song that is playing for all eight hours is Born in the USA by Bruce Springsteen. And that would give me a copyright strike or at least a claim in the slightest. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. We'll just listen to Super Nintendo music and I'll mute the... Jumps out of stream. Nothing like a DMCA in the morning to wake you up. The best part of waking up. Hey, you guys, listen, the only reason I'm playing this is because you guys are so heckin' generous during the charity stream. So, if you're mad at me that I'm playing this, blame yourself for being so darn generous. And raising so much money for the Jared box on Christmas, all right? It's, it's your fault, not mine. It's your fault. Yeah, welcome, uh, Linux. Hopefully I said your name right. Born in the USA, I was... That's my best Bruce Springsteen impersonation. Antler, thank you for the 47 months, Antler. Yeah, how dare you be so generous. Biggest thing, remind me like every hour to at least stand up, chat. You want to be a hacker and not just be a coder. I don't really know the difference. <laughs> I don't know about that, Dizzy. Bruce Springsteen may not like America, whether that's true or not. I'm sure he likes money. <laughs> if he can make an extra 50 bucks on this stream. We're, uh, we're trying to get to Las Vegas. Uh, Nathan, there's a funny uh, Easter egg I did find in this. If you go backwards right when this game starts, there is uh, there's, there's a little bit of an Easter egg. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'll let you play. I'll let you download it and play it. Yeah, what's, yeah, Brendan, that's why I figured, you know, I could do work with you. Can we pull over? Sure. Go back and find it, dude. Can you imagine 20 minutes in? You know, let's go back to the start. Uh, it's only, it's about a minute into it, Nathan. You don't have to go very far backwards. Uh, it's, it's a nod to one of Kaze's previous acts that is, uh, questionable, questionable content that I won't talk about. <laughs> Ken, thank you for the $5 thank super you. chat, Ken. Thank you so much. <sighs> Give a live walkthrough of Link to the Past. Snorhawk64 asked me, do you think DGR got scammed by a Nigerian prince with his fingerprint scanner from G00Glee? <laughs> nah, DGR underscore Dave knows better. But if they did, that's one speed run trick for losing money nobody needs to practice. Good one, Jerry. Your jokes need work. 
Thank you, Snorhawk. Dude, I'm so happy with how Jerry's voice turned out. I'm so happy. It turned out so good. What's up, Vegas? What's the deal? <laughs> Yo, sounds good, Nolan. I've had my wisdom teeth out. You know what? It ain't too bad. The worst part for me was the anesthesia. A secret daddy, huh? Well, DGR underscore Dave. I gotta tell you, secrets and fatherhood don't really go hand in hand. Being a dad is a big responsibility, and it's not something you can keep under wraps. Kids have a way of finding out everything eventually. So, my advice to you is to embrace fatherhood openly. I am not a secret daddy. I am a public father. Anti swipe asked me, do you think Dave's thumb meat will last for eight hours? I'm not convinced. Why does he have I'd British bet accent? Dave's thumbs are like the soup at Monk's. Made to last and probably more resilient than Newman's <laughs> willpower at a buffet. <laughs> Why does he have a brilliant... A br a Brazilian? Why does he have a British accent? <laughs> Thank you, anti So I, I want to refund. <laughs> kind of liked it, though. Jere, Jerome, Wish.com. Hey, it's better than Mr. Krabs. Sir Hurricane underscore asked me, how do we know Dave isn't using macros to continuously jump? Oh, please, if DGR underscore Dave had the tech skills to set up macros, we'd be watching them speedrun Excel spreadsheets instead of face planting in Mario. They got their thumbs, and that's it. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. Thank you, Jerry. Craig with the nuke bomb. Thank you, Nathan. Nope. Snorhawk64 asked me, can you give me your best British accent of your favorite joke about Caesar daddies? You know, I'm more into cereal than secret daddies, and my British accent would probably have you thinking the queen just turned into a New York taxi driver. But you've already done a British accent. We played this for show, but wait, go back. Wait, what, Jamie? We paid for this, so show us by going back to show- Oh, the Easter egg? I'm not- I'm a half hour into this. I'm not going back to show you the Easter egg. I'm not going back. Listen, if you want to see the Easter egg, I'm sure there's a YouTube video of it. Or you can fire up this game for yourself, and it takes like a minute to find. How bad can it get? If it gets up to 99, you take damage. Are you punishing myself, Mass Raccoon? No, I... This was a... Anti-Swipe asked me. We asked British Jerry Seinfeld what he thought, but what about you? Do you think Dave's thumb meat will last for eight hours of jumping, diving, and somersaulting? Absolutely! Just like a perfect 300 game in Wii Sports Bowling, DDGR Dave's thumbs are built for stamina and precision. They'll dance across those buttons like a pro golfer sinking chip-ins all day. Thank you, Wii Sports guy. Thank you. David, where did you go? Did you forget about me? I called shotgun on this <laughs> desert bus trip to Las Vegas, Nevada. Remember? You have to start over and pick me up. Get running, Gilbert. I'm a half hour into this trip, baby. Phone call on silent. <laughs> Thank you, Victor. Thank you, Sir Hurricane.
Has anybody, has anybody been playing the new Final Fantasy? How's the new Final Fantasy been, been? Pretty good? The heck is Sugma? It's amazing. Girlfriend has? Action Man? You get to play it when she's done. <laughs> uh, it's, it's basically... Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is from the Super Nintendo, yeah. I don't know what game it's from, but... Um... Oh, Illusion of Gaia. Oh, yeah. I need to play this on stream sometime. I really do. Um... Correct me if I'm wrong, Final Fantasy Gamer. So the original Final Fantasy VII on the PlayStation 1 was three discs, okay? From my understanding, there's going to be three parts to this Final Fantasy VII remake. And I'm assuming it's like each part is a disc, kind of. That's why you're glad your wife doesn't play games. Yeah, Amanda doesn't game either. Yeah, Rolf, I've, I, I played Star Wars Dark Forces a little bit back on the PS1. Not necessarily. Is it going to be four parts? Part one and two are... Holy... Listen. You're telling me... One PS1 disc is being turned into two games... On the PS5... Is that what you're telling me? Sir Hurricane underscore asked me, why do you kind of look like DGR Dave? Maybe because we both have faces made for HD. High difficulty, that is. But let's face it, Dave's the one playing Desert Mario 64. I'm just here for the laughs. Thank you, Jerry. Did a lot more. Listen, I'm all from... Listen, thank you, sir. <laughs> What's up, Boo Snacky? Now, this might seem weird, but they really like money. I was going to say, are they going to make this like a six-part... Is this going to be a six-part game? Has anybody ever played Illusion of Gaia? Illusion of Gaia is so good. I've heard three parts. Part three will be disc two and three. I never made it through disc one of Final Fantasy VII. Believe it or not, George isn't home. Please leave a message at the beep. I must be out or I'd pick up the phone. Where could I be? Believe it or not, I'm not home. What's the deal with Ovaltine? It comes in a round container and in a round glass. Why don't they call it round time? I've wondered that for years, Jerry. Thank you. Look at me! I'm a helicopter, not moving! My bra! <laughs> it is a great game, Hamlet. Thank you, Snorhawk. What's up, Flat Otter? Listen. You might be thinking, Dave, are you regretting this decision to play this? To that I say, no. Call me McDonald's. I'm hashtag loving this. I knew what I signed up for. You're saving up to say, make Sticker Star more bearable. Maybe I'll still play Sticker Star for you. It's only been 30 minutes. Please, this that's gone pretty fast. Play Sticker Star while we're playing this. How will you pee if you can't pause? I'll have Amanda come in and just run and jump. And then I won't wash my hands so I can get back here quicker. You don't like it? I thought you love it. Joanna! Thank you for the 48 months, Joanna. Also, Ken Steffens. I don't think I thank you for your five Canadian dollars, Ken. Thank you so much, Ken. 
Uh, if my heat, so if I just walk, you'll see the heat meter goes up, right? If that gets to 99, Mario takes damage. And if you die, the game just goes black. Just to not know. No, I have not closed the door on Return to Mario Thon. I have not, Slash. Why not run in it? Because it's a you go so you'll notice. Watch, see how it's going while we're just running. Now watch how much faster it goes when you do these jump dives. Can you see the speed difference? Just running, jump diving. You go like almost double the speed. This is the fastest way of traveling. Walk or running, jump diving. You just want to ask why? Because people are so dang generous. Here we are. They have creativity when they pick users' names, Machete. There's, if there's one thing I've learned from being a streamer and seeing thousands upon thousands of names is... Yes, people are creative. Any way to set up a BLJ at the beginning? No, this is um. When you sign up to play this, you're you're in it for the long haul. No no shortcuts in this. What's up, pizza potato? Tie rubber band. I might do that for the thumbstick. Up strong enough. How does jump diving actually get to the get you to the end faster? It's a much faster way of traveling, ham legs. I just showed off like the speed difference. Like if you just run, you go so much slower than by jump diving. I don't know who that is strong enough. What's the point of this game? We're trying to get to Las Vegas, Nevada. Bin three, two, foot. four, three, four, three, two, four. Ask me, Gilbert, what is your favorite letter? My fave letter? What a silly question, yo. I bet you thought I would say N. Actually, my fave letter is six, just like DGR. By the way, nah. That was not a real. Six. Okay. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Ben. I, I appreciate that. I don't that. need... I am I am very content with my ability to write the letter six. I... Yes, this was an incentive. This was one of the many incentives you guys unlocked was for me to play Desert Bus. So thank you for being so dang generous, chat. I hate you all. What's up, Bobby? This is your fault. Yeah, Mario is the bus, exactly. We are the bus. Imagine you're a bus. Isn't that how like the the frame theory goes with the original Super Mario Brothers speedruns? Imagine you're a bus. What's up, Derpy? Windows security, virus and threat protection. Dude, I thought I lost internet for a second. I was gonna cry. You can't be LJ. Who's a fan of Dano? I don't know who that is. 
strong enough. You keep asking if we're fans of these people. I've never heard of them. Is it just this for eight hours? It's not. You can look at it that way, but you know what I look at it as? Eight hours. Picture it as an eight-hour Q&A. There are people that stream 12 hours a day just chatting on platforms. This is just chatting while playing Mario running down Cobblestone Highway. morning good morning play unfair mario uh i have already played unfair mario there is a youtube video if you'd like to see me play it there's a full length youtube video of me playing and beating unfair mario what is the end goal we're getting to las vegas we got money in our pocket and we're we're about to Make some sweet, sweet stacks in Vegas. Uh, have you ever fallen asleep like one of my, your videos? No, I don't. <laughs> I have not done that drop because I don't watch myself. <laughs> I'm pretty narcissistic, but I don't watch my own YouTube videos when I go to bed. <laughs> What's up, Steve Springer? How are you? Is it just me or is it getting darker? Is there a storm coming? What's up, Third Coast? Gosh, I hate my own voice. I can't imagine. Anita B! Thank you for the 44 months, Anita. Haboob? Wait, what am I? What, what's Haboob? It's not pain. Listen, I'm. It's not that bad. I know. I know it's just Mario jumping, but seriously, look at this as more of a just chatting stream than anything else. All right. If if you look at it with a glass half full here, this is your chance to you know get down to the nitty gritty. Ask me my if my favorite color is light tan. If I like poopies. Play volleyball. Is it okay that you have 100 photos of Wario in your computer? I have 40 pictures of Wario on my computer. That just means you have 60 more than I do. Uh, it's, I have an EverDrive. I do have a modded N64, so it can play HDMI. It makes it easier to stream from. But I have an EverDrive, too. Thank you! Can you tell us Camel a story tone? from your Good younger fan. life? I would love to tell you a story of my younger life. What do you want to know about? How young are you talking here? Give me an age, Brianda. Give me an age range of when you want... I don't really remember much under five. Hello, Mallet. Nine months? I'll try to fi remember a good story if you give me an age. What's up, CJ? What's up, Cheese Pops? Cheese Pops, why right. are you doing this with me? I'm here for the dessert bus. Bring <laughs> on the ice cream and chocolate cake and cookies and... <laughs> Wait, there's sand in this dessert bus. Sand isn't a dessert. DGR David has lied to I me. I didn't lie. Shame on you. I'm going home now. Don't you vroom, shame. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Nathaniel? I hope we see like a mirage or something. Thank you, fruit. Uh, Brianda, if you gave me an age, I didn't see what age you said. Whoa, there's a shack up here. Yo, we're seeing a shack. I love shacks. 
This would be a perfect time for a Shaq TTS. Shaq. Shaq. Uh, just... Oh, that's... Okay. Nathan, that's the Easter egg, by the way. It's not really an Easter egg, because that's... That's the Shaq that's at the be if you go backwards in the game. <laughs> so you don't need to play it. This reminds you of your marriage. Perfect in every single way. Can you go in? Uh, there's just a bunch of scantily clad men in cowboy gear. Um, I'm probably not going to go in. Just FYI. What's up, Bryson Buzz? How you doing, Bryson? You're buying it now. I believe it is referring to something called Ram Ranch. That's all I'm gonna say. What's up, Mockney? What's up, Ben? How you doing, Ben Bono? No. That's all I'm gonna say. What's up, Crimson Fox? You're going to a robotics tournament. That's cool. I used to have to work at a robotics tournament. It was really fun, actually. It was really cool to see uh, the robots at work. No extra. I'm not, that's just what it's a reference to. That's all I'm saying. What's up, M Train? Early 20s or late teens? Okay. Um, let's see. Early 20s, late teens was like end of high school slash college. So, my old college days. Hmm. Let me think. I, I didn't, I'm such a boring individual. Let's see. Let's think of something interesting that happened. I'm trying to think of a story I haven't told. Uh, I played Undertale on the PC. Story I've never told before about my late teens, early 20s. Did I do anything with Amanda that was interesting? Because me and Amanda were dating then. Did I do anything interesting? Mmm. That was old crazy college nickname. What's up, Kev boy? Are we there yet? That's fair. Thanks, Rex. We're doing good. Yeah, this is the new Dune movie. I'll tell you about the time I, uh... I've told this story, but I'll tell it again. This was not one of my smarter things that I've done, but I'll tell this story. Because it was still pretty fun. Uh, one of my high school friends was having a Lord of the Rings party. I'm on a big, I'm on a, I'm on a big Lord of the Rings kick right now. I've been reading the books. He's having a Lord of the Rings party. We had to dress up as like a character. I dressed up as an orc. It's a pretty sick orc costume, won't lie. Uh, fire in the hole! Six! Thank you so much, fire in the hole. For the brand new tier one sub. Really appreciate that fire the whole thank you so much. It would be cool, Bart. I don't know anybody that would do that though. Am I friends with Fur or CJ? Yeah. I've hung out with CJ in real life. CJ is one of my favorite people. CJ, like, when I went to Kaizo Coliseum with CJ. Me and CJ clicked, like, really, really well. Like, we were... Yeah, he was just so much fun to hang out with. Uh, anyway, okay, back to this Lord of the Rings party. So, yes, my friends had a Lord of the Rings party. I dressed up like an orc. Somebody dressed up like Gandalf. Maybe been a hobbit dressed up. Uh, yeah, yes, I did not dress up as a hobbit. I know what you're thinking. You would have been a perfect hobbit. It would have been perfect golem. Shut up. Okay? Shut it. I know what you're thinking. Hey, 
Anyways. We were, the plan was to watch all three Lord of the Rings movies in one night. Uh, I don't even think we got through the first half of the first one. <laughs> because there was like 20 high school dudes there. There's no way 20 high school dudes are just going to sit still and watch three Lord of the Rings movies all night. So we ended up... I don't know whose bright idea this was, but somebody... It was going to be the extended editions. Yeah, what's up, Tomlin? What's up, Kung Fu Noodles? Um... My one friend had a... Was it a... Prius? Maybe it was a Neon? I don't remember. It was a very small, compact car. And we had the bright idea... Again, I've told this story, but I'm going to tell it again. We had the bright idea of trying to fit as many people into this vehicle as we could and drive around. So... I distinctly remember, how, let's see how many people we fit. We had one person in the driver's seat, I think two people in the passenger seat. Uh, we had one person laying across the lap of the driver and the two in the passenger seat. In the back there was four people in the back seat and one or two people laying across their laps. And there was two people in the trunk. I was in the trunk. So how many people was that? How many was that? That sounds illegal. Oh, it was 100% illegal. But it was, uh, don't worry, it was 2 a.m. in the morning. We weren't on main roads either. These were all, these were not main roads. What's up, Sherby? 12 people. Yeah, so we fit 12 people. 12. It was like, yeah. We weren't stupid enough to go on main roads. And no one was under the influence of anything as well. I know what you're thinking. Oh, high school kids, they were definitely under the influence. We were all hopped up on Mountain Dew. Okay, there was that was it. Under the influence of the ring. <laughs> Sauron was calling to us. It's only been 50 minutes. See, I look at it, it's already been 50 minutes. <laughs> Tony, that was the best explanation I could give. Um, It was a fun night, though. That's the night... They, this, um, this guy, the guy's house that we stayed at, had a cat. And at that time, I was really... I don't think I'm allergic to cats anymore. At least I don't feel like I am. I used to be, like, really, really, really allergic to cats. Yo, what's up, True Muffin Man? We're going to Las Vegas, baby. What's up, Mary? No, ham legs. We're gonna... It's... We're going as fast as we possibly can, and it might actually take us closer to nine hours. <laughs> what's up, Colin? Thank you, Colin. Uh, yeah, so that's the night, like, I was so allergic to this cat, like, both my eyes were swollen shut. Couldn't see. I slept under a couch seat that was, like, two inches above my face. Like, the couch leg was open, and I was under the couch leg. So if this person had closed the couch, my face would have gotten smashed. Couldn't smell my... Yes, I'm good. Thank you. You heading out? How do you know what you What's up, Joshua? Uh, I, I, there, you'll get notification. Yes. Nothing that tells us how far, other than it's meant to take the amount. I don't. Why don't you just check your phone? Why do you check my phone for the weather? I don't understand. Why Why is my phone better for checking the weather? No. What's up, Dark Fury? Oh my gosh, get in the hat. Get in the, there we go. It's a wife thing, apparently. She's checking the weather. Quote, quotation mark. Colin, it tells you how to play it.
Uh, Dark Fury, thank you for the $20 super chat. Holy heck, thank you so much. Uh, let's get a Wordle answer. Dave, this makes me think uh, of Finding Nemo. Just keep jumping. <laughs> thank you, Dark Fury. Really appreciate the uh, $20 donation, man. Thank you very much. Do you have a rubber band you can get me? Actually, that'd be really helpful. Then I would just have to, like, jump. Come on, chat. Let's get a Wordle answered. Unfortunately, and Dave, K is this no makes me think K of Finding available. Nemo. Just keep jumping. Just That's keep the jumping. That's Half-Life Skybox, is it really? Jumping, jumping, G jumping. You can't be LJ. There's no... There's got to be some form of... Thank you! So I can... Greetings just... from NYC. Ba D.A. Bing. Oh my gosh. I don't know how we're going to do this. We're going crooked. We're going crooked. We can hook it onto the bottom of the controller. But that's how I want to it. I don't it's hear. fine. You're fine. It's not going to work. What? Work. Yeah, come on, baby. Oh, yeah! Now we're cooking. Love you. Okay. Now I have a free hand, so if I need to itch my face, I can. I uh, rubber banded the control stick up. You cra it crashed when you were playing this on Sunday? You played this? Oh, please. That is not Kate. Exactly. Who here drives with two hands on their steering wheel at all times? No one. No one does. Whoa! Whoa! Fanga! Have I ever told you guys my deep admiration and love that I have? For that guy right there. Panga, I was just thinking about you yesterday. I hope you're having the time of your life in Japan. And I hope to see you soon, ma'am. Thank you so much. Welcome in, everybody, from Panga Stream. My name is DGR Dave. We are, against all better judgment, playing Desert Bus Mario 64... You might be asking, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Because this is going to be eight hours of this. We're one hour into this. We got seven plus more hours to go. I know what you're thinking. Dave, why are you doing this to yourself? <laughs> uh, this was part of a charity incentive during December. We, uh, we raised $60,000 for a local charity uh, called the Jared Box where they bring uh, boxes of toys to kids in the hospitals. Um, and one of the incentives was if we raised, I don't remember how much money it was. I think it was like 30,000 or 40,000. I would play Desert Bus 64. And uh, here we are, yeah. Can you go off road? You can, but I think you take damage. So, this is basically a just chatting stream with smatterings of Mario jump diving. What's up, Kayla? It tells you how to play. You type in SL game followed by your word guess. Thanks, Ray. Yeah, it was worth it. Uh, the charity was uh, a charity event was a huge success and will help a lot of kids so if I got to play this for eight hours uh, it's a very very small small price to pay what's up Rachel the last time I put in eight hours I put in eight hours every day bro uh, but again huge thank you Panga for the raid man that is so kind um, if you're coming from Panga stream Feel free to lurk away, hang out as long as you'd like. Love to get to know you, get to hang out with you for a little bit. Feel free to chat it up or hang out, whatever. Uh -huh. 
You know, David, I'm starting to think you don't like nuts anymore. It's been quite a while since you've had a nice dry fruit, my friend. Are you okay? Do we need to have an intervention? An internut tea in, perhaps? I can supply the nuts. I am very concerned for your status as Nutmaster David. Thank you very much. No, uh, I've just, tr I've been trying to lay off the nuts, you know what I'm saying? Feeling snacky. I used to feel snacky too much. The, the nuts were, uh, you know, bad gateway snack. High in fat. Now I'm on bread and water. That's it. In gruel. No, nuts. Yeah, but the, the nuts I were eating were covered in a uh, candy coating. <laughs> There was literally nothing healthy about French burnt nuts that I was eating. <laughs> the prisoner's diet. And the Dementors. Listen, I'm cool with mods running predictions. I just don't know what the dump you're going to predict on. Yes, I've overnutted many times and it is a huge mistake. Raise your hand if you've ever overnutted. If you know, you know. Will Dave jump, yes or no? One of the worst stomach aches you can ever have is if you eat too many nuts. Yo, we officially hit the one hour mark. Let's go! Let's go! There you go. Someone wanted a prediction. There you go. Gallifreyan, thank you for the 21 months. Nathan, thank you for the gift sub to... Uh, Aru the Rayet. Did I say that right? Oh, are we there yet? <laughs> oh, it makes a lot more sense now. Makes a lot more sense. Next stop, I gotta pee. There's no stopping. Hold your pee. I was known as being a hard... Supervisor. That's the word I was looking for. Hello, I Go <laughs> on. All right. All right. All right. Let me tell you the story, and let me see whose side you would you would agree with. Okay. Okay. Let me tell you a story, and I want to know whose side you would agree with. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, can you guys do this the for me? The Fonz 8 oh, no. asked me. The Fonz wants to know if Dave has the stamina to endure eight hours of this punishment. Ooh, yeah. DGR Dave's got more stamina than a cup of coffee in the hands of the madness. Sky's the limit and they are the rocket, yeah. They'll outlast the Energizer Bunny. Dig it! I don't, I don't, I don't really understand. What's up, Christian Rojas? How you doing, Christian? Thank you, Fawns. That's just the encouragement I needed. Speed limit is 55. I don't know if I'm going for that. Okay, here's the story. What's up, not the real concentrator? Okay, so... This is back when I worked at Penn State. We had to drive to New York for this big college fair. There's like 100 colleges. 
that you know kids from high schools all over can come and get information on colleges they're interested in. Okay, there's like 100 colleges, real big thing. It was like a three or four hour, three or four hour drive to get there. We had to leave very early in the morning to get there for this thing. And that we weren't gonna get back till really late. Okay? So we get up, we leave at like six or seven in the morning to get to New York. Okay? This is leading up to whose side you would take. Uh, it was me, my coworker, and we took our student intern. Our student intern was unpaid, mind you, okay? Just keep, keep that in mind. Our student intern was unpaid. Okay, so, you know, we pay, we pay for lunch and stuff, and all this, you know, we, we go to the thing. He doesn't have to pay for lunch or anything like that. But on the way home, okay, so it's been a really long day. At this point, my youngest daughter was, I don't even think she was two months old yet. So I wanted to get home to my daughter because Amanda's been alone all day. My daughter, I don't even think is two yet. Okay, so we're driving home. My coworker drove on the way there. I was driving the way back. I wanted to get home. So we're, we're on the way home. We got a four hour drive home. We're like, I'm driving straight through. I'm like, I'm not stopping for anything. We didn't need gas. We're all set to go. And the intern wants me to stop at a gas station so he can get a milkshake. We're like, we're like 45 minutes from home. I'm like, no, we're not stopping. I just want to get home. Not, it was not a strawberry milkshake. I'm like, I just want to get home. It's been a long day. Can we please just go home? And, you know, he wouldn't stop crying about the milkshake. And my coworker was like, no, we need to stop and get him a milkshake. Yada, yada, yada. So I had to stop and pull over to this gas station and get him a milkshake. So I ask you, I pose the question, and Dan, if you're watching, the intern, I love you, Dan. Who, who was in the right there? I was in the wrong? The driver is always right. We were we were 45 minutes from home. We had put in three hours. Like you can't wait till we get home to get 40. You can't wait 45 minutes to get a milkshake at home. Like we're we're almost home, bro. I want to get home to my my wife and two kids. My my daughter's not even two months old yet. The poor kid's being exploited by your company. <laughs> he knew it was unpaid. We were, it was, well, I had nothing to do with accepting it, but it was very upfront that it was an unpaid internship. The NB723 asked. We'd have to hear his Dave side, too. is determined to sit here and hold down two buttons on his controller for eight hours? Can he make it? What does this reveal about David's character? Does this finally make him a gamer? Sitting on a throne of blisters. Dave's conquering forts of frustration with the grit of a diamond in a tornado. His milk Does it make him a poison. gamer? No. It makes him a legend. Gamer, that's level one. Yeah, this is dump. the final boss of determination. No blisters yet. You think you think he, he had think to take a dump? Up to uh, Aru the Riot. Did I say that right? Listen, it needed capital letters. I couldn't tell what was going on. I, it needed capital letters. 
Isn't that a character in Lord of the Rings? Mallet? I needed to stand up. It's been an hour and I... You got, chat, you didn't remind me to stand DGR up. DGR underscore Dave asked me, what's the deal with airline food? It's an overdone joke, but I know, right? That's some of the most unsatisfying cuisine above Earth. My friend George had a bad experience with some bad peanuts once while flying, and that ruined his entire trip. I had a bad experience with Thank you for the gift sub to uh, Aru the Rayet. Why did Jerry sound so monotone? Well, at least it sounds like so, Jerry, okay? And it's not like Mr. Dave! Yes. It happened again. Now Batman has disappeared. He patrolled the server and protected <laughs> us. And now someone got him. Now who's going to keep us safe the next time Craig goes on one of his nine iron rampages? It's true. Thank you, Stormrunner. <laughs> Batman will come back. He's on vacation. I just added some new voices to mix it up today. Technically, I could give Craig a break at some point, too. I'm just really the sad. The asked me, should Dave have stopped for the unpaid intern to get a chocolate milkshake? I'm sorry, but prioritizing the acquisition of a milkshake during a speed run seems to be a rather inefficient use of resources and time. Thank you, Don't you Al. think? However, hydration and nutrition are important for human performance. So the decision, albeit illogical, could be deemed humane. <laughs> the way he said that was... kind of scary. I did get the world record, yes. <laughs> Team dot dot dot. You mean? I've been told that you all like ringtones. Here's what mine sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert, if you don't watch your lip, you will be the next target of a nine iron rampage. You a flack duck looking fool. Did Craig just call him an aff black duck? Or a flack? I've seen Jerry's act. He'd never agree to this. <laughs> never retire the legend Craig. Listen, I have them all. Listen, I have all the voices downloaded, so I can add them back in at any time I want. So I, got, I still got Jessica Fletcher. I still got George Costanza, who sounds really bad. Um, I'm just, I'm really, really, really upset. The Wario voice didn't work out better, man. Because the Wario voice sounded so hecking good. Yo, JP, thank you for the 21 months, JP. Appreciate that. That's a good, that's actually a really good prediction you were doing. It's unfortunate a Shaq showed up, but I like that prediction. Are you able to touch the sand? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to test it, though. What's up, Neo? I mean, there's got to be gas stations along this place, right? Maybe the Shaq represents gas station. 
Prediction is up. Dude, I've never played Doom. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna risk an hour and 15 minutes of progress. I mean, there has, what if you run out of gas along the road? Maybe the shack has milkshakes, listen. Guess what? If this shack did have milkshakes, I still wouldn't stop. Now, for some reason, I don't think playing a game for the first time would be a great idea for multi-world stuff. Is there a way to die? Yes. If I would stand still, you can die. See the heat going up, Ben? I'll show you what happens if you take damage, chat, because your health regenerates. So for everybody wondering what happens, there you go. You take burn damage. What's up, Lemon? Oh, heck. Okay, there we go. So, see, does it regenerate more? Yo! Oh, thank you so much! Las Vegas Mario 64. We get to see Luigi in the casino. Loving the sweet Doom music. I've never played Doom. Dave's gonna quit streaming after this? Nah. I've sat through 12 hours of viewer levels before. This is nothing. I've done a thousand endless easy levels. Wow. This is this is light work. The destination is Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, no bathroom, no eating. That's my plan. No. Uh, when Amanda gets home, I'll probably go to the bathroom, and she can just jump till I get done. And. Thankfully, I have my control stick rubber banded, so I just have to press the buttons. And then I can eat with one hand. In Las Vegas, Nevada! It's me, Blippi! In Las Vegas, Nevada! Is that Breeze? Secret blippy daddy. You're gonna need to answer for this prediction once it's over. What's the... Which cuisine does Dave prefer? Uh, this is a very easy answer, by the way. If you've watched any of hey, my Dave, streams, you should know are we this there answer. Yet? Hey, Dave! Are we there 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 this yet? Sounds exactly hey, Dave, like my youngest Are we child. there yet? Hey Dave, are we there yet? Only... Hey Dave, are she we there sound yet? Like Gilbert. Hey Dave, are we there yet? Hey Dave. Hey Gilbert. <laughs> Thank you Vegas. My youngest daughter is at the age where like if we have to make any trip that's like longer than an hour, she is like constantly asking. Are we there yet? No. We are not there yet. In the original game, it's 45. It was nice if K's let us go faster than 45. Chad isn't considered my love of hot za. Pizza's American. It's American. We've Americanized pizza. I bet you if I had a real Italian pizza, I wouldn't even recognize it. Yo, what's up, Andrew? 
The fact that you're now closer to 40, yeah, I'm gonna be dealing with that two months from now. I will be... 35, yep. I guarantee, like, if I went to Italy and got a legit pizza... Yeah, Untitled Goose Game is really fun. It would, no it would look and taste nothing like an American pizza. I'm willing to fly to Italy just to prove my point. The answer is Mexican food. I love Mexican food. Mexican's probably my favorite cuisine. I do love pizza, though. I didn't think about it, but I prefer m Mexican stuff way more. Burritos, tacos, enchiladas, nachos, quesadillas, uh, salsa, uh, uh, Chimichangas. Italian, I like pizza. Spaghetti, occasionally. Alfredo, occasionally. Pizza was hard carrying Italian. Hard carrying. You love me. Thank you, kid. I mean, Enda really wants to visit Italy someday. What's the- I didn't see what the prediction- what was the prediction? <laughs> I did not see what the prediction was. Hard, just like a silverback's chest. Hard, just like an algebra test. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have a mod mutiny here. You wanna see the Grand Canyon? Yeah, I'd like to see the Grand Canyon. What's up, Giselle? I'd like to see redwood trees before I die. But I don't want it to, I want to see it like in a non-commercialized area. Where all are redwood trees located? It's a piper. The red forest, play the red game. California coast. Are there anywhere to like see redwoods that aren't, you know, like walk on a trail and see them, not go where like all the tourists go to see them? Smile comment, you are determined to get the word audio to be <laughs> one of the answers. Washington, the state. Cool, I'll keep that in mind. One day I'd like to see him. What's the goal of the box above your head? It's like Wordle. It's just for something to do for chat. Why is this a thing, ooze bull? I mean, you could say that about many things on the internet, right? Why is it a thing? I don't know, but it is a thing, and here we are. Can you long jump if you want? Yeah, you can if you want. Yeah, Mount Rushmore's cool. Fruit 319 asked me, oh, Take care, yeah! popcorn. Thank you. Macho man, Randy Mario Poffo. Savage, my main man. Dave is doing a load of jumping out there, my friend. Oh, yeah. Could you teach him how to manage his breathing so he can maintain his stamina at 100%? Dig it. Oh, yeah. Fruit 319. 
to keep that stamina sky high. DGR Dave's got to do it like the macho man. Deep breaths in the heat of battle. Yeah. Rhythmic breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, pacing themselves like a champion. Dig it. Stay cool under pressure, just like the macho man snap into a slim gym. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hope we get sub nine hours. Yeah, he he was really inhaling. What's up, Ashley? How was your stream last night? By the way, Chad, I think... What Nathan didn't tell everyone is that he asked for his six-inch sub to be cut in half. So we can have those three inch subs. I'm not saying anything. Are we there yet? That's fair. I'm, I will not rat anybody out, but I will thank Princess Elia for the uh, Gilbert Gottfried TTS. <laughs> um. <laughs> Picking them between one and 60. Um, hopefully everybody's getting better. Amanda's at the doctor's right now. Again. Uh, yeah, man. Okay. I'm just so flipping tired of everyone being sick in this house. It has been... It's been rough. It's a different doctor this time, Titan. I do know we, we like last year, well, no, last year wasn't a good example because we were at the hospital a lot for Willow last year. Hey, John Songer. Thank you so much for the five US dollars, John. Turning 36 in a couple months? By a couple months, do you mean May? Is your birthday in May? Because my birthday is in May and I'm turning 35. I'm going to be in my mid-30s, dude. I'm I'm really scared what I'm going to do for my midlife crisis, chat. Do you think I'm going to have a mild midlife crisis? Do you think I'm going to have, like, a full-blown midlife crisis? Kid from up May 14th? Full-blown, no doubt. You turned 40 this month. What do you see happening when I have a midlife crisis? Tattoo, motorcycle, April 6th. Okay. Well, I hope you have a great birthday, John. Thank you so much. You turned 37. It's depressing. How do you define... You take the uh, typical life expectancy, which 40 is actually past the midlife point for uh in terms of average life expectancy for an american male because i think the average life expectancy for an american male is like 73 maybe correct me if i'm wrong there is it 73 or has it gone up or down suddenly sad stream It's like 70, 78. Rookie number. 77. Wow. Crazy. Thank you again, John. I appreciate it. How do you know you're not going backwards? Oh, gosh, kid boy. If we reach nine hours and haven't beat it, then we'll know we were going backwards the whole time. What is it in Japan? Dude, Japan's average life expectancy has to be at least 85. It's hey Dave, I'm 85. turning 36 in a couple months too. It sucks getting older. I now have allergies I never had. Still gaming like I was young though. Want me to ask Waffle? I kind of do. They say kids born today could live to be 150. That is not true. That is 100% not true. I can't 
can't wait for my kids to have to change my adult diapers, and I, I can laugh as I as they wipe me. They're like, ha <laughs> My, how the tables have turned. Hey, David. Did you get a chance to go to Bob Evans recently? <laughs> Try some Parisian burnt nuts. Bob Tell Evans what, doesn't have there nuts! There is no place like Bob Evans. The savory, delicious culinary odyssey. The benign staff. The luxury experience. Go to Bob Evans today and get those burnt Parisian nuts. <laughs> no ads. My thumbs hurt? Uh, not too bad. Perfect square. Oh, gosh. Why'd you have to bring math into this? Kenny dude? Rogers was driving a stagecoach across a dreary, deserted landscape much like this game. One of the wheels was a bit wobbly, and just as he got to the most inhospitable desert, the wheel fell off and rolled down Ooh, a ravine. Yes. Kenny sighed. You Changed picked a fine a time bit. to leave me loose, wheel. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Poor guy lost his wheel. Oh gosh! No! Ah! Struggling. Okay, don't change the camera angle. Noted. So there you go. No, you can't run into the sand. Fatter man, I know, lost some time. You're going the wrong way! You're going to kill someone! That is true, it does tell you to turn around if you're going the wrong way. So we do know we're going the right way at least. To so whoever asked if we knew we're going the right way, now we know. It's a quest and win. Uh, Sortier, it's on both Twitch and YouTube right now, so you can pick your poison where you'd rather hang out. Thank you! Subconcentrated. Hey, there's a shack! We found Shack! Looks like he's putting on some Icy Hot. And eating Papa John's pizza. 81 for men, 87 for women. Dude, that does not surprise me. Their diets are so good. They have such good diets. Isn't it crazy how, how important a diet is to life expectancy? Like, Japan eats so much fish and fish and like not much sugar and they live 10 years longer dude 10 years longer they have a 10 year longer life expectancy wild jimmy caps think of the gifts up to shack <laughs> really mediterranean diet what's in a mediterranean diet jess why is my shadow under the line? I don't know. I hate fish, so I'm screwed. I don't eat a whole lot of red meat, though, I will say. Because I heard red meat is bad in terms of longevity. I don't know if that's true or not, but... Hi, Slade. Yeah, they get, they're going to give me an eight-hour time slot to speak. Uh, what song would David rather delete? Iguana or Sucking on Chili Dogs? Iguana, Iguana. Slade, how's your son's legs doing, by the way? Sucking on Chili Dogs outside the Tasty Freeze. 
day, J and B is also two three. Ask me. David is refuting the legendary Bob Evans. He talks about diet. Then why is he waiting on Bob Evans? It is a top five restaurant all time, right? Oh yeah, J and B zero seven two three. Bob Evans might serve up a mean breakfast scramble, but when you're in the ring or on the stream of life, you gotta eat like a champion. Top five, maybe, but the macho man's diet, slim gyms, and pure madness. Yeah, dig it. I wonder how long a, a human could live eating only slim gyms. It's kind of like the super size. Has anybody ever watched Super Size Me? Where he eats McDonald's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Puts on like 90 pounds. Slim Jims and Madness. That's true. I forgot about the Madness. Wasn't it fake? I don't know. Could have been. Made that dude a lot of money though. 87 years life expectancy. I just want to know how long till your body shuts down if all you eat is slim <laughs> Interesting, Jimmy. It was 30. Okay, I exaggerated a smidge. I knew he put on a lot of weight, though. Uh, GrabFam, thanks so much for the 28 months. Appreciate that. Oh, oh gosh. 90 pounds, 30 pounds, same thing. Uwu is such a bad word, is it? I'd love to hear Jerry Seinfeld say, Uwu. What's up, Raven? Yo, what's up, GameCube Galaxy? My man. My man. Of all the streams to come hang out in. <laughs> How's your 2024 been, man? I appreciate you stopping by. You guys like all things GameCube related? You like finding out about underrated GameCube games and GameCube video games for you? GameCube Galaxy. That's your stop right there, man. I don't, I, like, I'm being legitimately serious. I, I'm not deep into internet culture. So I, I really don't understand what the, what the problem is with the word. Ooh. I'm trying to think, uh, GameCube Galaxy. There's a GameCube game I really want to tr try sometime. If you're still here um, sadly it's a Japanese exclusive and I don't think it's ever gotten an English translation have you ever heard of the G GameCube game gift Pia I think that's how you say it gift Pia second kid this summer congratulations that's awesome man that's so I have two kids I have two daughters G-I-F-T-P-I-A, I believe it's the way it's spelled. It's got some banging music. But it's, it was Japanese exclusive. So yeah, I got two daughters. Best of luck to you. It's a, it's a good time. Did you mute the horrible Born in the USA loop? I did, Woodsy. I didn't want to take a chance at the uh, copyright ninjas. I'd rather listen to some Super Nintendo music. What happens if you turn around? It says turn around. 
So maybe I'm not getting the true experience by not having the Born in the USA loot, but it was more of a... I didn't want this uh, VOD to be completely non-watchable. If it got... The whole, whole eight-hour VOD got... Not that anybody's gonna want to watch this VOD later. You could fast forward this entire VOD and it would be the same exact thing. Can you be all... No, slave. This is it. Oh man. I saw... Chat went too fast. I missed your, your message. I saw you say something about it. You've heard of it. You said people have been talking about it a little bit for a Japanese exclusive. I've thought about buying it. But I don't have a way to play Japanese GameCube games. I did Thunder Punch. We're, we're jumping our way there. No souls for hours. You'll see, if you look very carefully, uh, you'll see some shirtless cowboys to our left here up by this shack, if you look very quickly. And we're not stopping for them. Ah. <laughs> it's great. Having two kids is great. It's a, it I mean I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say it's easy. You know you know how if you have one kid you know how hard it is. Adding a second one adds some unique challenges. But I will say you won't really have anything that surprises you as much. Like you've exp I mean there's going to be surprises, but with your first kid, you literally feel like you have no idea what you're doing. There's no instruction manual. You're at the hospital for two days, and then they send you home. Yep, have a good life. You're on your own now. And you're, you're just you're looking down at your baby like, okay, what, what the heck do I do with this thing? What, what do I do? <laughs> What's up, Snyder? What's up, Solidorm? But with the second kid, you're like, oh yeah, okay. I remember the poops. I remember the projectile vomit. I remember the sleepless nights. Yeah, Joshua. It's. I will never forget driving my wife and my oldest daughter home, like leaving the hospital. Scariest drive of my life. I was so scared driving home, like, like what, is, what if something happens? What's up, Dutchy Dutch? Listen, Dutchy, picture this as a just chatting stream with Mario jumping in the background, all right? You know, considering Nathan's proximity to Canada, he probably uses the metric system. My oldest daughter so will be instead of a three inch sub, a he probably so. enjoys a 7.6 centimeter sub. Yeah, being a parent's the best. Despite all the challenges, despite all the money and everything, it's I wouldn't trade. Wouldn't trade it for anything. Wouldn't trade it for an entire GameCube library. You like it more when I play Mario Maker? Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard a couple people asking me when I'm doing viewer levels next. Has Mallet ever beaten Super Mario Wonder? Oh, that's an interesting question. I know the answer to that. When you play it Mario Wonder. Does this game ever end? Uh, no, it goes... So, the whole point of this game... Let me... In case you're here and you have no idea what's going on, let me kind of explain what this is. So back on the Sega CD, C, Sega CD days, which was like, what, 90, 90, 92, 1992 maybe? There was a game on the Sega CD called Penn and Teller something. It was a Penn and Teller video game. There was a game within that game called Desert Bus which was inspired by Penn & Teller's drive they did from Tucson, Arizona, 
to Las Vegas, Nevada. The eight hour trip. The eight hour drive of vast nothingness. And they're like, hey, let's put that in a video game. Ha ha, it'll be funny. And it has since then become like a internet meme of Desert Bus. Well, a couple years back, the legendary Super Mario 64 modder, Kays, who's made dozens and dozens of amazing Super Mario 64 hacks, decided to make Desert Bus, but only with Mario 64 instead. So it's... We're taking Mario from Tucson, Arizona to Las Vegas, Nevada. That's it. That's that's it. You 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 drove this, these Steves? <laughs> this is very inspired. <laughs> the answer to the the Discord question, I did Google it. Late, I googled so hard. This stream is a fever dream. I'm gonna be dreaming about it. What's up, Double R? What's up, Mrs. Grindle? Uh, yeah. The nice thing about this, I will say, what's up, Regets? Um. So let me show you. So this is when we normally walk. Look how slow we're going. The reason why I'm jump diving is because it doubles your speed, Mario's speed. So if I were to just do the normal, well, maybe not double, but at least probably uh, multiplies it by one and a half, I would say. So if I were to just run and jump the whole way, it would take probably 10 plus hours. But by doing these jump dives, it should take us between eight and nine hours. But in the original desert bus game, the bus would actually drift, like so you couldn't just hold the gas. Thankfully, there's no drift in in this version. And in the original Penn Teller, if you drifted off the road by not paying attention, it was game over. <laughs> you had to start all over. So if you were seven hours in and drifted off the road, you would have to start all the way back at the beginning. Yeah, uh, if your heat goes up to 99 or 100, uh, you take what would be fire damage. Like if you were playing Lethal Lava Land and fell in the lava. What's Mario holding? He's holding a radio. Why would anyone be seven hours into Desert Bus? I want to know how many people have actually beat this hack. I've never seen that Sparrow, but now I want to. <laughs> now I want to see that really bad. I'm going to have to look that up after the stream. Yeah, I know Xwater played it. I know Bird. I actually reached out to Bird. I was asking Bird, uh... Yo, Bromer, thank you so much for the gift sub. It's like, what are you trying to say? I am that special person. Slade, I should have had you play this with me to get you off the hook for not coming to my house. I should have been like, Slade, if you race me in this game, you no longer have to visit me. But since that's not the case, you still have to come visit me. Sorry. What's up, Diddy? Dead is no longer forgiven. Yo, JP, thanks for the gifts up to autism. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Mario is holding a radio. It's up, arcade gaming. Slade is a pilot and he owns his own plane. Slade, I'm gonna destroy you at pickleball, so I cannot wait to destroy you in pickleball. I cannot wait. You have no idea. No, I've never seen Fool Us, but that's Penn and Teller, right? 
you own your own plane. Don't act like you don't own your own plane. Don't be modest. I need a haircut. The problem is, my hair is getting to the length I want it to be, but I want to get rid of this copper moldy mac and cheese look so bad. Here's an actual question I have for you. No! No! Ah! Okay, we're fine. My game just froze for a second. We're fine. Oh my gosh. Dude. What's up, Christopher? Dude. You guys remember when my PC used to always freeze when I'd play computer games? Well, it just did that, but thankfully since then I found a way to avoid that happening. But it still glitches out occasionally. Okay, so my question is, you guys have heard the computer got bored. You guys have heard about, you know, the saying that the second... How's the saying go? The second happiest day of your life is when you buy a boat. The happiest day of your life is when you sell the boat. Right, is that the saying? Is that how the saying goes? Something like that? Well, I'm just curious if, if the analogy holds true with planes second happiest day of your life is when you buy a plane the happiest day of your life is when you sell the plane it is definitely not concentrated the point is you're really happy when you buy the boat but then you realize what a money trap boats are and you're even happier when you sell it because you don't have the money pit anymore what's up Malkyrian? it was part of the charity planes hold their value his boat an analogy for wife. <laughs> it was part of the charity event back here, and I said if we raised... I don't remember what the benchmark was, but it was like, if we raise 40000 or something, I'll play Desert Plus, and uh, here we are. Yeah, I'd sell it someday. I feel that. I have a pretty large video game collection, and... Quite frankly, I'm thinking about selling the majority of it. Because as I'm getting older, I'm like, I'm never going to have time to play all these games. So I'm just, I feel like I should just keep the ones that, one that I guarantee I will play. Or one that, like, I really do want to play someday and get rid of the rest of them. Having to clean a boat sounds like worse than cleaning a plane. Artisan, thank you for the 47 months. I appreciate it. Really appreciate it. I really don't have the money to buy a boat. I do kind of want to buy a four-wheeler. So if you guys don't know, I live in the middle of nowhere. Lots of like trails and places to ride a four-wheeler. I'm considering purchasing a four-wheeler this summer. Considering it. I'm looking into options. What's up, dark side? Don't forget, yeah, I could use that as like a ramp. I, I don't think I'd buy like a new four wheeler. I'd, I'd look for like a gently used one. God, please make sure he knows the best idea is just to bequeath those games to his kids. I could have 50 kids and the, all my video games that I own wouldn't get played. I have no idea what this music's from, Brownie. It's uh, something on the Super Nintendo. 
If you want to use, the, if you want to listen to the nine-hour playlist I'm listening to, Brownie, I do not have 50 secret kids. I am not a secret daddy. Chad, I'm not a secret daddy. Um, on YouTube, type in top 150 best SNES music tracks. That's the list we're listening to right now. You cannot pause, Chris. It's nine hours, Sergio. I, I, I'm not secret daddy. I'm not public papa. I'm just dad. Be fruitful and multiply. I've multiplied twice. That's plenty. What's up, Lord Nico? What happens if you need a break? Amanda comes in and relieves me while I go pee. Can you go backwards? You can, but it tells you you're going the wrong way. I am prison daddy. I'm not prison daddy. It's a double lump. Listen. The sooner you realize this is just a just chatting stream for eight hours with Mario playing in the background, the sooner you'll enjoy the stream for what it is, instead of being like, this is so boring. There are literal streamers on Twitch, full-time streamers, that do just no pee, chatting. Daddy didn't grab the pee. Daddy didn't grab no pee. They'll do 12-hour just chatting streams. Chill, laid back, just chatting stream, all right? I, I got you, Mason. You can go answer the doorbell. I tried adding uh, words on stream so you guys could play words on stream while, while I was doing this, but it, it didn't work right. Jardo, on a scale of one to 10, how much do you miss George Costanza's face? Mr. A game got married? Why did I think he was already married? Hi Amanda. I'm good. When you come home, I'll need to I'll need you to relieve me for a second while I go pee. What's up, Princess Zelda fan? Eight hours of roasting, yeah, get in the roast pot. I was gonna say, I thought he was married. I was like, I didn't think that was I didn't think that was like recent news. <laughs> like maybe I misunderstood. What could I rename it? Doubt two. DGR George. The game will crash. Uh, to be frankly, with how many jump inputs I've missed, it's gonna be over eight hours, Chad. Which, which clip, David? What's up, Dash? Do you have to jump all the time? If you don't jump, you see the heat index goes up. And it's really slow compared to jump diving. Jump diving increases your speed by like one and a half, I'm gonna guess. I don't have exact numbers. It's just a guess. I am daddy. Daddy I am. And I daddy. I must be daddy. Daddy. Daddy wasn't there, Daddy. Daddy wasn't there. To take me to the fair, to change my underwear, it seems he doesn't carry. Daddy wasn't there. Thank you, question mark? Is that a reference to a song? Did Pooh complete his 24 hour stream? That's gotta be finishing up here pretty quick. He's probably got like an hour left, I would guess. It's from Austin Powers, oh. I've never seen Austin Powers. Pooh is done? Oh, he ended at 22 hours, okay. 
I was in there. I was in there around 22 hours. He was he was he was feeling tired. He was looking tired. Who made it's about the time when I like that's when I start feeling it. The last like two hours, man, it is a grind. I still have not tried Power World yet. We are moving forward, believe it or not. Dude, I have been binging Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It, 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 I think it just came to Netflix. I have been loving <laughs> this prediction. <laughs> Sit down for a buffet. <laughs> it sold a lot of copies, though. No one's really talking about it anymore, but it's um, it sold a lot of copies. The only character that kind of gets on my nerves in Brooklyn Nine-Nine is Gina. I, and I know she's supposed to get on your nerves, but she gets on my nerves. What's up, uh, Cyanic Core? Charles is a great. Charles, Charles and uh, Hitchcock might be my two favorite characters. Hitchcock doesn't get much screen time, but when he does, he steals the show, baby. Jen! Jen, I owe you a wheel spin. Jen, does that mean you're here? Does that mean... What's up, True Muffin Man? Yeah, look at that. We're, we're almost to Vegas. We're almost two hours in. Jen, does that mean what I think it means? Has your weekend begun? Has your weekend begun? Yes, we are moving. Look at that mushroom getting closer. It has begun! Jen... May I just suggest a little bit of freedom? May you My have My IQ some... is 12. Jen's IQ is Kingman. 5. Kingman. May I suggest a little bit of freedom and uh, some ramen. Some ramen. Freedom and ramen. But yeah, I've, I've really been enjoying Brooklyn Nine-Nine. <laughs> I really like Andy Samberg. I totally get he's not everybody's cup of tea, but I find him hilarious. Very, very funny, like, writing. I've, I've really liked a lot of the writing in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. House is about, like... The do he's the doctor that has the cane, right? Can we not have music? I mean, I could turn it off, but... Then it would be just completely quiet. Because I can't turn on the in-game volume because it, it's born in the USA over and over and over. It's great till the last season. Don't spoil it for me. I'm still on season one. Let me come to hate it on my own terms. Hamlegs Gaming asked, Gilbert, chat keeps calling Dave a secret daddy. However, Dave keeps saying he is not. What is your opinion? Listen, if Dave says he is not a secret daddy, you need to respect that. Thank you. Call him secret nut granny instead. What? No. 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 Dude, is that was that met? Did I just get metaed? I think I just got metaed. I was like, oh man, this is actually Gilbert. Thank you, Gilbert. Uh, sit down at a buffet. Um, I mean, I do enjoy buffets once in a while, but I will say, COVID has really um changed my view on buffet having hundreds of random strangers hovering over my food potentially dropping 
chin hair and boogers and saliva into my food. Uh, so I prefer sit down. Yeah, that's true. There's the sneeze guard. It adds flavor. <laughs> I still enjoy a buffet once in a while. Mainly, if I go to a buffet, really all I want is the ice cream. The soft serve ice cream, dude. That's the only reason I do buffets. It's not for any of the food other than the ice cream. So, like, I can just go order ice cream somewhere. Wait, I didn't see... What did you say, Kid from Onet? I did not see what you said. Gilbert Gottfried asked me, Dwight, <laughs> since when can we ask each other questions? That's a very good question. I've been too busy at the beet farm to notice. Perhaps <laughs> Dave is giving us some form of freedom. No... No. They're going sentient. Ah, uh, it's like eight hours. Eight to nine hours, Eastfeld. What's up, Silverlink? I always sneeze in the guards, they feel useful. <laughs> What's up, Rax Dev? I need to stand up. We got two hours, baby. Two hours in. Yeah, I'm going to stand up here. On a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair, warm smell of colitis rising up through the air. Up ahead in the distance, I saw a shimmering... Deli what deli what? Deli snits, 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 
turkey gets slept on a little bit, I think. What's your preferred deli meat, chat? Ham or turkey? Delete Nick. Boy, I don't know. I... Anything but ham. Really? Meatballs? Tofu turkey? 12 pounds of bologna with ketchup. I know there's a prediction. I don't know. I like... That's like trying to pick who my favorite child is. Secret daddy, secret daddy through the desert. Have secret, Amanda secret, come secret, in and secret daddy. I'm not a secret daddy. I'm gonna have Amanda come in and uh, relieve me. But she's not home at the moment, so I can't do anything. You never want a dry breast. Excuse me. Why did the maple honey ham go to therapy? Because it had too many issues with being glazed over and never getting to the meat of its problems. Boo! Get new material, Jerry, you stink! You stink! Ooh, have we seen those rocks before? I don't know if we've ever seen those rocks. Jersey Mike? I don't know if I've ever had Jersey Mike's. Giz, have you ate at the new Mexican place yet? Jersey Mike's is so good. What's better, Jersey Mike's or... Uh... What's the other big it's a sandwich place? Brownie, stop complaining. Why is every time I look, you're complaining about something, Brownie? Yeah, Jimmy John's is what I was thinking of. I've had, I don't know if I've had Jimmy John's or Jersey Mike's. Can you enhance my nuts again? I've had one of them, and I don't remember which one it was. Tyler Mackey, thank you for the five US dollars. Ooh, this is from Joe and Mac. Great game. Joe and Mac is a fun game. Did you know, here's a, here's a fun did you know fact, chat. If you look in, some of the earliest DGR videos. This actually might be the very first video game footage ever on the stream. Is me and Dan playing Joe and Mac together. I don't know if it's the first, but it's, it's one of the first. Never played Joe and Mac too, David. It's too rare. Never got my hands on it. <laughs> if Thomas Edison saw this game in action, he would have given up on inventing. He would have given up on stealing Tesla's inventions. Uh, Erica the cat, thank you so much for the three months, Erica. I really appreciate that. Um, I really don't know. I love Gilbert and Nick. I love them. Both. I can't pick that. That's too hard for me to pick. I like them both. So I don't. I don't really want either of them to be deleted. I enjoy their company.
Oh, that was a man, Tyler. That was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. I. If you got a daddy issue, here's a daddy tissue. D to the A to the D D Y. D to the A to the D D Y. <laughs> they say it's just a fad, but I got a deadbeat dad. D to the A to the D D Y. D to the A to the D D Y. I sit in my room and cry, and ask myself the reason why. D to the A to the D D Y. Daddy. Sure. Um. Thank you. My biggest regret. Just watch the speedrunner versus the YouTubers speed video versus you YouTube. were in. That was really fun. fun. Watch. Was, but I should not. They asked me to do the uh, Hazy Maze Cave 100 coin star. And that was not a star I was comfortable getting. I should have said, but I was surrounded by, like, that was the first time I'd ever done anything like that. So I was like, sure, I'll do the Hazy Maze Cave 100 coin star. I should have just said no, I don't feel comfortable doing that stuff. <laughs> Alright, sounds good, Storm Hunter. Best of luck to you. Safe travels to you, my friend. Thanks for hanging out. Uh oh. Does Jen prefer. Does Jen's perfect sandwich have a pickle? I actually don't know the answer to this. I have a guess. If someone gifts me, I'll give five. Yo. Mods. Someone put it on my tab. Mods, someone gift the sub to Raxdeg. And I'll, I'll reimburse you. Do you expect what sort of time? Wait, what? I don't. What time? I can't gift it right now because I'm in the middle of jumping, but... Yo, okay! Monkey with the gift sub to Rax Deg. Thank you so much, Rax. Your move, friend. Your move! I'm actually curious if Jen's... Yo! What up? Raxdeg, you beautiful human being. Listen. There, I've seen a lot of promises on the internet go unfulfilled. You've just restored my faith in humanity a little bit, Rax. Rax, thank you so much for the five gift subs. Holy smokes. Thank you so much for the five gift subs. I appreciate that. All right, wait, can I guess, Jen? My guess, your perfect sandwich does not have pickles on it, is my guess. Yo, I appreciate it, Rax. Thank you seriously so much. Dave is right, let's go. It's like I know you. It's like we've been friends for a while. What it, I do not know what, what what do you consider your perfect sandwich by the way Jen Human bean yeah Just a little joke a little joke You know what I should have done while I played this? Oh man. I kind of regret not doing this now. Hooking up my Wii U and having Lucky Draw play while we did this. You guys don't know what Lucky Draw is the level in Mario Maker. It's a one in seven million chance that you beat the level. Having, uh, I know the answer to this one. I know the answer to this question. Do it now? I might. I might actually do that. Yeah, the pure RNG level, yep. Yeah. You have no prog although the it gets dark sometimes, Jardo. 
Like, the background gets a little bit darker. Could we do... Could we run... Listen, it's going to extend our time a little bit while I get it set up. But if you guys are down, I will... I will put on Lucky Draw for the last six hours. You guys really want me to. Dang it. Jeff, thank you for the 100 bits! Italian Just six grinder. more hours until I finish this hack and rightfully right claim the esteemed hey, title of Secret sorry. Desert Daddy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Italian grinder. I don't. I don't know what it. I don't know what an Italian grinder is. Uh, but the best sandwich I've ever had was a simple turkey, freshly cooked, one thick slice, lettuce, tomato, mayo, and a bit of onion. Dang. All right, hold on. I have to pause in the emulator. All right, chat, slight pause here while we set this up. Basically, I hope you're sub. Let's go. I know the timer's still going. You can't pause speedruns. I'm putting on lucky draw. I will consider my vow fulfilled. If my computer shuts down at this point, I consider I consider my vow fulfilled that I would play this game. Carried it two thirds of the way there, the ring two thirds of the way to Mordor and died. His vow would have been considered fulfilled, right?
got the hang tough. Sarge, Mom, and Night Kiddos, welcome. You got the hang too. So I have four users in Mario Maker. I don't remember which one I saved Lucky Draw to. Yeah, so the game itself doesn't have a pause button, but I had I had to actually physically pause the emulator. You got the hang tub. Hang tub. Uh, what's up, pet? choices. <laughs> Technically, I could just look up Lucky Draws. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Rax, for the thousand bits. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're amazing. That's not necessary, but I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Code in the chat for Lucky Draw. Okay, wait. I'll need to see that in a second. That voice crack, though. Listen, I'm a 35-year-old man going through puberty. Stop making fun of me. You won't be laughing when my voice starts sounding like this normally. You get the hang tough. Do -do 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 -do. Hold on, let me see if it's in here. Where are you at, Lucky Draw? Where are you at, brah? Ah, sheesh. All right, what is it? What's the code? Okay, hold up. I need to see that. Can I still, can you search codes? One, two, F, five, zero, 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 three, C, four, two, eight, one, one. We have a one in seven million chance of beating this level, chat. Yep, there it is. Do it. Let me hook this up. Um, Oh! 
There you go. There you go, chat. One in seven million chance. Wait, why am I hearing lucky draw music? Wait, why am I hearing Mario Maker music? Wait, why am I hearing Mario Maker music? What? Wait. Oh, it's from... Okay. 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 Dude, I was... I was so confused. I was so confused what was going on. I thought I was somehow... There we go. Uh, I, what was the, what was the question? I didn't see what was the question, Matt. Uh, Deku. Uh, Lucky Draw is a Mario Maker one level where you have a one in seven million chance of beating it. How many hours of sleep did I get last night? I'm watching one of those TikTok videos where they have three different things going on at once. I'm, I'm trying to really get you going, get your senses going. Thank you, Jardo. Um, to give them something else to watch aside from. What is it? It's a level in Mario Maker One called Lucky Draw. Yeah. One in seven million chance of beating the level. Go ahead and do the groceries first, and then come back. I just have to be. That's Yo, Bobzia! Like Look at the raid! Holy heck! What an honor! Holy heck! Thank you so much for the raid. How's it going, everybody? My name's DGR Dave. You are coming from a legendary gamer to me. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for coming by. My name, as I mentioned, is DGR Dave. <laughs> and we are playing Desert Mario 64, where we are taking Mario from Tucson, Arizona, all the way to Las Vegas, Nevada. It's about an eight to nine hour trip. We are two and a half hours into the into the run. Bubsy, thank you so much for the raid, dude. I'm a huge fan of your uh, thank you your streams, guys. If you don't know, go follow Bubsy, Bubsy. Um, great Mario sixty four player, but is probably most known for his blindfolded runs, beating Mario sixty four blindfolded, doing blindfolded speed runs. 
it's it's deli it's a delight. It's an absolute delight to watch, and uh, incredibly impressive. Um, I think Bubsy's 16 star blindfolded run might be faster than my non blindfolded 16 star run. <laughs> <laughs> let let that sink in chat this gamer is beating mario 64 faster blindfolded than me being able to see uh what I, what was the prediction again i didn't i don't know what the prediction was But yeah, I really, really appreciate the rate, man. Thank you so much. Have I cupped in the shop? <laughs> Chat, we have guests here. Let's be on our best behavior. We have we're we have friends over. This is like we have new friends over for dinner, okay? We don't talk about such things with new friends. We don't want to scare them off right away. The answer to your question is no, I haven't, by the way. I have nothing to feel ashamed about. I don't do that. Because I don't shower. That's gonna be annoying. I gotta, I, I gotta bump the control stick every ten minutes on my Wii U. We appreciate your honesty. You can adjust the dim and the options. Maybe I'll do that when Amanda comes in to take over for me. That explains the smell. Shut up, Team Chris. had to take a bath, Jerry. A bath. Sitting in a tepid pool of my own filth. Ooh, I like this song. I don't know what this song is from, but I dig it. Dig it! What makes it one in seven million? I made a video on this a long time ago, Scramble Boy. Um, there's a YouTube video out there. I don't, I don't remember what, why it's, it's one in seven million chance of beating this level. But I, I used to know. Am I gonna see the new Ghostbusters? Nah, I'm not a huge Ghostbusters fan. I never even finished the first Ghostbusters. How many showers has Dave taken this week? What do you consider this week? Do you guys consider Sunday the start of the week or Monday the start of the week? Dave has never been Mr. Stay Puffed. <laughs> oh, I, no, I know. No, I'm sorry. I know who that is, Girl Sarge. I'm, I am very aware who Mr. Stay Puffed is. CPU I, underscore test asked me, do you think Dave has the stamina to keep playing this game for another five and a half hours? Oh, come on. If a walrus can sit on a rock for hours, DGR Dave can handle pressing buttons a bit longer. Stamina? Please. I've seen toasters with more endurance. What kind of an insult is that? You've seen toasters with more more stamina? What does that even mean? 
No, this level is cleared. People have left their switch, uh, their Wii U's on for. for days in a row trying to beat this level. Listen, it only takes one time. Uh, I've taken, I shower at least once a day, chat. I cannot tell a lie. So what's today? Sometimes I shower twice a day, depending on if I do a st stinky workout in the evening. Sometimes I'll take a second shower. Can I, yes, Connor, I am. We don't have a DJR judge emote. Why don't you redeem it, Jen? Or make me buy a meatloaf from QBC. Yeah, that sounds right, Pixel Player. I jokingly said I don't take showers. I think... Listen, I'm just saying, like, if we had a zombie apocalypse, hygiene would probably be the hardest thing for me to deal with. Running out of deodorant and not being able to shower, I, I would be torture for me. Not the hordes of zombies roaming about, but not being able to shower and put on deodorant. I don't know, I'm just assuming there would be no running water. Now, now we're cooking. This song fits. Get your motor running. Yeah, my answer's ready. I'm ready. I don't know what the question was, but. Balls in my court. I like my balls in the court. Balls in my court? I feel comfortable when balls... No, I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna stop. What's up, bagels? I didn't, I actually did not see what the question was. The Chozon, thank you so much for the nine months, man. Sometimes it's hard to be a hero. Keep up the good fight. <laughs> I don't consider myself a hero, but I appreciate the support and I'm happy. Listen, if I'm a hero, you're also a hero. You, you're part of, you're in the, the brotherhood of superheroes with me. When's the last time I shaved? What are my what are the options? Anseline asked me, how often does Dave take a shower? Well, Anseline Dave second? showers a lot. He showers more at more often than he doesn't. You be hard pressed to find him outside of a shower. He's showering at this very moment. No, you did. That's because Dave believes in being a hygienic daddy. Spread the word. 
No, no, no. How? I, I, how I did, did you, Why did I, you press? I told you. I didn't mean to. I told you two buttons to press. Can I just jump, please? You're going to make it too Literally, complicated. You, press, jump. Boom. Jump. Okay, just jump. Yes, just thank jump. you. I don't know just why jump. that was a problem before. Just jump. What if it, what if you die? You are too going to wash your hands. I'm just jumping. My heat's at zero. Like, I literally am just jumping. I'm just jumping and then you want me to do all this other stuff. Like, just let me jump. How's this for jumping? I got a speed run going. I'm not going slow. I got a hot run. Look at this, look at this oh, technique. Okay, there you go, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so STFU. St. Francis University? <laughs> yes. Um, I'm gonna make chipstick sandwiches for dinner. Does that sound okay? Yes. See, I'm doing better than you were. You need my technique. Yeah, shut the front unicorn, exactly. I think it's St. Francis University. Listen, I've decided today to be spicy. So, Get your mushrooms ready. Well, it's time to hit the stride. Nothing. Mario's off to Vegas with Luigi by his side. I vote Amanda no playing. carts or bikes this time. Playing. Just running down the lane, jumping over Goombas um, in the desert rain. Speaking of, my cup Born to be wild intense, aren't they? through the mushroom kingdom, so mild. Actually, can you do that for a second? Now off to Vegas, the tales compiled. Mario. Past the pipes and castles where the piranha plants grow, dodging bullet bills as the desert winds blow. Coins in the air, like the lights of Vegas bright, Mario's on a mission, running through the night. Born to be wild, ditching the cart for a style so styled, to Vegas with a grin so beguiled. Oh. Your hand does cramp though. I think my technique is faster than your technique. It's a pretty good technique. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I think it's faster than yours. Did you say hi to the girls? I figured they'll come in. I'm literally giving you an option for a break. I, I'm fine. I, I don't want to yell taint. Why would anybody yell taint? We're doing the same thing, right? If anybody yells taint, then you can fight me. This is definitely faster. We are not the same person. I could, or Big Mountain Man, how dare you? It's a new lap record! How dare you? I did, though. I had an appointment this morning. Um to the doctors and since I went to the doctors in December till now I because of being sick so much I've lost like seven pounds so this sickness has rocked my body I know I was shocked when I hopped on their scale I was like don't call me babe I'm feeling better. I am, I'm feeling better. Not the way you want to lose it though. You know? Taint me today. Not that I like am that worried. Taint me But I was just tomorrow. saying like, I really was not feeling good.
stitches in your big toe. That's rough. Now my phone's ringing. This is not the time. I don't know. Oh, I gotta get this, Dave. I can't, it's the doctor. Hello? Uh, yes it is. I'm Secret Taint Daddy. I was changing shirts. Changing shirts. The other one was getting sweaty. It was getting hot in here. I'm unmuted. What? What happened to the controller? I don't know what was I don't know what was happening. Like I didn't do anything to the controller. I'm kind of stressed still. Oh. So, so she's gonna get Gotcha. Of course she does. Hey, what well, do you have what you thought? Thank you, Gilbert. This tainted love, yeah, that's, tainted love might be top five the least favorite songs for me. I hate tainted love. I think I last shaved chat on Sunday maybe. I don't know. What when was what were my options? Oh, it's definitely been over for uh 48 hours. Yeah, definitely over 48. Hours. My facial hair, it definitely grows faster than it did, but it's still, I, I don't grow facial hair very fast. Shoddy, it's your booty. It's not a, it's not a song that I love myself, but it sure as heck is catchy, isn't it? Have I ever grown a beard? Um, the longest I've gone without shaving is like a month. So no. <laughs> I, I've had like noticeable chin hair though. More than this. 
What's up, Jan the Man? You're watching Desert Mario 64. Hit that like button. If we get a thousand likes, I will end the stream right now. Killing me! Thank you for the 53 months! Well, hopefully, the doctor just called. Uh, my daughter has strep. Again. So hopefully this next round of antibiotics will get us better. Hopefully. Killaby, thank you so much for the 53 months, man. Uh, she had her tons of that? No, she is not. No, but both my daughters have had been dealing with strep. Yeah, it's been it's been a rough, really, 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 really rough <laughs> two months. Have I eaten sushi in the past five years? I haven't eaten sushi in thirty-five years. I hate sushi. <laughs> Buttertop, thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. Holy heck. Uh, sushi's gross. So no, I have not eaten sushi. Thank you so much. If you got a gift sub from Buttertub, please thank your gifter. Enjoy your emotes. Ad free viewing. But you've never had it. I don't have to eat something to know it's gross. All right. Still running. You were a sushi denier until you married Melkar. The problem is, okay, here's the problem. Amanda loves sushi so much. If she gets sushi, she's not sharing with me. So I can't even try it if I want to. Because Amanda, Amanda's like a dog on a bone. You do, you do not get in her way when there's sushi on her plate. Like, I feel like if I would try to take a bite, she would, she'd bite my arm. Your wife doesn't like it. I'm not spending money on uh, something that I know I'm not gonna like. What's up, Martha Madden? How does one not like sushi? I don't know, it's... I don't like fish. I think Amanda likes. What does? What kind of? What do I hear Amanda order when she gets sushi? What is she? What's in a California roll? I feel like she gets a California roll. Yo, Jeff. What up, Jeff? What's in a California roll, Grill Surge? Jeff, thank you so much for the $20 super chat. How's the weather over there, Jeff? Eastern PA. You live close to one of my mods, actually. Well, relatively speaking. Pennsylvania is a pretty big state. <laughs> Crab and avocado. She might eat that. Two mods. True. Truth. I think that's it. I think she likes. Ah, maybe she likes dragon rolls. What's in a dragon roll, chat? Raw <laughs> dragon? Mmm, <laughs> dragon. Spicy tuna. Nah, she doesn't like spicy stuff. I feel like California... Well, when Amanda inevitably comes in next, I'll ask her what her normal sushi choice is. Got some Castlevania music, dude.
Jeff, thank you again so much. Really, really appreciate it. I may be going to Eastern PA at some point this summer. Potentially. Dude, this this song is so good, AZ. Enjoy your walk drop. Oh man, I wish I could go for a walk. My my next hiking spot is I'm going to be exploring some abandoned World War II bunkers. As soon as it gets nice out, that's my next destination. Unagi type of deal. I would love to hike the Grand Canyon. I'm, I'm in. I'm there. Happy Friday from the eastern side of PA. I'm there, baby. Okay, which cuddling situation would you prefer? Gimli is your little spoon or Aragon is... What? So basically, who would I rather cuddle with? Gimli or Aragon? Spoon position factors it. <laughs> I'm deeply disturbed by this prediction. <laughs> may I, may I please put that in before I answer the question? I'm deeply disturbed by this. You're holding Gimli or Aragon holding you? Um, I'm the same height as Vigo Mortensen, man. How tall is Vigo Mortensen? <laughs> What's up, Derek? Derek, I would not be offended if you slowly walk back out the door. It's not Aragon. I know Aragon is a book. Hey Dave, this is Future Dave. I just wanted to warn you that one of your mods is planning on betraying you. I can't tell you who it is, but I can give hint. They are in the basement, nine dine. <laughs> I think it's too. I think I think it's too late for Future Dave. It's too late for Future Dave. Future Dave is dead. Um, I think I'd rather be the cuddly, I guess. Hold me, Daddy Aragon. I feel like Gimli would smell bad. But Aragon would probably smell bad, too. I mean, if... Should just, if, if you had said Legolas, that would have been a winner. Please stop with Aragon. How do you say it, then? I'll say it however I want to say it. I get so... Flipping tired of people telling me how much I say things wrong. That is uh, so annoying. I for a role as a pirate, but they said I was too intense. So. Just, whatever. Ah, matey. I'll tone it down for you. But they still didn't cast me. I guess they were looking for someone with a little less. Sorry, I don't pr Arr, pronounce and literally a everything more. right. Arr. Excuse me. Now I'm... Just so you know, I'm going to say it wrong even more now, just out of spite, because you guys are ridiculous. Kid from another, thank you for the gift sub to Filthy. Thank you so much. It's pronounced Jimly. Stop saying it wrong!
If you haven't figured it out, the English language sucks! Derek, David Hunter, the English language. There are no rules. <laughs> Mallet, I read uh, last night before I went to bed. I read uh, the Muster Holy of Daddy Rohan. Aragon. That was the chapter I read last night. You remember that chapter intimately? Fusion Destro asked me, can you tell us the difference between toads and frogs? Oh yeah, Fusion Destro. In the kingdom of the Macha Man, toads are the loyal subjects cheering you on, yeah. But frogs, they're the ones leaping to the top rope, ready to rain down with that high-flying action. Dig it. <laughs> Not what I expected, but, um... Dave, at 8 a.m. today? Someone poisons the coffee. Do not drink the coffee. More instructions will follow. Cordially, future Dwight. Dwight, it's 11.38 a.m. <laughs> your, your warning is a little late. Jed, thank you for the 500 bits. Return of the King was a much easier read than... I have actually found that myself, Jen. Mallet kind of scared me. Mallet said it was like reading through... Chronicles in the Bible So I was like, uh oh, but so far I've been pleasantly surprised the flow has been better in return of the King. That is too what you said I have proof that's what you said No, it is not it is not what you said that is not that is not what you said. Drunk Snake, thank you for the 27 months. Hello. Hi. Hey, what's your what's your go-to sushi? What do you like order? That's not a sushi. I said sushi. What kind of roll? It's called a yummy roll here. I don't know what it's called. It's called a yummy roll. Amanda orders a yummy roll, which has sh shrimp tempura, avocado. Did I say avocado wrong? And spicy crab up on top. I thought you didn't like spicy stuff. Sir, Fruit319 asked me, do you think it's true that one of Dave's mods will turn on him in the future? Which do you think it will be? I predict it'll be Nathan, fed up with three inch jokes, or maybe Jen, bringing down her Judge Judy justice. With uh, loyalty like that, easy, I'd easy, say easy. the chance of betrayal is as likely as Newman winning a Best Postman Award. Keep an eye on that Nathan, though. Every sidekick's got a breaking point. Even Robin had bad days at the Batcave. How do I not have strap? If you all have tra strap, how do I not have it? I'm just built different. Just built different. Uh, whatever. Huge fan of Leviticus. <laughs> That's just something I never thought I'd read in stream today. <laughs> Could I be the carrier? I got checked. I got checked for strep and I don't have it. What's up, Unspoken Day? This looks fun. It is some stupid. Yes. 337 level uncleared levels to go. Built shorter. Hey. Powerful and compact. Also, short people live longer. Heck you, tall hey, people. Hey, Dave, it's Dave from Post Vegas. Whatever you do, don't bet $1,000 on 21 in roulette. Win over 30 grand. 
be offered an upgraded suite and VIP club access. Sounds fun, but three words of warning. Secret Vegas Daddy. Stick to the pina coladas. <laughs> I'm not a secret Vegas daddy. <laughs> Big Malletman asked me, who is Dave's most loyal moderator? Moan, moan, moan. Moan. <laughs> well, if we're handing out awards for loyalty, I'd say his most loyal moderator could probably give Lassie a run for her money. And trust me, any moaning you hear is just the sound of chat when the stream crashes. Pure agony. Thanks, Jerry. Oh, you can still see what's going on with Lucky Draw. It's not like we're gonna win Lucky Draw, chat. We have a literal one in seven million chance of beating Lucky Draw. I wonder if this nine hour playlist is gonna end before we get to... Hello, you made me something already? Oh, thanks. You want it toasted? I made it cold. I made it cold. Um, I mean, I would prefer it warm, but... No, 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 I'll just eat it like that. Thank you. Nope, that's great. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, w I want the sandwich. I want the sandwich. I want it. Thank you, Chef. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I, I I'm gonna. I cannot wait to eat this sandwich. Wow, it's a good sandwich. It's got ham. It's got cheese. It's got bread. It's good. On foot in real time. Technically, we're going the same speed as a bus. We do not need country music. What's up, Yellow Kitten? Mm. Oh, it's got a oh hidden hidden honey mustard vein. Where was that? My first couple bites. I have found I'm very bad at multitasking, chat. Alright, here's a question. Here's a question for you, chat. This is not... Okay, hold on. A hidden honey mustard vein for a hidden honey mustard daddy. I'm... Not honey mustard daddy. Okay, let's say you Nine actually had to- Derek asked me, Hey much! I was just wondering if- uh, Sorry about that. I found a spider in the room and got really scared. Anyway, can you just wish Dave and Chad a happy early weekend? But could you scream like- oh, and say blah randomly. Oh, yeah. Thank. Oh. Thank. Yeah. One line, Derek. Feel the adrenaline of the weekend pumping. Ah ha. Happy early weekend. DGR Dave and all the warriors in chat. Stay savage. Stay strong, Blegge. Dig it. 
Blaish? Uh, th what, what does bl Blaish? Thank you, Derek. Happy weekend to you. Okay. Um, if you, let's say you were actually making this trip. Eight hour drive. You can only listen to one song. Doesn't have to be your favorite song. But you have to listen to one song the whole way. What song are you going to pick? Life is a highway. Flash hey mods, to the I thought I should make things right with you by giving you a raise. Instead of making zero an hour, you will be making zero and one handshake an hour. That's fair. You could listen to Ice Ice Baby for 12 hours. Spoken word version. It's gotta be a song. Is there a song that you wouldn't get tired of? Just pick one Dream Theater album. It'll last you the full eight hours. It is Drunk Snake, hands down. You'd be on Twitch, Hadi. I don't know what I would pick. I know I asked you guys this question, but I don't know what I would pick personally. I would I think I would definitely pick something instrumental. I think I might pick a video game theme like Zora's Domain or something. Doris Day's best hits. Oh gosh. What's funny, Jem? There's this one YouTube channel that I watch. There's this random PS1 game. Born in the USA would not be my choice. Breath of the Wild theme? That would be good. What's up, Michael? Mario 60 bomb on Battlefield the whole way. Doris Day had hits. There's this random Japanese exclusive PS1 game gem that for some reason has a Doris Day song hidden in its files. Is that not like the most random thing you've ever heard in your life? <laughs> wow, Chris. What about the Wii Shop Channel theme? I would walk 500 miles. I think Xwater listened to Wii Shop channel for 24 hours on his stream once. Uh, General Kenobi, we're trying to. Oh, Freddy Kenobi, I'm sorry, not General Kenobi. We're trying to get to Las Vegas. No one's heard of him since. Maybe it was 10. Still. I think I just listened to the saxophone of Careless Whisper for 10 hours, or 24 hours. Careless Whisper. It was 20 hours. Holy heck. Get out of here, Chris. Get out of there. Okay. Are you just doing, where are you going somewhere else? 
Could I just have one more thing? That was a delicious sandwich. No, I'm... Why is everything I say taken as sarcasm? You asked. You want it toasted. I... I thought you that meant like I'm I'm gonna go throw this on the, I didn't I didn't mean it to upset you. What's up, Becca? Mm -hmm. I would listen to the Super Mario Brothers three piece switch time song for the entire eight hours. I just have a little bit of sweet cream. Sweet cream with coffee. No, I'll be alright. And a pack of crackers. The only answer is free bird. Super Bowl music? I mean, you can't be, you'd be happy the whole time, right? You could listen to the Sonic Drowning theme for 24 hours. Welcome back, Thunder Punch. See, I like how you're you're taking DGR leave and turning it into DGR arrive, making that zero go to one. I think those are good questions, Minos. You think Mario's legs are gonna hurt? Mario's suffered like a thousand concussions so far. What's up, Andy? I mean, I've already experienced existential crises multiple times. Man, do you think I'm gonna have a midlife crisis? Yep. <laughs> how how I, severe of a midlife crisis? It's gonna be bad. You think? Yep. Why do you think that? I just do. I just do a little. Working less cream. That's a great cream ratio. Yeah, I've thought about this actually. The moment you turn like 32, 33, I started thinking about it. I'm 30, almost 35. I know, I normally get some like 40, But yeah. What do you think I'm gonna do? I don't know. Trust me, I've been trying to think about it. And I I'm not skydiving. No, I think yours is going to be more about your looks. What do you think I'm going to do to myself? I don't know. Again, I, I can't pinpoint it. I just feel like it's going to hit. I don't know, though. So. What would you define as a midlife crisis? I don't know. I don't know what... I, an ankle tat? I wouldn't mind if Dave got a tattoo. I, don't, I think he looks so good. I don't want a tattoo. Oh my god. You can get one if you'd like, but I don't want one. Nighthawk, thank you for the 24 months, Nighthawk. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Hey, if any of you have strep throat, according to the doctors around here, they've been seeing it being uh, resistant to amoxicillin. So. We're on round two now. Then why do they give it to you? Derek, How do you know you are not already at your I midlife? With one tattoo? Yeah, but I would get the nerdiest tattoo ever. I don't care. It's still a tattoo. You and see that Mar you see that Mario 64 tat? Ooh, that really ears, gets me. Really pierced? gets me going. I'm not piercing my ears. But I guess I do have a type. Like, I like the earrings with, like, a tattoo or two. Dave had none of those. <laughs> yeah, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> this. We should have named our daughter that. Then it could be 10 years of bliss. Get it? It'd be 
you say how old our daughter is? <laughs> Eight years of bliss. Five years of bliss. I'm telling you, like, you're Star 120 right here. The, ha, boy, you're Mario 64 tat. That really... Woo. Tattoos, Woo. Are, tattoos are for you. They're not for Big Malletman asked me, me what does it even look like when a man who has already quit his cushy salary career to play video games at home all day has a midlife crisis moan? Probably looks like buying a vintage arcade instead of a sports car and replacing business meetings with Mario marathons. No crisis, just leveled up in escapism. I'm not getting a tattoo, thank you. Can you grab that plate, please? It's literally right there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Worst content currently on the internet. Ouch! That's gotta hurt! Humble across the forehead. That, that, it cut deep, Gem. I'm still hurt. I'm hurt. I'm, I'm... Crying. Crying. One line, Derek doesn't have enough. Derek, do you know how many? Okay. 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 For everybody that has tattoos out here, let's say you get a sleeve. Does that count as one tattoo? Some nutty raid. This is, dude. That this is super nutty. I'm going nutty. What up, raiders? Welcome. Thanks so much for the raid. Get the heck on in here. Wow, what an honor. Shout outs to Nutty. Mods, can we get a shout out for Nutty in the chat? Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, my name is DJR Dave. I am a crazy rap scallion who is playing Desert Mario 64. If you guys don't know what this is, let me explain. We are taking Mario from Tucson, Arizona, all the way to Las Vegas, Nevada, which is about eight to nine hour trip. You're also probably thinking, why are you doing this? Um, we did a charity event in December. We raised money for the Jared Box Project, which brings uh, toys to kids in hospitals and one of the incentives was if we raised a certain amount of money I would play this game and uh, the day of reckoning has come so we're I'm gonna be here for the next probably five ish hours so if you're looking for something to do for the next five hours I'd love for you to hang out love to get to know you a little bit better thank you so much nutty but normally I play a lot of Mario stuff a lot of Nintendo stuff uh, that's usually my normal content some speed runs smattered in there lucky draw we just have that up um as like a bonus thing so you can watch lucky draw is a mario maker one level that you have a one in seven million chance of beating that's right one in seven million chance that you beat this level so you're telling me there's a chance so it's, it's just kind of fun to have that going at the same time. Is this game a straight road? Yep. Has it been beaten? Yeah, it's been beaten. It's been beaten a bunch of times. Right, I know sleeves are usually like, you, you don't do a full sleeve at one time. We're talking about tattoos right now, by the way. Raiders. Again, well, thank you for the couple follows, everybody, from Nutty's Raid. Um, we're talking about tattoos, and I don't have any tattoos. My wife wants me to get one. I don't want one. But anyways, I was just asking, for somebody that has, like, a full sleeve, is that considered one tattoo? Even though it's, I'm sure it took multiple trips. If 
You had an artist design the entire sleeve, Crazy Bee Guy? DCs, please write your message again because I did not see what you said. That's the mallet way. Get the P switch on my butt. <laughs> you mean like full butt cheek tattoo? Like on P switch on its side? I kind of love that idea. I kind of love that idea a lot. That's thinking outside the box there. It'll be separate. That's what I mean. I know it's like several different tattoos. Dedicated to your girls? Right. I don't really care. Like, I don't have anything against tattoos. I just don't want any. Having something that permanent kind of scares me, aside from my wedding ring. But I can take my wedding ring off, which I do sometimes. I meant something on my body, something that permanent on my body. Pretty much now or never. New or never. It's just eight hours of pain and suffering. Now the thing I say out loud, and <laughs> I have to take it off sometimes like if I'm, usually I take it off if I'm like putting hair gel in cause hair gel will get in between my finger and the ring. Yeah, Amanda wanted to do that at one point, Scott. Get the what? Get the wedding ring tattoo. Dang it! Come on. Mario's carrying a radio. Hold on. Ah! If I got a tattoo, I've told you guys about this. If I ever got a tattoo, which I don't think I'm going to. But it would be super nerdy. It would be a Mario 64 tattoo on my chest. It said star 120. Like, you know when you 100% Mario 64? Triforce would be another thing that I consider, but over the last several years, Mario has made a much bigger impact to my life than Zelda. Chance for glory back tattoo. <laughs> Lower back tattoo. <laughs> What's up, DJ? That's spicy. There you go. If you guys are looking for your new next tattoo idea, P switch on the butt cheek. Chance for glory, lower back. DJR guarantee on. <laughs> You have purple thunder and pink, pink lightning, dang. I mean, I, how long did you, what's, okay, all right, again, question for those that have tattoos, what's the longest, like, tattoo session you've ever had to do? I've all, another scary thing is I've seen some butchered tattoos as well, which is kind of scary. Six. Eight, eight and a half. Mallet, I don't know if I knew you had tattoos. Or at least had a tattoo. 
<laughs> Zerk. CPU, thank you for the 50 bits. On a scale of 1 to 10, how long do you get when someone calls Link Zelda? That eh, doesn't bother me. A uh, 1. That just means they've never played Zelda before. Do you just have one mallet? Or do you have more than one? Your brother has Minnie and Mickey playing tennis across their back. I've also heard it's really hard to just get one tattoo. I heard like if you get one, you like want another one. Read shop reviews, yeah, for sure. Waffle Smacker asked me, hey Jerry, I can't believe you quit stand up to be here on Dave's stream. <laughs> Tell Chad a bad joke. Waffle Smacker, with a name like that, I don't even need a punchline. Dang! Whoa! Whoa! Comes out of the gate swinging. <laughs> I gave Jerry the personality of witty and sarcastic. Makes jokes, so... Jen, yeah, thank you for the 100 bits. Just get a tattoo of one pixel. It'll look like the thousand moles on my back. Moly back. Just get, just get a tattoo of a mole. <laughs> mm, can you do me one quick favor? What do you mean you don't know how? Okay. Can you just slightly uh, open that pack of crackers for me? Did you hear my... Did, what would you do without me? What do you mean? Do you mean, like, how long of a period of time would that even... Like, if I was a single dad? Or are we talking, like, single, single? Are we talking... I don't think you being a single dad would work. Yeah, are, are you kidding me? How dare you say that? I, I, of course, there'd be a learning Why curve. Why are we talking about that? You just said, what would you do without me? I, I was, life, I was general. getting more. I just meant in general. I was getting more clarification on your question. I just meant in general. Like, I feel like you need me. And I'm glad you I need, need you. you. No, I... I was just getting some more information. I didn't know, I didn't know in what context. I don't do it, Bart. Don't do it. <laughs> What's up, Dan? <laughs> I did. <laughs> when she come in, when she came in, I should have just, just said, Bleh. "I should have just said, I'm sorry, I love you. I was wrong." Before th that should have just been the answer to the question. I'm sorry, I was wrong. Dude, that, that's I sympathize with your needs. Like your job, love your wife. That's my motto. <laughs> Philippines, I need you to write like, I need you to write me like a husband's handbook. So if there's like a situation that arises, I can refer to your handbook and be like, page 37, if this situation arises, how do I handle it? Uh, 
I thought that was a pretty clever thing too as well, Rose. Get a tattoo that says I'm sorry on it. What's up, hacker punk? Nothing wrong with being a lone wolf. Nothing wrong at all with that. Whatever makes you happy, man. <laughs> Made any progress? A little bit. Every step forward is a little bit of progress, right? Biggest Tupperware you can find. Right. Yeah, it's more other people judging you. Right, Jen? I, I agree with that. Indeed, there's something called um, Tangia you have to use. Seeing your wife's lawyer today? Wait, you know what? No, I'm not gonna ask anything about that. Nope. I won't. Oh yeah, I would never, this is not a game I would ever, ever, ever play. Just like, you know what I feel like doing today? Sitting in front of my computer. And running in a straight line for eight hours today. But with when you're with friends, I'm having a good time, dude. I know you think I'm being sarcastic, but this has been fun. I got no regrets. I, I've been having a I've been having a blast hanging with you guys. Again, if you look at this as a just chatting stream with Mario running and jumping in the background, this is awesome. What about Panga's level that takes over 19 hours? Yeah, I'm not playing that. No, unfortunately, Melkar does not. You posted your Triforce in, da in Discord? Just chilling and talking? I mean, it's fun. I just feel like it's... Listen, the people that are going to hang out here are ones that really want to be here. And I appreciate that. The people that are here are not ones that are just like... Are like... Only here for Mario Maker or whatever. They're the people that want to be here with myself and the other amazing people in the DJR community. And these streams are great for me because one, I feel like I get to know you guys way more uh, intimately. The last time I hinted at the notion that I would eventually be fine when Angela asked me, what would you do without me? Was the last time I was sleeping in the beat patch in a sleeping bag. <laughs> it was almost as bad as the last time I accidentally killed her cat. I remember that. I remember that. Intimately might not be the right word, but I feel like I get to know you guys a lot more. And I feel like you probably get to know me a lot more as well. But it's, you know, just a lot. I feel like, I feel like these are bonding streams, if you know what I mean. If that makes sense. Hold on, I'm trying to get this. These dang last couple crackers. Don't bond with Mallet. I'll bond with who I want to bond with. Then ask personal questions. I mean, I kind of ask personal questions, but it's hard to frame personal questions to multiple people. Covalent bonds? Oh, man. I haven't talked about covalent bonds. 
Oh, that just reminded me of a story. I don't think I can tell that story. I though. think I'd rather be the cuddly, I guess. Hold me, Daddy Aragon. <laughs> Is covalent the long bond or the short bond? War bonds. <laughs> Heck no! I refuse to bond unless it's in a chemistry lab. We I can make the some long awesome bond, right? stuff in there. Ionics weaker. Like long bonds are weaker than short bonds, right? Do you think the Loch Ness monster is a dinosaur or a mammal, dude? If I caught Nessie and made Nessie cheese. That would be worth more than gold. I'm not sure that was the question that was asked. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, Benjamin. Is it Benjamin or Benjamin? Um, anyway, okay, I'll tell the story. This is before I was dating Amanda. There was this girl in our science class. She was in my chemistry class. Chemistry, I think? We were learning about bonds. And me and some other teenage boys thought, you know, long bonds and short, short bonds were hilarious. And I remember we asked her if she preferred long bonds or short bonds. This is so stupid, dude. <laughs> I can't believe I'm even saying this story out loud. And she said she preferred short bonds, and we, uh... We got very excited for that. That's it. That's the st <laughs> that's the story. <laughs> if you take damage, yeah. If you if you don't take damage for a while, your health will regen. That's it. That's it's it's a really stupid story, but it's a story that came to mind. How the heck we got talking about covalent bonds, I'm not sure. But here we are. What's up, JP? I thought short bonds are stronger than long bonds. That's that's also true course of eight or nine hours stuff will yes could we get a big mallet man TTS I wish the closest thing we have to a big mallet man TTS is HAL 9000 that's as close as you'll get to big mallet man TTS You made $4 in your investments? Let's go. At least you didn't lose money. Now go buy yourself a Twinkie and a big slurp. Yeah, I liked Ninja Turtles a lot, Thunder Punch. I didn't watch like the movies or the shows, but I had like all the action figures. And I, I, I was a big, big action figure kid. Like I spent... Anytime I wasn't playing video games, I was playing with action figures. <laughs> I 
<laughs> That's so funny, Rachel. <laughs> Amanda had Amanda wore a shirt our senior year, first day of school our senior year. She wore a shirt that said, I eat freshmen. Her and a bunch of other girls did it, and they, they had to take their shirts off. They weren't allowed to wear it. <laughs> What's up, Steffi? Bye, Brownie. Short and long are not related to covalent and ionic. Okay, but there are long bonds and short bonds, right? What's up, Shiloh? Oh, my hands are fine. I keep switching hands. To wanna boom boom. What's up, DBB? TMNT, baby. Oh, she was wearing a shirt. I didn't mean it like that. She was, was still wearing a shirt. Go hard in the front and all night. <laughs> Classic. Here's another true story. Um, we had, we, um, One of the teams that we would occasionally uh, face in sports, their gym. This this is the honest to goodness truth. Was called the Dutch oven. It was it was painted boldly and proudly on their wall. So you would walk into their gym, and it would say, "Welcome to the Dutch oven." Feel the burn. I took a picture of it. I don't know if I, I still, the picture's on one of my phones. Cause I had to go back there when I was working at Penn State. I visited the school and I got a picture with the sign. It's huge. It's like, it's like a 10 foot by 10 foot painting. Welcome to the Dutch oven. Don't get burned. What's up, Jigglytoad Plays? You also got Pokemon cards, too? Cool. No, I did not see that OS 12. How much did you squat back in the day? I didn't do a lot of... With So wrestling was main my main sport. Um, Lifting-wise, for wrestling, we never did, like... It was never crazy heavy lifting for wrestling. It was more like trying to build lean muscle. So we didn't do like max bench presses and max squatting and stuff like that. I've played Overwatch exactly one time. Once. Someone showed me how to play it, which was cool. Showed me like all the different characters so I would know what I was doing. And then I never played it again. Yeah, it's like, I love wrestling. I'm really excited. I'm going to the Olympic trials in April. Really, really pumped about that. Really, really pumped. I'm hoping to actually meet up with, uh, Spencer Lee there. Yeah, I'm excited, Jen. It's I, I'm really looking forward to it. And I think I'm gonna end up staying there. Even though I could probably drive home. I think I'm gonna end up staying. It's only two days. It's Friday, Saturday, so I'd only be staying one night. The Olympics, I think, are in Paris? Are the Olympics in Paris? 
but they're doing the Olympic trials, like trying to make the U.S. Olympic team um, in State College, Pennsylvania. So, like, basically, there's going to be a bunch of American wrestlers all converging in State College, Pennsylvania to see who makes the team. Because there's only six weight classes. So there's going to be like several hundred guys and girls. Because there's girl weight too. Um, all fighting to go to the Olympics at their weight class. Yeah, I'm going to try out for the Olympics. Yeah. Dude, those guys are insane. Vinny, thank you so much for the 10 bits. Imagine a world where you're running on the world's longest road with a briefcase in your hand while you're doing high jumps and dive. It's not a briefcase, Vinny. It's a radio. I should, Melkar. Yeah, I don't... If I get a chance to meet up with Spencer, it would be awesome, but I, I fully anticipate not meeting up with him. It'd be cool to just be like... talk for like a couple minutes just to say hi and introduce myself... IRL, but he's going to be so focused on, uh, you know, these guys work their whole life for this moment to try and make the Olympics. Um, so I, I don't want him to have to worry about that, like that being a distraction or anything like that. Hopefully, we want to do a more stream soon. I still got to get with Jason Nolf. I was supposed to meet up with Jason a month ago, and then, or two months ago, a month and a half, and then everyone started getting sick. So hopefully I can meet up with Jason here soon as well. Man, it's just, this whole sickness has just been rough. It's the only part of the bus Mario could take with him, exactly. What's up, pork chop? If there was an Olympic event for video games, Buttertub, if there's one thing I've learned from streaming is that there is always somebody better than you at anything. You know what I mean? Like, even when I feel at the top of my game, Whatever game that might be, I know somebody out there is uh, even better. So it's it's hard to it's hard. There's always someone worse as well. Nobody better at Olaf. My Olaf world record got smoked. Granted, the person doing it was using an emulator, but. You need a stream to figure that out? Yes, I did. At least I know I'm better than Slade. That's all that matters. Slade is struggling on a game that I beat when I was eight years old, so... I have that to hang my head on. <laughs> Thanks, Killer Beast. Slade spent four hours on the easiest dungeon in Zelda Ocarina of Time. And that brought me joy. It brought me immense joy. If you stop jumping, do you lose? No, but you lose speed and you'll see the heat goes up. If our heat goes to 99, we take damage. And if you take enough damage, you die. And if you die, Yo, your game goes black and you have to restart. It was not the water tip. It was the Donko's Cavern. It was hilarious. So, when Slade was playing the Dongo's Cavern, if you've never played Ocarina of Time, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. He got to the point where there's the big skull that you have to put a bomb in the eye and the mouth opens and you can get to the boss. Well, he got to that point. 
out loud said, I wonder if I need to put a bomb in the eye. And then for the next hour, did everything but put a bomb in the eye. <laughs> said it out loud. And then didn't, did everything but that. He tried playing something that he, he called the Red Song. He's like, maybe I play the Red Song, which I believe he meant was the Sun Song. So my, my favorite thing to do is go into Slade's stream when he's struggling on a puzzle in Ocarina of Time and say, have you tried playing the Red Song? It just brings me joy. Play the Red Song. All right, hear me out, Slate. I know you don't want any spoilers, but have you considered the red song? <laughs> Do not play DuckTales theme. Yeah, someone was talking about that earlier, Vinny. I need to see that clip, because I've never seen it. Yo, Goku, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Seriously, love having you here. Blue Toad or Yellow Toad? I like the color blue more than the color yellow, so I'll just say blue. Lucky Draw is a Mario Maker 1 level. You have a 1 in 7 million chance of beating. So it, we just thought it would be fun to have that playing alongside. See if we beat Lucky Draw somehow. Will I ever play GoldenEye on stream? I play GoldenEye on stream when it came out on the Nintendo Switch Online. It was pretty fun. I played it online with, it was me, Grand Pooh Bear, Kelsey, and who was the fourth? Was Andy or Xwater? It might've been Andy. It was really, really fun. Yo, Steez, thank you so much for the brand new Prime Gaming sub, Steez. Really heckin' appreciate that, Steez. Thank you so much. Please enjoy your emotes. Oh, we hit the four hour mark, let's go. Ad free viewing and a month of my eternal gratitude. Thank you so much. See, I never played Perfect Dark nearly as much as I played Goldeneye. Even though Perfect Dark is the much better game. In terms of like, refinement of everything I we me and my friends always played GoldenEye way more yeah shower it is iconic but I mean GoldenEye wasn't usually our first choice when it came to multiplayer games on the N64 usually our go-to's were Super Smash Brothers we played a ton Super Smash Brothers was like the go-to uh, we'd play Snowboard Kids quite a bit. Uh, Mario Kart Battle we would play. Mario Kart 64 Battling. Um, what else would we play? What if the heat gets too high? You take damage. And if you take too much damage, you die. We did not play Tetris. We never played Tetris together. Yep, yeah, I'll be going for the next four hours, too. You've never seen legitimate gameplay of it? It's it's definitely dated, but it still can be fun. I've it's told fun to, chat that I have eight to nine time. hours in me. But my thumb meat is starting to get tender. Eat your heart out, chat. It's not true. My thumbs are fresh as a daisy. Fresh as a daisy. Anti swipe, thank you so much. Uh, what else? We, I mean, primarily that we played N64. We play Goldeneye. We would play Goldeneye. We play a lot of Mario 64. Even though it wasn't multiplayer, we would do like challenges with each other. I love Banjo Kazooie. I actually played Banjo-Tooie first before I played Banjo-Kazooie. 
So I actually have a softer spot for Banjo-Tooie. <laughs> Just because I played it first. Yeah, hour 22 is when things get rough. <laughs> this N64 hand. <laughs> It does have terrible frame rate. I really would like to play Banjo Tooie again, but I would definitely play it on the rare replay. Before I play it on the N64 again. Oh, I'm so sorry I missed that, David. Thank you. Technically, GDQ is a video game Olympics. I agree with that. David, thank you for the $5 and the $2 earlier. I'm sorry I missed that. Hardcore, thank you for the three years as well. Appreciate ya. Yeah, GDQ is as close to like a video game Olympics as you'll see. And it's very similar to the Olympics in the fact that there are some like really not popular games that even get a chance to shine. Just like the Olympics has many sports that aren't necessarily crazy popular that get a chance to shine like uh s speed walking power walking is an olympic sport curling, curling weirdly intrigues me thank you i you missed my I'm last super chat i was saying dgq is the, the video game olympics, olympics. Me. i'm positive it will you're a curler? It strangely fascinates me, curling. When was curling invented? What's up, Atomic Diamond? Or like, okay, maybe not invented, but... Like, when did it become a sport? Fusion Destro asked me, how would you say DGR to fare at a Super Mario Sunshine 79 Shine speed run? Not good. <laughs> 79 Shines? I'd bet my favorite putter Dave would be sweating buckets. Missing every spray like a Sunday hacker whiffs putts. Good luck with that. <laughs> that little laugh at the end there. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, aeroplanes, it's a duck blur. We're not at our Might solve a mystery yet. or rewrite history. Ducktales, woo woo. Every day they're out there making ducktales. Duck woo woo. Tales of daring do, bad, and good luck tales. D -d -d Danger. Lurks behind you. There's a stranger out to find you. What to do? Just grab onto some ducktails. Woo! Thank you, Thunder Punch. It's been around for centuries, but back in the 98 games. Ducktails, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I, they feel good, Slim. That's a totally different song. You got your Send It Squad hat. I didn't get a hat. I need a hat. What's up, zombie? What game? Are you talking about what game are we playing right now? Or are you talking about... <laughs> this is called Desert Mario 64. And what you see is what you get, my friend. Uh, the reason we're playing this is because we did a charity event in December. One of the incentives was that if we raised X amount of money, I would play this game. And I am a man of my word. Here we are. Is there any sort of record you're trying to break? No. I'm trying to beat the game. <laughs> you going 88 miles an hour? No. Yeah, there's an end. There, There is an end, believe it or not. There is an end. Not many people have probably seen the ending screen. Legitimately. You could watch a YouTube video of it, I'm sure, but like, 
I would guess that there's... My guess is there's probably less than... A thousand people that have probably actually taken the time to make this to go the whole way. What's the goal? So we're going from Tucson, Arizona. We started in Tucson, Arizona. We're trying to get to Las Vegas. Can I say, can I give you guys a hot take? Permission to speak freely and throw a hot take out. Permission. Is it geographically accurate? Exactly accurate. Uh, I think Back to the Future is extremely overrated. Thanks for being wrong. Just my take. Just my take. Don't have to agree. There's your hot take for the day. I'm not saying it's a bad movie. Absolutely not a bad movie. Please don't misconstrue me saying it's overrated as me saying it's a bad movie. Okay. I just want to make I want I want that to be obvious. I'm not saying it is a bad movie. I just think it is overrated. I love Indiana Jones. It's definitely a take. Too late, misconstrued. <laughs> this guy hates Back to the Future. He hates Michael J. Fox. He hates everything. What's up, Ronald? It's okay to be wrong. There's Rod Ron the hottie. What's up, Ron? My dude. How you doing, Ron? Canceled. He hates people with Parkinson's. Yeah. He hates Fruit Back to the Future. He hates Michael Ask J. Fox. <laughs> Dave thinks Back to the Future is overrated, despite it being one of the best movie trilogies of all time. Can you convince him otherwise? Overrated? That's like saying the Declaration of Independence is just a piece of paper. You know, Marty McFly's Odyssey cranks the flux capacitor of our souls to 88 MPH, bending the space-time of cinematic excellence. No. No. Again, I'm not saying it's a bad movie. If that's your favorite movie, I'm happy for you. But I've seen it like two times and I have no desire to ever watch it again. Okay. That's all I'm trying to say. That was Nicolas Cage. Sounded nothing like Trump. <laughs> what about? Uh, I don't think I've ever seen Back to the Future two and three. You did not hear that. DGR disable music. No. What's up, Super Tatum? Just got an Advil. <laughs> I have not seen the room. John A. Ross. 
John. My man. John, thank you so much for the eight months, John. I hope you're doing well today. Yeah, Team Chris, what is your take on... Team Chris, when I think of movies, I you are like the first person that pops in my head. You're the movie guy to me. What, what are your thoughts on Back to the Future? Mods, do we have a command for lucky draw, by the way? Yeah, what was up? Was Dino Dance gone for a while? Not as good as Top Gun. I wouldn't know. I've never seen Top Gun. No. Dang it. I'm just trying to hopefully have we have a command so I don't have to answer that every time. I actually made a Nathan Drake TTS. And it's another one that didn't end up sounding very good. Sounded good, like the AI voice sounded fantastic, but when I imported it to Tangia, did not sound good. Just like Wario. Nobody asked if we have gotten there in a while. Have we gotten there? And nobody told me. Still not there yet. Thank you, Fusion. We are not there yet, but we are on our way. We are hopefully over halfway, or roughly halfway, anyways. Dang it. You gotta remember, we took a couple minute break to hook up the Wii U, so lucky draw. Have we made it past the first... Uh, the first block in Lucky Draw. Like the first area? No. <laughs> wait, we got half. Wait, we did not get halfway. This is where you refueled at? <laughs> Zach, thank you so much for the 35. We will not stop. You cannot go to the toilet. You cannot get a milkshake. Sit down and shut up. It would be nice if there was like a billboard that said you're halfway there or something, but it also kind of takes the, the intrigue away as well. I think I heard about that. I don't know who Eric Stoltz is though, Team Chris. Team Chris does not think they are overrated. That's just a personal opinion. It's just like your opinion, man. Your trip only took four hours total? Really? How fast was that bus going? 120? Dude. Super Metroid has such great music. Take away the likes. Speaking of likes, if you've made it this far in the stream and you haven't gently caressed that like button, would you consider doing it right now? Could I? What could I do to get you to tickle that like button. I've heard a rumor, I cannot substantiate this, but I've heard a rumor that if you hit the like button, all your wildest dreams will come true. That's what I've heard. I cannot guarantee that. But that's what I've heard. I'm the Pedro of Twitch. 
I'll tell you something, will you and friend Pedro are out playing patty cake? Your Uncle Rico's making 75 bucks. This looks the same since I left. You talking about my face? You talking about Mario's journey here? Mask from 1985. Still don't know who you're talking about. Still don't know who Eric Stoltz is. <laughs> okay, all right, chat. I gave you my hot take about an overrated movie. You go you give your hot take on what an overrated movie is. Then everyone can hate you for a little bit. Probably a Christmas movie I've watched the most times. Dune 2? I haven't seen Dune 2 yet. Top Gun? The Notebook. The Hobbit. Titanic. Pulp Fiction. Home Alone. Dances with Wolves. Star Wars. That bacon is overrated. Like the food bacon, Giz? I feel you there. Dark Knight? Man, everybody loved Heath Ledger in The Dark Knight. What's up, Magnus? Wait, which one BKM? I didn't I didn't see what your choice was. Has anybody actually ever watched Fruit 319 asked me like this stream right now. 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 Yeah. Can you tell YouTube chat to like this stream right now? Oh. Yeah, YouTube chat, you heard Fruit399. Hit that like button with the force of a flying elbow drop. Make it explode with love for DGR Dave's Desert Mario 64 Marathon. Smash it, bash it, don't be trash it, dig it, yeah! I mean, if you're not gonna like for me, like for the sake of Macho Man. Man, put oozes passion. Um... Has anybody ever seen Citizen Kane? Is that still regarded as like the best movie ever made? Randall Savage. Was it good, Jen? It's so good. Mega Mind? I've never seen Mega Mind. You know what movie I tried to watch? Uh. Like last week. And I, it was intriguing, but I couldn't get through it. It was like, I don't know. I don't know if it was too over the top. I don't know. I don't know. I tried watching, uh, no, I love Inception. No, I've never seen Twilight. Goof Troop. Uh, it just got added to Netflix. It's what's it called? Everywhere and everything all at once. Just won like an Oscar or something. I tried to watch it and it was just like, I appreciated what it was trying to do, but it was it was just like really hard for me to, I, I, I couldn't finish it. I got about halfway and I was like, eh, I don't wanna watch anymore. What's up Tom C? You tried it as well, Plaid Cat? Like, was it, I mean, I know it's a comedy, but was it supposed to also be taken seriously as well? Or is it all made up? Yeah, I agree with that, Melkar. I actually, I liked Dune by the end, the first Dune anyways. Which one, Waffle? Everywhere and everything all at once? 
You need 172 IQ to enjoy it. Like I said, I, I appreciated, like, it was very different from anything I've ever watched. And I really like some of the cinematography and stuff that was going on in it. But it, I, I don't know. Something just wasn't clicking with me. But I also see why people like it. If that makes sense. Like, it wasn't for me. But I get why people would really like it. I've never seen the Spider-Man movies. Ratatouille? Pride and Prejudice? Haven't they... Isn't there like 10 versions of Pride and Prejudice? That can get too spicy. Usually when overrated video games come up, it's Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time are like the two. The two gets probably get said most often. I'm not hating on Ratatouille. I've never seen it. <sighs> you know what I'm getting tired of? Since we're since we're on this this topic, I'm getting tired of the oh heck. I gotta pause this for a second, chat. Hold on. I gotta go pee really quick. I'll be right back. Hold up, hold up. Hold that thought. Emote spam and negativity? Yes. I just have to pee really quick. I'll be right back. And I'll tell you what I was thinking. my hand I think I need to take my pants off. Amanda, that's so kind of you to think I could last 15 seconds. I think I'd rather be the cuddly, I guess. Hold me, Daddy Aragon. How's that? I'm back. Okay, what I was gonna say, no, I don't wash my hands. I don't got time to wash my hands. We gotta, we gotta get to Las Vegas, bro. I'm the only one that uses this controller. Why does it matter if I wash my hands or not? Kidding, Nana. Anyways, um. What I was gonna say is, I'm so tired of everything being a documentary. Hop on Netflix. New documentary added. Not everything needs to be 
A documentary, dude. Did you see J-Lo found love? It's just like everything gets turned into a documentary. Let's sell the rights to... For example, the last documentary I watched, mind you, it was it was okay. I watched a documentary on the kid that tried to buy a F-1 fighter pilot jet with Coke points or Pepsi Pepsi points. And like, it did not need to be a multi-episode documentary, man. It could have been a 10 minute YouTube video. But they gotta add the spicy drama and the flair and all this stuff. Like... <laughs> Now I will say, wait, what? DGR Dave Sugar Lips? That's a new one. I haven't seen that account. Yeah, what was the American Vandal, dude? I loved that. That was a mockumentary. Has anybody ever watched American Vandal on Netflix? American Vandal was amazing. I need to watch that again, actually. I don't know if it's still on there or not. That was really good. What's my favorite game? Um, if I had to pick... Slade for Legends of Mario. Maybe. Why did you poop on your hands? If I poop that fast, I'd be impressed. I could I could talk to Slate about his retirement and you know what he's doing with his all his time off. Generate lift. <laughs> what do I want to see from the Switch 2? Uh, better performance. Not necessarily graphics. Just better overall, like, performance. Like, so many games can't run 60 frames per second because it's so weak. And, like, yeah, I don't know. It's just It's just so weak. And more, more comfortable. If they're going to go with a Switch 2. Yo, take care of Silverlink. Thanks for stopping by and even hanging here, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, that would be really nice, d Steves, for sure. Um, Something more comfortable than the Joy-Cons. Because the Joy-Cons are so uncomfortable. Least comfortable controller I've ever held in my life. I don't think I did know that, Shadow. Uh, if the heat gets to 100, we take damage. If you take too much damage, uh, you die. If you die, you have to start over from the very beginning. So we would lose four hours of progress. Did you know the plural of Joy-Con is actually Joy-Con? <laughs> I didn't, but I believe you. <laughs> Tom, thank you for the $5 super chat. I, I need to print that out and post that on my motivational board of comments that I look at when I need to feel uplifted. 
<laughs> All right, Jen, sounds good. Now, Jen, I will tell you, we... It can be an animated emote, Jen, because we still have... We have way more animated emote slots than static emote slots. So if you know a good Judge Judy emote, I would more than happily upload it for you. We have like 20 more animated emote slots, and I think I have like one static slot. Judge Judy TTS would be, as the kids are saying, fire. Add that to my list of potential candidates. Off the chain, off the heezy. Where did the road go? You don't want to get rid of DGR Golf, do you? Dude, I'm just so upset Wario did not sound good. I'm so saddened by it. Unfortunately, it does not. Well, I'm not going to say unfortunately. I'm happy it doesn't, Spuds. But it does not have the slight tilting that the original Desert Bus did, which makes this a lot easier. Not any more fun. Not any less irritating, but a little bit easier for sure. Positive soup. Um, yeah, it's, this is from Tucson, Arizona to Las Vegas. I will say it was pretty eye-opening when I flew to Las Vegas this past summer. How barren it is, like, right before Vegas. Like, just vast miles of nothingness. <laughs> long day that's been it's been a fun day it's been a really fun day <laughs> what a question you run and jump for hours on a straight road in the middle of an empty desert better than anyone else i know dave uh take care pixel player thanks for hanging as long as you did friend appreciate it wait you can fly i know We're still going double mode. Don't you worry about that, baby. Hello. Yeah, we know Deku's back when you see predictions like this. I literally have no idea what this prediction means. What's up, uh, Hunter? Uh, Joe Mama, this is Desert Mario 64. Hello from Ireland. How does it feel to live in the richest country in the world? Because Ireland's capital is always Dublin. up he that rules gaming rugby oh man i'm so jealous i wish rugby was pop more popular in the united states i would love to play rugby recreationally i've seen like professional rugby rugby players those guys are built different but rugby seems like it'd be a lot of fun to play yeah, you can't be LJ, unfortunately. It's the ire. It's the land. <laughs> Get new jokes. I don't have any jokes. Look at me. I'm playing this four and a half hours.
Look up ice football. Who would I rather my pickle partner be? Baromir or Faramir? Faramir. How, how can I... How do I say the name so I can tick off everybody for saying their names wrong? Oh, <laughs> pickleball partner. That's what I meant to say. Bro, my dear. Not gonna lie, from reading the books, Faramir, 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 Fur, Fur, Fur Daddy. Seems like a good dude. I feel like if I messed up, Faramir would like get real nasty. Not be a good partner in terms of, like everything would be great if you're winning, but if you start losing, I feel like he would be a real uh D canoe if you know what I mean. Where I feel like Faramir, Faramir, Faramir. You know, if you're getting down, he would he would uplift you. Probably slightly less skilled but a much better pickleball partner. So I'm going with not Bean Daddy, but Bean Daddy's brother. Oh my gosh, Faramir is a Chad in the books. Absolute Chad. Welcome back, Muffin Man. Thank you so much, Buttery sh uh, Shloofy. I don't think people understand the skill that it takes to play. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't want our screen to be asleep when we randomly beat Lucky Draw. <laughs> Lot of Dune. I've never seen the 80s version of Dune. I'm John Sports. Unfortunately, there's not an easy way to just play the song that I'm playing. Jen, thank you for the membership for 79 months. Oh my gosh. 79 month Roonies. Here's another hot take for you. The Star Wars Christmas special, while terrible, is not that terrible. It has some redeeming qualities. I'd rather watch the Star Wars holiday special again than Back to the Future. I'm just saying. I said what I said. You were wrong. What's up, Greg? Remember the cooking part? Oh, yeah. The only part that slightly grosses me out is when, who's the, who's the lady? She was in Golden Girls that sings. What's her name? What's up, Holly's mom? It's a Christmas tradition. I love that tradition. When am I going to be invited over to watch it with you, though? B-E-A Arthur. Bea. Bea Arthur. Can I say her name wrong? Bea Arthur, yeah, when she dumps the liquid down the guy's funnel in his head, the hole in his head. Just for you, Caden Hockey, just for you. No, I, I'm doing this because of a charity event. 
I know it's pronounced B. I'm saying it on purpose because everyone gets mad at the way I pronounce stuff. She works as a bartender in this one scene in the Star Wars Christmas special. Or ho what is it? Star Wars Holiday Special or Christmas? Whatever it is. And there's this guy that has a hole in his head. He drinks. She dumps this beverage in this hole in his head and it grosses me out. Why? It's a lot faster. So this is how fast we normally go. You can, see, can you see how slow we're going? Now watch how much faster we go by jumping and diving. What's up, Alpha? And then there's the daddy, granddaddy Wookie who's uh, experiencing virtual reality um, um, uh, company. And enjoying it. You can't backwards long jump. Where would I backwards long jump on? You have to have a slope to backwards long jump on. Jen, that is not necessary. Yo, what's up, Pi? This is, you could have been joining me, Pi. Your day off. Your day off, you could have been doing this with me. Think of the bonding we could have had. But instead, once again, leaving me on my own. Didn't do the thousand endless easy. Technically, I already took damage, so. Jen, thank you so much. You absolute Chad. I'd do it again if given the choice. Pi, I, I also want to say I really appreciate the text that you sent uh, this week. Setting up a time to call. It meant a lot. So much. So much. <laughs> I'm leaving. Hey, we have an emote for that. Twitch chat. Let's see the DGR leave emote. Pixel Crafty, and thank you so much for the $2. And Jen, thank you so much for the $100 super chat. Oh my gosh, Jen. Jen, we've missed you. I know work's been crazy for you. But may I be the first to say, the streams are so much better when you are here. You, you're like, you're like that missing ingredient, Jen. Thank you. You know, it's like when you're eating a How's recipe and you forget to put something in. And you're like, what's this missing? So, something's missing from this Thank recipe. You. I pronounce many things contrary to the majority. Doesn't mean it's wrong. I'm just hip as the kids say. Go off king and you do you. Thank you so much. Dave is right for once. Hey Pi, if you're still here, don't leave yet. I actually have a really important question for you. And he's gone. What's up, Real Forever Lucky? Uh, we're doing... This was a charity incentive. What if this took 24 hours to finish? 
I would not play this for 24 hours. How long is it? Here, I'll show you. What's up, kink? Oh, 100,000? I would say we probably jumped several thousand times. Can you long jump if you want, but long jumping isn't isn't as fast. You lose speed when you long jump by the end. Yeah, you, you slowly regain your health. Has this game ever been? Yeah, it's been beat. Uh, thank you for the $5. AT Clem. Thank you so much, Clem. Puppet pal Clem. What did, why did the chicken cross the road? to get to the other bonk. Thank you, Clem. Thank you so much for the $5 super chat. Being from Arizona myself, Mario should be dehydrated by now. You start in Tucson, Arizona. Thank We're trying you. to get to Las Vegas. Are we there yet? I think Mario needs to stop and drink some water. Being from Arizona myself, Mario should be dehydrated by now. That's that's from uh, Puppet Pal Clem is from Dexter's Lab. There's this puppet named Clem. Well, <laughs> okay, so it's from Dexter's Lab. It's from a um, cartoon within Dexter's Lab. Okay, it's from a puppet show within a cartoon within Dexter's Lab. <laughs> it's a very obscure reference, and if you understand it, I'm impressed. A puppet show within a cartoon within Dexter's lab. We had to go three layers deep there. Dial M for Monk. Yes! Who played Rassler's voice? Did Randy Savage play the voice in that? That's what I thought he did. I thought he did, yeah. I was watching that with my kids a few months back, and I was like, that sounds like Randy. I'd love to visit Arizona someday. I feel like Arizona would be a fun place to visit. Yo, Alex, Zachy, thank you for the 20 THB. I don't know what THBs are, but thank you for the 20 of them. No agony, no braggony. <laughs> Come to Utah. I would love. Listen, I just would love to visit. There's so many cool places I'd love to visit. And mainly, I want to visit these places for scenic hikes and stuff like that. I don't want to go to like any major cities in these places. I legit want to go to these places to see their natural beauty like the mountains or uh, forests things like that you've lived there for 20 years mrs. Grindle um, what was I, gonna say? I actually had a question about that Mount Rainier in Washington Hopefully, I said that. probably said that wrong can't wait for everybody to yell at me how I mispronounce Mount Rainier. What's up, Mario? Pennsylvania's got some nice places to visit, for sure. I've seen most of the cool... I won't say most of them. I've seen a lot of the cool places in PA, so... Aside from leaving Pennsylvania... 
see in places. Uh, thank you again, Alex. I really appreciate that. Have you been to Lehigh Valley? Probably. I don't remember the last time I've been there, though. I said it correctly. Let's go. You lived there before Arizona? That's so cool. I just love, like... I don't know. The older I get... Hats off to you if you like city life and, like, when you visit somewhere, you want to see, like, the... The hustle and bustle and the really popular places but for me like when i go visit places i want to see the stuff that like Thank you. only the local people know about like not the hot spots but the places where you can go to find like peace and calmness you know i don't know if that makes any sense what i'm trying to say local spots and like i, I just love hiking and seeing landmarks and stuff like that. Boy, this would go so much faster with Gemma here. Dang, OS. <laughs> Why would this go faster with Gemma here? <laughs> How on earth does Gemma have anything to do with this? I don't think I could handle city life in the fact that like somewhere that's a mile away can take 30 minutes or more to get to I don't think I could handle that if, so, if a place is like 2 or 3 miles and it takes that long to get to there I don't think I could handle it I think it would drive me nuts Drove for nine straight hours for the interview. I was in Gettysburg a few years ago and had dinner at this nice out of the way restaurant. I forget the name, but it was nice and quiet, not too busy, and had great food. Really? You don't remember the name? We sports guy needs some more love. We need him getting saying, like, nice shot. Nice birdie. I know it does sound a lot like Sonic. I thought about that when I uploaded it. This sounds like Sonic. Get him to say nice shot, and then it will sound. One, two, three, four. Sounds like lag, Bardo. Maybe the restaurant was nice and quiet. Yeah definitely need the reverb but i found the voice clips on uh on a youtube video and i just used those voice clips it didn't have any reverb just went to another stream doing 12 hours for some gameplay they've been watching rubber duckies in a pool with twitch names above their heads <laughs> March 1st. Beware the Ides of March. It's funny. I actually saw a game last night on Itch, which is like a fan game place. Or not necessarily a fan game place, but a place where you can publish games. And someone made a stealth game where you have to kill Julius Caesar. I think it's called A2. I was playing it a little bit last night. <laughs> I was like, I can't believe this is real. You want to see me try out a Toho game? It's funny you say that, Alex. First of all, thank you for the 40 THBs. Um, if you are not subscribed to the DGR Plus channel, I recommend doing that because I'm going to upload my experience playing... Uh, Phantasmagoria of the Flower View, which I just played on stream Monday, I think. Monday or Tuesday. It was really fun. I liked it a lot. I had a really good time with it. Um, or you can go to the Twitch page where you can watch the VOD if you want to see it sooner. Ooh, 
this is from this song is from Congo's Caper, I believe. One could argue, Dropkick, that the Rubber Duckies is more, uh... <laughs> more interesting than this. You already subscribed? Yeah, it's gonna be uploaded there here pretty quick. Uh, Mario's holding a radio. I liked it, Kurabara. I, I don't understand, like, if there's, like, people that hate it for whatever reason. Or if it's got, like, a stigma behind it. I mean, I guess I get it, because anything that's got anime characters in it gets a stigma to it for whatever reason. But if that's the reason why it receives hate, because it because <laughs> it's got anime characters in it, then... Yo, Victor, no, you're awesome, Victor. Thank you. Oh, it was brutal. Don't get me wrong. I played on normal and struggled. Normal was tough. Thank you, Sarvempa. Wait, what's the question? Has Dave ever performed musically off stream? What does that mean? Define performing musically off. Define that, please. Like, I've sang in choirs at school when I had to. Like, in elementary school. We would do, like, elementary school plays and stuff where we had to sing. Why? I don't know. Why doesn't that count? We had to learn and sing songs. We all had to do that? I've done karaoke stuff. I've sung karaoke before. Yeah. Absolutely shoutouts to Deku. Keeping these predictions lighthearted and fun. How many subs to restart from the beginning? A thousand. A thousand I would restart. What's up, old Johan? Yeah, I've someone was telling me about the Metroidvania one. Which I don't really understand how the Metroidvania one would work. I really restart if someone gifted a thousand subs? Yes, I would. Will I ever upload the Lethal Company stream? I don't know if I have it anymore. Yeah, I said I'd do a 24 hour stream if we hit 2,000 subs. I just put that there as more of an incentive than. It's like, not, I don't need 2,000 subs, but. It's more like if we would hit 2,000 subs, I would do a 24-hour stream. Another one anyways, I mean. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I just noticed that you can, you can put that in there. It's more of like... Like, uh... A bonus. Like, if we would hit that, that's like a thank you. More so than anything. Oh my gosh. No, no, we're not doing this. Oh gosh. No, 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 don't, no. No, 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 no. 
Dark side. <laughs> Thank you, Dark side. Dude, the Fonz Aid asked me, can you give Dave the most epic pep talk of all time? Ooh, yeah. Oh the Fonz Aid, DGR Dave's in the furnace of adversity, but that's where true champions are forged. Keep those eyes on the prize. Never surrender. Never give in. Pain is temporary, but glory is forever. Dig it. Oh my gosh, dark side. <laughs> the fact that you're doing that to hopefully spark me to have to reset. Is <laughs> I don't even I love you. I love you. What's the hot wife doing today? Uh, getting a strep test done and getting antibiotics. It's betray it's love and betrayal wrapped up in one delicious package. Thank you so much, Dark Side. That is uh, wild. Absolutely wild. Can I name seven Blink 182 songs? Roller Coaster, Adam Song, uh, Small Things. Um, uh, yes, I can. Like, why I'm drawing a. When you put me on the spot, I'm blanking. Uh, Josie. Uh, feeling this. Uh, dude, why am I blanking right now? I'm trying. I'm going. Trying to go through the discography. That's all I can think of right this second. Oh, or is there, oh, is this is this is this for a prediction? Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, let me keep thinking then. I didn't realize this was for a prediction. I did not let the record show. I did not see anybody in chat say a song. I did not see anybody in chat say a song. I'm trying to think of my old Zune that has like all their songs on it. Roller Coaster is probably my favorite Blink 182 song. Um, dude, why am I blanking? When the pressure's on, nothing's coming to mind. I miss you one. Hello there, the angel from my nightmare. I don't know if it's called I miss you though. Is that seven? One more? Um. Dude, I'm. I'm my mind is literally going through my Zune, which is in the other room. I could pull it out. Doesn't help that I'm also listening to Super Nintendo music, which is distracting me. Uh, 
Average underscore Deku asked me, since we're mods, we can do whatever we want, right? Oh, Deku, you know that's not true. You're not allowed out of the basement. You're not allowed food. No sunlight, too. Stop trying to get out. Stop it. Stop it. How dare you. Um... That's all I can think of, chat. I don't know if there's a time limit. I can't think of any more right now, off the top of my head. I can't think of any other, I know. I know that's really pathetic, but I can't think of any other ones. Like, I really like Blink-182, but I'm not, like, a super fan of Blink-182. Blink-182. I have more songs in my zoo, and I just can't think of any of them. Any other ones. Yeah, I really like Angels and Airwaves as well. Don't ask me to name six songs of theirs, though. <laughs> or seven songs. <laughs> Alex! Holy heck, thank you with 100 THBs! Holy rip! Are you a super fan of anyone? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, there's a lot of artists that I really, really like. Really, it depends on uh, what mood I'm in. Thank you so much for the uh, 100 THBs. Do you have a specific... Um... That was a really fun prediction. You could you could do like that with video games or something too. I, I, I feel like I'm more knowledgeable on video game stuff than music though. Roller coaster favorite ride. Let me kiss you one last time. Here's the real test. All right. Do you have a favorite Toho game, Alex? Like, if I were to play one Toho game, Alex, which one would you recommend that I play? Thank you very much. Yeah, I will say, Alex, when I played Phantasmagoria. Fan Phantomagoria of the Flower View. I had no idea what the story was. I couldn't read anything. Kind of was just like... Just shooting other girls. I was just trying to make other little anime girls into dead parrots. How many Reliant K songs? I won't say anything. Zero to 15. Gosh, that, those are some pretty big odds, man. How many Nickelback songs? You can download the English language pack for Toho online. It is called Toho Patch Center. I think I can name two Nickelback songs. Amanda really likes Nickelback. What's the other Nickelback song besides Photograph that I can name? It's like, is it Superstar or something like that? Favorite is Toho 15. Rockstar, that's it. Yeah, Rockstar. Yep. It's probably going to be closer to nine. Look at this graph. All right. Reliant K songs, pressing on, uh, Pink Tux to the Prom, uh, mmm, 
that's what that's the name of one of their song that's well that's the name of their album so i don't know if that actually counts be my escape uh savannah dude it's so hard to name they did a bunch of christmas songs i could just name some off their christmas album but i don't remember what songs they did on their christmas album uh mood ring call it college kids someone please save us as college kids um jefferson airplane Thank you so much, Alex. Holy heck, dude. I'm going to have to really get more into these Toho games. You, it seems like you really want some hot Toho action. Thank you for the 40 THBs. Thank you very much. It's so hard for me to name songs, dude. Uh, Lion O. Uh... My favorite is Toho 15. Let me see. Let me see if I can somehow rattle some more off. Oddling Sign, or however you say it, the New Year's song. I remember they sang that on their Christmas album. Uh, we should get jerseys because we make a good team, but I don't remember what the name of the song is. Yours would look better than mine because you're out of my league. Uh, me and Amanda used to sing that song. there unless someone some unless someone gives 900 subs then I have to restart <laughs> I think we're safe though uh, stenographer uh Smith and Wesson Jr. was the son of a gun. I fell in love with a stenographer. Um, or I got in a fight with a stenographer, sorry. Hello, That's Dave. This is Dave speaking. That's uh, all I got. That's all I got. That's all that's coming to mind right now. Sorry. I can't think of any more. <laughs> Thank you, anti sway Sorry, that's all I could think of, chat. I mean, there's a ton. He said, ah, oh, once. <laughs> scam, get scammed, anti-swipe. Get scammed. Oh, I forgot about that one, Mary.
What's up, Bolviac? Ask me something with video games. Give me like a video game related prediction. Name X amount of characters or Pokemon or see if I can name like 50 of the 150 Pokemon or something. That'd be a tough one. Name the next game you're playing with mods. I mean, golf was really fun, Jen. I would obviously be down to golf again, but I'm down for anything. Name six Mega Man bosses. That would be easy. I think. <laughs> you could almost make something up. 64 themes can I name? Like, you mean like... What do you mean by themes? NBA 2K24. The Pokey Rap. I feel like I could, I feel like I could comfortably name 60, maybe, maybe even 75 of the original 150. Off the top of my head, no like anything else. <laughs> Am I gonna have 25 beers? I'm gonna go out and just like, I'm probably gonna do something physical. I'm probably gonna go to my basement. My basement dojo, I call it, and hit pickleballs after this. Jen, I set up uh, so I've been practicing my pickleball in, ba in the, my in the basement. Oh gosh, no! Uh, which is a basically a piece of wood against my wall with painter's tape on it for me to practice my aiming. I call it my dojo. Piece of. Uh, Press board. Uh, if your heat counter gets too high, you take damage. If you take damage too many times, you die. And then you gotta restart. Alright. 25 enemies. Goombas. Galoombas. Pokies. Wigglers. Spikes. Piranha plants. Munchers. Nippers. Uh, Hammer Bros, Fire Bros, Sledge Bros, uh, Dry Bones, uh, Green Koopas, Green Paracoopas, Red Koopas, Red Paracoopas, King Boo, Boos. Regular booze. Um, uh, scuttle bugs. Chain chomps. Fuzzies. Unagi. Bowser. Bowser Jr. Wendy, Roy, Lemmy, Iggy. Uh, boom Boom, Bowser. Did I say Bowser Jr. already? Unagi is a friend. I can stop. Okay. That was a fun one. Koopa Kid. Shy Guys. Wario. Jason mask wearing things. A bomb, swamp, thwimps, yeah. Bullet bills would have been a good one. There's a lot. So 25 Sonic enemies, I would not do well there. 
I could probably name like five Sonic enemies. Oh yeah, thank you. I just gotta remember to... What's the prediction here? Oh, yeah, I don't think I said Hammer Bros. I think I said Sledge Bros, Fire Bros. I know. I actually know the answer to this. Cholula's hot sauce. My favorite hot sauce. The question should be how many does Mallet have? Uh, permission to do the Pokemon prediction next. See if I can name 75 of the original 150. Bye, Adam. I'm feeling good, Melkar. I, I won't be able to, like, say their numbers are in order, but I feel like I'll be able to say 75 of the original 150. Uh, we have about 10 or 11 unopened bottles. No shot, I get 75? Bring it on! Bring it on! I guarantee I get 75 of the original 150. Easy. Easy. Not yet, Scramble. She's been taking a break. She's been, um... She's been doing other stuff. She's been loving her 3D pen. Which one? Oh, well, don't tell me which one he didn't get dropkick in case I don't want to be yelled at for taint. I didn't realize Barb knew Pokemon that well. I don't think I've ever seen Barb do any Pokemon content ever. Granted, I think me and Barb are like around the same age. So he would have grown up with like the original 150. So maybe he was just really into it back in the day. Isn't a 3D pen just a pen? Yes. But this pen does something different. Wow, no one believes in me. Are you serious, chat? Wow. About to blow your mind. Believer's about to be eating good tonight, bro. Believer's gonna be eating real good. Oh, never mind. I read it wrong. Sorry. Pink is. I'm so used to pink <laughs> being non-believers. <laughs> my my brain is instantly triggered to be like oh if it's pink that means there's non-believers uh, it's been cleared the leap it's been cleared but it's just for fun that we're having it play while we play this for six hours Jen you believe I believe you Jen someone our own mods tricked you. All right, this seems like a sure thing. Okay, here we go. We got Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, Squirtle, War Turtle, Blastoise, Pikachu, Raichu, Meowth, Persian, Vulpix, 
Ninetales, Magmar, Pinsir, Paris, um, Coughing, Wheezing, Ekans, Uh, what seconds evolve for? Arbok. Kakuna. Weedle. Weedle, Kakuna, Butterfree. Caterpie. Uh, Beedrill. I can't remember the Kakuna. I don't remember the middle one there. Whatever. Uh, Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot. Uh, Firo. I had to go pee. I, I I paused it by pressing P. Do you need anything? Not right now. How are you? Do you have it? No. But she said the so Carmen Carmen should have shown up on a rapid test, but it didn't. So she's like, I'm not gonna be shocked if yours comes back because they're not. It's not showing up on a rapid test. It's just showing up. Right. Uh, Articuno, Flareon. Oh, wait. We got Eevee. I don't know why it said. Eevee is my technique. Do that faster. This, this, is, this is better. Yes, it is. Eevee, Flareon, Vaporeon, Jolteon. Uh, Muck, Grimer. We got Seal. Yeah, I, we're doing predictions here. You need Carmen to come Well, I Carmen can't. would get all she would. thousand Pokemon. Um, Articuno. Grookey is not one of the original one. <laughs> Why can't I think of the fire legendary? Moltres, Zapdos. I know I'm jumping around here. Mankey, Primate, Machoke, Machamp. Uh, Machimp? No, not Machimp. Uh, Sarvenpa! Thank you for the 100 bits, Sarvenpa! Why can't it? Machoke, Machamp. So what's the Machoke, Machamp. Why can't I think of the little guy? Uh, Geodude, Gollum. Graveler, Gyarados, Kingdra, Goldeen, Magikarp, Snorlax, um, Dragonite, Dragonair. Why can't I think of the... I'm having trouble with like the middle evolutions. Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan. Uh, Scyther. Gold Duck. Um, not Gold Duck. Not, uh, what's Gold Duck? Psyduck. Is that 75? 57? That's oh, 50. Okay. What's the time limit? I'm allowed to do. Shut it. I got time here. I'm allowed. I'm allowed to take my time. There's a lot to name here. I should be given as much time as I need. Okay, I need like a vein of Pokemon that I'm thinking of. Sand True, Sand Slash. Voltorb, Electrode, Magnemite, Magneton. I think Mew is considered one of the original ones. Uh, Parasect. I did not say Parasect. Kabuto, Kabutops. Shelter, Cloister. Uh, 
Uh, Jinx. Jigglypuff. Ditto. Uh, Arcanine. Growlithe. Ponyta. Uh, Rapidash. Horsey. Seedra. Is that, is that 75? We good? It's hard when you're on the spot, though. What's the middle? Why can't I think of... What does... Uh... What's the evolution before Butterfree? What's up, bird? Yo, what, I'm carrying a nut now. My guy, yeah, Metapod, <laughs> thank you. I could not think of Metapod. Shout outs to, can we get Bird a shout out? If you guys aren't following Bird, he's a real company man. He gave me the hints on, on how to uh, get max speed here. Love me some bird. Yeah, he he's really good at Lethal Company. It's really fun to watch. Kingdra's gen. Yeah, I knew Kingdra wasn't one, but I knew Seedra was. He's cooking. Look at him. Let him hold up. Let him cook. Hey, Bird, when does Panga get back from Japan? Panga raided me this morning. I know he said he was going for like four weeks, but I can't remember when he left. Poliwhirl, that would have been a good one. You have no clue, actually. I would imagine it's probably getting coming soon. No, 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 it's no big deal. I just was curious. Hit me with another one of these fun, these predictions are fun. Uh, he, this is his second trip to Japan. He's got friends over in Japan. He loves it there. How many Mario Galaxy galaxies can I name? Oh, that would be brutal. Oh, I could probably name like three. Oh my gosh, now I'm struggling. Dang it. Name every power up in Mario. Daddy's happy sock. Thank you so much for the five gifts. <laughs> oh, I love that name. <laughs> Thank you so much, Daddy's happy sock for the five <laughs> gift subs. Appreciate that. If you take too much damage, you die. I am not a sock daddy. Oh gosh, can I name 40 states? Oh, I'm gonna look like an idiot. I'm gonna look like an idiot. <laughs> you can name, name 40, 40 states. Boom, roasted. You know what would be really embarrassing? If I got a blank US map and had to like name each state, that would be brutal. Maybe I'll do that sometime.
Uh, geography was not my strong suit chat. Amanda knows all 50 states and their capitals. I could not do that. Mrs. Killabees is bad at geography too. All right, here we go. Pennsylvania. New York, New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine, Rhode Island, Delaware, Maryland. Uh, Virginia, West Virginia, East Virginia. No, there's no East Virginia. Um, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee. Uh, Ohio, Indiana, Michigan. Georgia, Alabama, Florida, Missouri, Arkansas, uh, Iowa, Nebraska, Tennessee, Texas, North Dakota, South Dakota, Hawaii, Alaska, California, Washington, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, Montana, uh, why am I blanking here? Did I say North Dakota, South Dakota? North Dakota, South Dakota. Wisconsin, uh, why am I, I know I'm missing, Arizona, New Mexico, how many is that, is that, did I do them all, um, Did I say Oregon? Upper Peninsula. <laughs> um, How many, how many is that? How many do I need? That was 38. Okay. Um, Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, Utah, Vermont. Uh, there, think of all the M's. There's a bunch of states with M. Montana, Michigan, Missouri. Uh, Virginia, West Virginia, East Virginia. <laughs> uh, Ohio. Is there something by Ohio that if Indiana's by Ohio? States, how am I missing 12 states? How am I missing 12 states? Uh... Shoot, dude, what states am I missing?
Did I say Illinois? I don't think I said Illinois. Wait, what's the acronym Roy G. Biv? No, that's Rainbow. Country roads, take me home to the place I belong. East Virginia mountain mama, take me home. <laughs> Country roads. <laughs> Dude, what is one more state that I haven't named? I am legit blanking. Rhode Island, Maryland. Did I say Delaware? Sorry, I'm not looking over at chat, by the way. Nevada? I don't think I said Nevada. Literally where we're going. I don't think I said Nevada. Which states did I miss? You're disappointed? Idaho. I'm so sorry! Oklahoma. I got Kentucky I did not get. I said Minnesota. I 100% said Minnesota. Massachusetts I did not say. Louisiana I definitely didn't say. I said Nebraska. New Jersey? I said Alaska. I said Alabama. Did I not? I thought I said Alabama. Maybe I didn't say Alabama. I said Hawaii. I know I said Vermont. Mississippi. I know I didn't say Mississippi. Yeah, this is the part where you run and jump. Oh, don't ask about capitals. You thought me naming states was bad. Capitals would be even worse. I might... I thought I said Maryland. Definitely needs a time limit. It's hard because I'm doing multiple things at once here. I'm not gonna sway the vote on this one. I missed Old York, that's true. And Old Hampshire. It's a song by uh, My Chemical Romance. to my father to join the black parade that's all I know that's all I know 
Sorry. Sorry to disappoint you. I do not know the words to that song. I don't really like that song. I can't name that many Beatles songs. Were you a good Charlotte fan, Derek? I, I get the I get good Charlotte vibes, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know. I <laughs> Oh, can you do the hokey call killer bees? I recommend going to uh, Average Deku Stream and having him do the hokey call. It's a beautiful thing. Rap songs? Not many. Although I listened exclusively to rap my sophomore and junior year of high school every day going to school. I rode I rode to school with a kid. He had his own car. His name's Mark. Great kid. Very clean cut. Came from a very clean cut family. Like Dad both his parents were teachers and he listened to hardcore rap <laughs> and that that was his listening preference so I, I I heard a lot of rap but I don't know I listened to a son of South Park Mexican uh, DMZ Jay's wait not DMZ not DMZ not who's not DMZ who am I thinking of Gosh, DMX. Not. I was convincing, confusing DMV. <laughs> DMX. A lot of. I was not. A, I am not a DMX fan. I've listened to enough DMX for my life. It, it, <laughs> the barking just drove me nuts. I uh, listen to a ton of Snoop Dogg. I'm trying to think who else he listened to. The Streets, which is a British white rapper <laughs> that I would never anticipate being. I listen to a ton of The Streets. Not a huge fan. Uh, what's it? Mario Golf Super Rush. Name the available players. Uh, Ron, if... If your heat goes up... Ron, you changed your name to Ron the Hottie. Let's go. Okay, Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, Princess Peach, Princess Daisy, Waluigi, Wario... Donkey Kong, Bowser, Bowser Jr. Uh, I believe Petey Piranha you can play as. Uh, can you play as a Koopa? I'm trying to think. I haven't played that game in so long. He plays King Boo. When I was a young boy, my father took me to East Virginia to join the Nut Parade. He said, son, when you grow up, would you be the master of the nut? There's really 20, what? There's 22 characters you can play as in that game? Really? Really? I didn't realize there was that many characters. Uh, are we gonna count the different colored Yoshis? Uh, 
Uh, heck, man, why can't I think of Diddy Kong? Plays Diddy Kong. He plays King K. Rule. Did I say Waluigi? I think I said Waluigi. Shy guy. A Goomba. I think he plays a Goomba, right? Um, dude, why? It's been so long since I've played this game. I'm trying to think of major characters in Mario that you can play as. I got how could you forget the toads sorry I mean, you don't have to go into easy mode. I just uh, won't look at chat. Pauline. Dude, it's been so long since I've played it. I didn't even know there was 22 characters. I'm sorry, believers. My hands get tired a little bit. You made your chat very angry. In other words, today is a day of the week. Just regular boo. You saying this is the first time I've made them upset? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this feels like a mallet made question. I feel like the mods are trying to come up with questions in in Discord together. What what question can we ask next? The five inhabited US territories. Uh, we have the United States, Puerto Rico, Guam, the U.S. Virgin Islands, the best I've ever had. Can you name the five U.S. occupied territories? Uh, Puerto Rico. Said it. Guam. Said it. U.S. Virgin Islands? Is that one? United States? Is that one? Hawaii is technically a state. It's not a territory of the United States. Alaska is a state. Right. I said all the ones I knew. Philippines is a good one, is it? Anything geography, all bets are off. 
I barely got all. I barely got 40 of the 50 states. What? You didn't sing the song? I don't know. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas. Now name their capitals. No. Not as confident there, huh? American Samoa. Tate! Yeah, I would. I you said the Virgin Islands. I did say the Virgin. I'm actually shocked. I pulled that one out of my Tate! rear end. 100% pulled that out of my rear end. Yeah. How'd that feel? Virginie. <laughs> <laughs> The U.S. Virgin Islands. David, David, David. Oh, dude, I was Sherby when you and Cheese Pops were going at it. I was so thankful I was not in that round when we did Deku's trivia clash. I was so thankful it was you and Cheese Pops. I would have I would have done like three. So by reoccurring, that means they have to be in more than one episode of Seinfeld, right? That's, that's actually going to be really hard, chat. As much as I love Seinfeld, chat, that's going to be... Don't think this is a gimme easy putt here. Not a gimme putt. Like, I love Seinfeld. What? Mm-hmm. I told you, the generator, I'm gonna print out a picture and give it to you in a card. I'm gonna hand make a card. What's up, Becca? Dude, cards are just such a waste. I, would, I wish people wouldn't buy me cards. If you're gonna give me money, just hand me like a $20 bill. Don't waste the money on the card. Or just hand me a gift card. All right, 30 characters. We got uh, George. David, David, David. If only you spent more time studying geography and less time snacking on my gourmet Paris and burnt nuts, then Harrison. you might have helped the believers for shame. I'm sorry. Okay, 30 Seinfeld characters, and go. Jerry, George, Kramer, Elaine. Frank Costanza, Estelle Costanza, uh, Jerry's mom, Jerry's dad, I can't remember their names. The pool guy, Newman, uh, the cashier at Monk's Cafe, the owner of Monk's Cafe, um, Susan, Uh, what's Kramer's one friend? He's a little person. What's his name? What the 
I can't remember his name. His friend. Mickey. Mickey. Uh, let's see. Jerry's had a couple of girlfriends that were in multiple episodes, but I don't know their names. Girlfriend he takes to the Hamptons, whatever her name is. Also, the people that own the house in the Hamptons, I don't know their names, but the husband and wife that have the ugly baby. They're in multiple episodes, so there's two more. Uh, the Rabbi, David Putty. Man, I said Bob Sacramento, but he's not actually in it. Kramer just talks about Bob Sacramento. He's not actually in it. Uh, Uncle Leo. Uh, who's George's crazy neighbor? What's his name? He sells computers with them in George's dad's garage. Can't remember his name, but him, he was ran for student, not student council, city council. He worked there. Uh, oh, the dentist. Heck, what's the dentist's name? The dentist. Whatever his name, Brian is his real name. Can't remember his dentist's name. The lawyer. Kramer's lawyer. Sorry, I'm blanking on names, but these are characters that are in multiple episodes. How can we allow no names, Taint? <laughs> you, I can't remember all the names. Uh, the red-haired, quote-unquote, the virgin because she's in the finale as well. I can just name a bunch from the finale, actually, because that means they were reoccurring characters. They were in the finale. The soup. The guy that sells soup, we'll just call him that. Uh... Babu. Bad man, very bad man. Who else is in the finale? That's gotta be close to 30, right? That's only 24? All right, six more, I can do this. I can do this, six more. Trying to, it's really hard to multitask for me if you haven't seen this yet. Um, why can't I think of anybody else? Uh, oh, Mr. Pitt, Mr. Bookman, the the librarian cop. Fruit 319 asked me, what's the most tainted thing you've ever seen in New York? A hot dog from a street vendor that even a raccoon would say, thanks, but I'll just eat my trash. Ah. <laughs> uh... Uh, the the lady Elaine bumps into in the shower. They're real and they're spectacular. Uh, I'm 
Oh, um, who's the head of NBC? The head of NBC. Crazy Joe Davola. Susan's parents. Susan's mom, Susan's dad. That's 29. Uh, uh. Is Kramer's mom in more than one episode? I think she's only in one episode. See, the thing about eating the black and white cookie, Dave, is you want to get some black and some white in each bite. Nothing mixes better than vanilla and chocolate. It's true. And yet somehow, racial harmony <laughs> eludes us. If people would only look to the cookie, all our problems would be solved. Look to the cookie. Look to the cookie. Uh, Sue Ellen Mischke! Sue Ellen Mischke! Sue Ellen Mischke! Big Malletman asked me, please name 30 recurring characters in the TV show Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld, George Costanza, Elaine Benes, Cosmo Kramer, Newman, Frank Costanza, Estelle Costanza, Morty Seinfeld, Helen Seinfeld, Uncle Leo, Susan Ross, Peterman, Putty, Banya, Mickey Abbott, Mr. Lipman, Jackie Childs, mm, Jackie. The Soup Nazi, Babu Bhatt, Mr. Pitt, Jane, Lloyd Brown, The Maestro, Brown. Sue Ellen Mishke, Tim Watley, Carol the Cashier. I think he could have kept going. Is this gaming? No, this is Patrick. Those are names. Listen, I couldn't... All right, sounds good, Deku. Thanks for all the fun time. What's man. the deal with Dave struggling with naming recurring Seinfeld characters? All he had to do was say Seinfeld's comedy routine audience. There's at least 100 people in his usual audience. Easy win right there. But we can't put an actual number on that. All right. Being bored increases your chance of death by 100%. Dude, I hate you for this prediction. I really do. I, I hate you for this. All right, uh, here we go. What's up, Daedalus? Here we go. All right, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, gold, silver, platinum, neon. Neon! Uh, iodine, sodium. Uh, Baromir. No, Baromir is the Lord of the Rings. Barium. 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 Uh... I hate you so much. I hated chemistry. I hated chemistry, dude. Uh, I'm trying to think of the made up ones too. There's a bunch of made up elements. The human element. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, 
uh, iodine one? Bromine? Dude, I've named 10. I, I throw in the towel. Heck this. There's no way that was only 10. There's no way that was only 10. The element of surprise! I hated chemistry. Take care, Filthy. Thank you so much. Someone actually element Einsteinium. I knew there was one. The fifth element, the Honda element. Is this for charity? Uh, this is because of charity, yes. I a helium. Chat, I'm sorry. I said neon at least. A U A G Argon, yeah. It's easy now that you guys are saying them, but You got the John Mayer reference, thank you. The Numanium Wood I remember having to memorize those for chem class though. I think we had to memorize like the first 50 or something. I don't remember why that we had to memorize the first 50. Carbon, carbon's a big one that I forgot for sure. Is mayonnaise an element? <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Steven. I'll get up here in a second. Kayla, it's been great having you. Yeah. I love the idea of chemistry. It's such a cool concept. You know, thinking about the substances that make up everything. I think that's really cool. But when it turned into just being like a memorization and math class, that's when I hated it. I think this we didn't do nearly enough experiments, I don't think, in chem class. In high school. It was more literally memorize these, memorize this element in periodic table and do these math problems. And that was like, that was it. It was not fun. Which I get it, it was chem one. Like, almost all high school kids had to take it, so they're not going to let you do cool stuff until you take, like, the higher chem stuff, but... Full Metal Alchemist? Yeah. I want to make a sword out of thin air. How could I have forgotten my favorite element, BN? Can't get enough bananas. It's true, potassium, dude. predictions are getting so absurd dude how crazy would it be if we beat lucky draw
Alright. All right, five clouds. Cumulonimbus, Cirrus, Stratus, Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy VII, Nimbus from Dragon Ball. There you go. Dude, if you're not going to count Cloud Strife, get out. That's far away the most <laughs> cloud of clouds in the sky. Nimbus from Dragon Ball is in the sky. Goku rides it around all around in the sky. He yells Nimbus and it comes flying. Can I name all biology levels of class? What does... Speak English, Amanda. Uh, cloud Cuckoo Land. Wait, are you serious? There's two more types of clouds, though. Uh, rain clouds. Cotton candy clouds. I've looked at clouds from upside down. I don't know. What do you mean levels of classification? Give me an example, Amanda. That's all I got. Thought bubble cloud. Vape clouds. <laughs> Wispy. Pardon me for not taking. What's a uh, weatherman classes in college? Whatever that is called again. Meteorology, thank you. Yeah, Lackety Cloud. That's exactly what it's called. <laughs> this stream has turned into, are you smarter than a fifth grader? And sadly, I'm showing that I'm not. Uh, thank you, Bryson. I'll be, I'll be sure to play that. Thank you, Bryson. Domain Kingdom Phylum. Kingdom Phylum. <laughs> I remember this. I, mean, I can't remember the answer, Amanda, but I do remember this. Ray Ray McLeod. <laughs> Dude, bring Ray Ray McLeod back. Genus. That's right. Yeah. I don't remember what that means, Amanda, but I do remember that.
I don't like these predictions anymore. Planets with moons. Are we talking like Sand Kingdom, Lake Kingdom? Those all have moons on them and they're planets. Are you talking like real life? New Donk City. The Fonzate asked me, is Dave having an existential crisis on the road to Las Vegas? <laughs> it appears DGR Dave may simply be pondering the futility of chasing elusive stars in a desert of pixels rather than any profound self-discovery. Thank you, Hal. Big Hallet man. All right. I don't know. Okay, slight problem. I don't know what planets have moons. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Neptune, Saturn, Uranus, Pluto. Boom. Get in the rose pot. Jupiter. Yeah, Pluto's still a planet. Heck you, rest of the, the, whoever decided that Pluto wasn't a planet anymore. Pluto will always be a planet to me. I don't care if it doesn't have a moon or not. Listen, I was around for when Pluto was a planet and then they took it away from us. How dare they? Say Pluto, Pluto's no planet. Leave it to the experts. Dude, I'll be on my rocking chair telling my grandkids about Pluto. Hey, Amanda, are you here? I have to pee. Virginia, Denver West Virginia, Virginia, East Virginia. Virginia. Like Florida. No, there's no East Virginia. Hi. No. I was a bio teacher, yeah. Let me ask you a question. I don't want you to ask me a question. Why can't I ask you a question? Yeah, go stretch with the girls for two minutes. Go, no, go stretch. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be sitting this long. You're gonna get a blood clot. Okay. This went dark. It's fine. What about mitochondria? How 30... mighty is mitochondria? What's 30 seconds? What's all in the picture? What? Eight parts of a plant cell? Good job. Oh, I wanna see it. Cell walls. 
Let's wait. Wait. What? Gotta wait till the prediction. Oh. I wanna see if you get the blues. I wanna see if you get the blues. I wanna see if you get the blues. Why would I not get this? You wouldn't get this. Uh, the Steinman. That's part of a plant, not part of a plant cell. And it's the That's stamen. <laughs> Stamen, diamond. Okay, go. Okay. Um, cell wall, cell membrane, chlorophyll. See how hard it is oh. to do this? Yeah, hold on. Chlor, I'm sorry, not chlor. Well, chlorophyll's in the chloroplast. chloroplast. Does that does that count? I'd always make my kids add in chlorophyll here, here. into the chloroplast. Does that, are you going to? Mitochondria, um, lysosome, Golgi apparatus. Oh, endoplasmic, the, the smooth, apparatus. smooth endoplasmic reticulum, rough endoplasmic reticulum. How many did I have to get? How many did I have to do? Did that was nine. Did that was nine, Mallet. Cause tech, yeah, cause the smooth and the rough ER are two separate things. They just have the same ending name. What about the? Did I have to do ten? How many did I have to do? Ribosomes. Ten. Um, nucleus. Well, what about? Uh... Um. Neutron Denver Iodine. <laughs> Wait, are you? Kinda. You're taking bio this semester? Well, Shane, if you need help, let me know. I should go get my bio notebook. Not so much. I want to stay awake. sugar in it. Not that much sugar. It's very delicious. I need that. I've been using my juicer a lot. A lot. Twice. Twice. The girls and I made homemade strawberry lemonade. Okay. ASMR. Okay, okay. Well, you don't like that? You guys like my ASMR? Worst sound ever. 
question. What? When you make voices on TTS, do you do that through Tangia? There's, okay, there's someone in chat. I'm not going to say who you are. Message me. <clears throat> they want to know how you make the voices. Do you use a certain app or is it all through Tangia? What is the app called? Because she's here. So it's an app that you need what? It's, it's, a, it's a website. It's a website and you need a minimal, what, 30 seconds of them just constantly talking, right? I think this is a fa fantastic, and I, I'm not going to say who the person is, but their dad no longer has um, speech capabilities because of ALS. And they thought that, that would be a great way for him to... Absolutely. So, I will get the website from Dave, I, I which I, I think is a fantastic idea. I don't know the website off the top of my head, but I can get that to you. Okay. So, because I know you're here, I saw your name go through, as soon as Dave sends it to me, then I will send it to you in Discord. Whether he gets it to me tonight after the stream or this weekend, but I will for sure send it to you. You have my word. But I just figured, I hope you didn't mind because I saw your name. That way I could ask Dave live, so I don't forget either. But I think that's a fantastic idea, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Fantastic idea. better use of it than what I'm doing. Right. All right. See you later. Uh, chip steak okay for Din Din? Chip steak Sammy? You said it was better last time without it. It was better. Still I'm never going to buy you cheese again unless you go get it. Somebody likes cheese. Seriously, you're not here to judge me. You're here to ring out my groceries. So please stop judging me. Wow. Wow. I know. She made me feel like an idiot because I was buying 12 packs of pepper jack cheese. Victor in Christ asked me, why is GTR going <laughs> on a bus trip She gave me like the side, through the like, desert to Las Vegas, mm, Nevada. She was real caught. Like, and why is he like, not riding like in a bus? I was bothering her. And why isn't Gilbert Gottfried on the road with him? I thought What's Gilbert called shotgun on because on Victor and Christ, DGR Dave is on a psychedelic DGR journey James through the dunes of digital destiny. He doesn't need a bus. It's he like rides the I don't want you judging me for what I'm buying. Literally, you're not here to judge me. And Gilbert, it's funny. When I Gilbert's used to work at our local grocery store, on the horizon, Dave's cousin is like a year or with the two voice younger than us, an and she started working there. And she was the most parrot. judgy cashier I have ever seen. So, like, when I got promoted and I worked at the service desk, when the front end lead would go on break, I was then in charge. And she, I will never forget this one time. I was bagging groceries for her. And she, this person came down the aisle. She looked at the belt. She looked at them, gave them the up and down. And as she was scanning the grocery, she'd look at it, scan it, and just fling it. Like, can you see her doing this? She would, like, she'd pick it up, and she'd look, and she'd, like, she was disgusted at everything they bought. I had a big crash. I don't hear tears, though. It's not automated. Oh my gosh. What's up, legendary fella? Oh my gosh. Come on. There we go. Welcome back to the chair, the hot seat. Welcome to the Dutch oven. Feel the burn. Uh, the, the inputs what are... What was a lot of words for one bathroom break? The inputs are jump dive, A, B, Fact, B, A, A, B, NASA says B, A, a, a planet B, one B, a, a, orbits a star. A, a, B, two, B, a, is spherical a, B, under its own a, gravity. A, B, and three, a, B, has cleared most B, asteroids out of its orbit. Pluto matches one and two, but it does not match three due to not clearing out the Kuiper Belt. Plus, Pluto is technically a binary system with its moon Charon. 
<laughs> the moon's name is Karen. <laughs> Freaking Karen. <laughs> nope, it's Karen. Nope. Dwight said the moon's name is Karen, so... The moon's name is Karen. Oh! I'm still jumping, Jess. What's up, Kylo? Uh, Kylo, this is a very chill, laid back. Um, chat raised this. The, re the only reason I'm doing this is because chat raised the money for charity. I gotta put my glasses on. My eyes are starting to like hurt a little bit. There we go. Fact 70. <laughs> That's my favorite fact in the world. What happens if we beat Lucky Draw? I say if we beat Lucky Draw, that gives us permission to quit this. I think that's only fair. We have a one in seven million chance of beating Lucky Draw. If we beat this, what's up, George Clooners? This just in! We've received reports of a man running and jumping on a desert road for the past six and a half hours. He seems to have forgotten his shoes and is getting his feet burned severely on his journey. We believe he's heading to Las Vegas, hoping to win big and buy a decent pair of shoes. Can I, can I tell you guys a joke? Can I tell you a joke? What's up, Rocky Raccoon? Can I tell you a joke? What's up, Toby? Okay, okay, yeah, right, here you go. There's a man walking in the desert. No, crawling in the desert. Desperately thirsty. He's been he's been in the desert for a week. No water. Water! Water! He stumbles into a man who's selling neckties in the middle of the desert. He goes up to the man and says, Whoa! And the, the necktie selling man says, I'm sorry, I don't have any water, but I can sell you a necktie. Water! He says, I'm sorry, I don't sell water, but there's a hotel about 40 miles past here where you, I'm sure you can get water. So the man goes, Whoa, okay. And he crawls, starts crawling away towards the hotel. Another week passes. The necktie salesman hears, Water! Water! And the, the guy, the man selling necktie says, Didn't you get water at the hotel? And the man says, They wouldn't let me in without a necktie! Come on! Come on! That was a good Big one! Melvin asked me, Can you name the IAU recognized dwarf plants? The six known dwarf planets are Ceres, Pluto, Haumea, Makemake, Eris, and Moan, with perhaps many more waiting Moana. to be discovered. My, my favorite plan is Moana. Wouldn't that have been better as a shirt salesman? Okay, let's not pick apart the joke, chat. It was a good joke. 
I can't help it if you didn't like it. Doesn't change, it was a good joke. Yo, Sunset J, thanks for the two years. Also, Key, thank you for the seven months, Key. And Corey's, I don't know if I said thank you for the 10 months, Corey's. That was like almost an hour ago. I can't remember who I've thanked at this point. More Castlevania music. chat that's true this this is nitro veda nitro vita the streamer he once did a 24-hour stream running up the endless stairs in mario 64 we could be doing that all right so i don't want to hear about it things could be worse Yeah, I think he played it with music. And he didn't pee. That joke was rated 4 out of 10? 4 out of 10? Wow, chat. 4 out of 10 is generous? Okay, alright. As an aspiring comedian, what was not good about it? Hmm? What was not good about it? Necktie? All of it? The humor? A man is... It's, a, it's absurd! That's, what's make, that's what makes it funny! There's a man literally... Dying of thirst in the in the middle of the desert. There just happens to be a guy selling neckties in the middle of the desert. Absurd. AKA funny. Says there's a hotel where you can get some water. Week later he comes back. Like why like the hotel would have would have let him in to get a drink. If they saw a dying man. But for them to send him away because he didn't have a necktie? It's absurd. That's what makes it funny. Why a necktie? I don't. Because it was a fancy hotel. It was a fancy hotel where you have to dress up to get in. Okay, I should have said a fancy restaurant. Excuse me. Maybe if I said fancy restaurant. Would that have been better if I said fancy restaurant? You can't, exactly, you can't go more than two days without water. Also absurd. Actual desert bus stream when? The funniness is in the absurdity. Of Explaining course it's, it can't happen. Always makes it funnier. You're right. The 591 people in chat must be wrong. They are wrong. They're wrong. Dead wrong. To give that joke a four is a crying shame. Absolute travesty. Travesty. I'm live on both Twitch and YouTube. David, don't quit your day job. Not everyone can have the gift of humor. 
<laughs> I don't feel bad, all right? Well, this is still happening, E-Tran, you bet. You betcha. Hello, Harry Young. Fruit319 asked me, Dave told a joke that chat rated 4.10 about a man dying of thirst and a necktie salesman. Did you like the joke, Craig? Ha, huh, a 4.10? That's being generous. I've heard better jokes at a tax seminar, but hey. I'm here for the golf swings, not the comedy bits. Did you hear about the one, the guy that didn't do his taxes? He filed for an extension. I'm just kidding. That, that, that was... That was I was just being silly there. It was, it was just being, do not open a vote on that. It wasn't a joke. The joke was that it was not a joke. No, you're not voting on that. Stop. It wasn't a real joke. I see a couple tens in there. Oh, I see you voting a zero, Ben. I see you, I see one. You find out who your friends are. All right, I actually made up, I just made up a real joke, okay? Thank you, Weston Wind. My most positive supporter, Weston Wind. Later, Karate Tiger. All right, here's a real joke I just made up. You guys wanna hear the real tax joke I just made up? No, heck you, I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you the joke. You guys are mean. I'm not telling you anything. You get nothing. Why are we're not voting now? That is nothing to vote. That's not. my jokes on my sleeves if you don't laugh at my joke I take it personally you should find everything I say funny everything <laughs> I wear tank tops listen I was trying to think of something never mind I'm not gonna explain my joke the desert delirium is getting to me. I can't believe this has been seven hours, TBH. Probably. It's probably Earthbound Music, and it's probably going to give me DMCA'd. The only, like, Super Nintendo music that can get copyright claimed or that I've seen get copyright claimed is usually Earthbound and Chrono Trigger music. Those are, like, the, those are, like, the two games where their music is 
copyrighted sometimes. I'm not worried about it. It would be a copyright claim anyways. But whatever. What's up? Uh, Voltigoad, welcome in. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous, man. Anytime I upload anything N64 mallet, it gets copyright claimed by a bogus company claiming I'm using a Dire Dire Docs remix Tickle the cover. Wii U stick. Tickle the 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 Wii U stick. I tickled it. Tickle the Wii U stick. Thank you, Jerry. Tickle the Wii U stick. Tickle the Wii U stick. Thank you, Jerry. Tickle the Wii U stick. Anyways, anytime I upload anything mario 64 related if it has dire dire docs in it it gets copyright claim saying i'm using a bogus dire dire docs remix cover from some band and i'm so tired of it man and then i so i fight the claim i say no this is a false claim and the company doesn't even respond they just let the 30 30 days go by and the claim gets released so they're all they're doing is they're hoping to get free money from people. People that will be like, oh man, I'm not gonna fight this copyright claim. They just they just do the copyright claim and then won't fight you back on it because they know it's bogus. And just hope hope you won't fight it. And it's oh it's infuriating. Yeah, what's up, Chadley? Because they get free money out of it. They'll do the copyright claim, and a lot of people won't know any different and be like, oh, man, I'm not going to fight this. They think they did something wrong, and they didn't. You're, we're literally playing a video game with... Th this is the music from the video game. Not, I'm not, not now, but like Mario 64, for example. I said a hip-hop, the hippie, the hippie to the hip, hip-hop, and you don't stop the rock and... Thank you, to the bang bang boogie say up jump the boogie <laughs> to the rhythm of the boogie the beat that was beautiful yeah Gunning yeah i did claim it sounds hospital. nothing like it dave is having a lot of trouble being funny all his jokes are falling flat on the crowd hal can you please tell us a joke for him certainly how does one astronaut on the moon tell another astronaut that he is sorry. He apologizes. I hope the humor is not too spaced out for this audience. He what? Unbelievable! I, I just got canceled at the Improv Comedy Club. They just booked rising star DGR Dave. Apparently they like necktie jokes. <laughs> How rude! <laughs> I thought you were gonna say carrot top. For some reason, carrot top came to mind that you're gonna say. I didn't even. What was the joke? Wait, what was the joke? I don't understand the astronaut joke. Yeah, YouTube doesn't care. YouTube's making money regardless. They don't care who's getting that portion of the ad revenue. As long as YouTube's getting their portion of the ad revenue, they do not give a dang about anything else, really. Apollo, oh. We're getting there. Wait, I asked a question? What did I ask, Scramble? Oh, I asked what the joke was. Oh. <laughs> 
Listen, I'm notorious for doing that. <laughs> I, it's, it's not you, it's me. On my Legends of Mario interview, which I haven't done one yet, it's in the works. It's just been, life's been too hectic right now for me to um, write out the questions and set up a time to do the interview. I have my next guest lined up. I just got to get the questions. Um, I do want to interview Kays. I would love to get an interview with Kays, the Mario 64 ROM hacker. I have a lot of interesting questions to ask him. I'm having tons of fun, Ash. So much fun. Where's Wario? Dude, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna put the Wario... Wario voice in for, for tomorrow's stream. Even though it sounds really bad, I think I still am gonna use Wario's voice. I'm, I'm just really upset because... The AI did a great job making the Wario voice from the voice clips I put in. But then Tangia just, like, screws it up when I put it in Tangia. I don't know why. It sounds completely different. I'm sorry you have to deal with these fraudulent claims, Dave. I wish YouTube would get to fixing their copyright system. Thanks, Arby's you guy. You don't deserve that malarkey. Thanks, Arby's guy. That's very kind of you to say. But I know it's not just me that deals with it. I mean, there's... I don't upload that much Super Mario 64 content. So others deal with it way more than I do, but it is frustrating for sure. Do I play Pokemon? Um... Not really. I mean, I play Iron Mon once in a while, which I've been really kind of wanting to play some more. I'm ready to get hurt again in Iron Mon. Yeah, it's so silly. Is your chat synced? I don't know. Iron Man's just super chill. Well, chill in certain ways. It's very stressful, but chill in the fact that, like, I don't know. The gameplay is more laid back. What's up, Piano Man? You need participants for an Iron Man 30 next week, Maddie? <laughs> I don't know that I'm ready for that. I need to get a better, like, uh, quality of life Pokemon ROM. That, that, like, has the nurse in the forest. Yes, it does have an end, Frost. He did crush it at Pan Ams. It was child's play. Dogs or cats? I really like both dogs and cats for different reasons, but if I had to choose to have, like, one, I would pick dogs. There's nothing quite like a good dog snuggle. But cat snuggles are great, too. I like cats. I know you don't like cats, Amanda, but I do. I like dogs. Team cat. Yeah, like if you get a cat to snuggle up with it, you know you like are, you got that cat's trust, you know what I mean? Dogs aren't nearly as picky with who they'll let snuggle them, but cats are. So you know you're doing something right with if a cat snuggles up to you. 
Yeah, cat snuggles are an honor. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Because cats are notorious jerks. N notorious for being jerks. Seeing more cactuses. Does this mean we're getting closer to to Vegas? Now that we're seeing more cactuses, we're seeing more vegetation, chat. What I want to know if this is like all randomly generated or like I don't know if this looks the same on every playthrough. We should be in Nevada by now. What happens if you fall in a hole or nothing? We need a second playthrough to verify. There's no traffic. We were talking about that earlier, like people that live in a city. I couldn't do it. And now there's no cactuses. That was just like the cactus patch. It would be really hard for me to live somewhere where work is like two or three miles away and it takes half hour 45 minutes to drive I know you could just walk it but sometimes it's not safe to walk like in heavily crowded places like that What's up, Jackson? Do you use a wallet? And is it rear, rear, it, I do use a wallet. It is not near me though. It is nowhere near me. But I may have an answer to your question. Uh, I can tell you how much cash is in my wallet right now. I know how much cash I have. No. No. Safest place to walk in. I mean, there's parts of PA that are safe, but... It's got its fair share of problems just like every other place. the smart thing to do Nathan you don't want to carry too much or too little it would take approximately 85 hours to complete this <laughs> Yeah, but we're talking about Mario here, bro. What's up, Lucas? Riveting? I know. Riveting. The answer is $2. I have $2 in my wallet.
I never have cash, chat. So if you ever see me walking in the streets, and you're like, oh man, I could mug him and get some quick cash. Not worth it. You don't, you don't want to go after me. What's up, Jonathan C? I usually have no money. <laughs> I use Bitcoin. Yeah, exactly. Big crypto guy here. I understand crypto so much. Uh, j and thank you for the 100 bits. You had no BLJ, j and <laughs> Want some Bitcoin? Nah. I'm not even gonna pretend like I understand cryptocurrency. Ah, uh, Lucas, thank you for the five dollar super chat. I'm so glad you're riveted. You're riveted more than a metal roof. See what I did there? Because metal roofs have, you have to use a rid, rivet gun. We're not voting on that joke! Listen, if I, I wish I could go to each one of your house and throw a flaming bag of poop on your porch right now for those that are voting negative numbers. Only the, only the mean ones. If you were nice, I won't throw a flaming bag of poop. best I got no I will hide one single Lego under where you sleep when you get out of bed when you put your feet down to get up for the morning it's gonna be a beautiful morning ah! you step on a Lego and ruined your day Not that bad on carpet. Oh, I would get the real pointy one where a carpet would not help. My toe, my toe. I love stepping on Legos. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Joke's on you, I sleep on Legos. It's like, oh, then you're telling me I've experienced child, the pain of childbirth, Amanda? Is this what you're telling me? Because I've stepped on many Legos. It's good to know, because you've told me I wouldn't be able to handle the pain of childbirth. So it's good to know that I could have, because I've stepped on multiple Legos. I ate a bowl of Legos for breakfast without any spice. I ate a bowl of Legos for breakfast without any bowl. Vinny, thank you for the 10 bits. It's like a mother puma giving birth. Yeah, that was hot. One chip challenge was not a good idea. I like to think I handled it better than Slade did, though. Uh, 
I'm not saying I handled it great. Anti Swipe asked me, how do you think Dave's thumb meat is doing after seven hours of gaming with few breaks? Probably feels like it did a dance marathon on Dance Dance Revolution, sizzling like a burger on Kramer's hot tub grill. <laughs> It's not too bad because the Xbox controllers are round, the buttons are rounded, but yeah. They felt better. It's because you have a 1 in 7 million chance of beating the level. The chances of us beating Lucky Draw is quite literally 1 in 7 million. Well, 40 minutes roughly. It's not like, oh, you hit eight hours, the game suddenly ends. No, you ha there's a certain spot you have to get to. What's up, Terra? No, it's it's supposedly complete RNG. Right. We lost a couple minutes, me setting up my Wii U and stuff, like eight or nine minutes there probably. Thank thank you for explaining it, Rain Soak Dreamer. I, I get the joke now, but Rain Soak Dreamer, just in case you're just hearing that joke now. I just want to let you know you're like 20 minutes behind on the stream for when you hear this. <laughs> just in case! Just in case you don't know you're accidentally 20 minutes behind on the stream. There used to be a Twitch channel that had Lucky Draw playing 24-7. And I think it beat it like three times. I think there was like three times it won. And it was playing 24-7, 365. I don't think the channel's live anymore, but... I think it was called Lucky Draw. <laughs> Something like that. Play this on an NES controller? Nah. I'm not doing anything at this point. Seven hours into this. I know a couple people were um, hacking the game to clear Lucky Draw, but it has been cleared legitimately. I also remember the creator of the, the level, Lucky Draw. I think he said he made the level and then just left his Wii U on and checked back again like 12 days later and it was cleared. I remember the origin story of it. He just left it on. No, go back and do it with an NES controller? No! I'm never doing this again. This is one of the... This will be one of those streaming memories where I'm like, why did I do this? I had fun, but why did I do this? Ooh. I think I know the answer to this.
For those who don't know, Nathan is a huge Pokemon collector, just FYI. Loves Pokemon. Some you could even call him a Pokeman, because he's so into Pokemon. See what I did there? <laughs> Chad, give me a break. I've been running for seven hours and twenty minutes. Cut me some slack. Pokey Maniac. I see what you did there. What's up, Let's Talk Games? How you doing, man? By the way, Let's Talk Games. I tried to go back and review Smoked Fish and Cabbage, too, on SMW Central. And I don't remember my password. And they said to like recover your password, you have to like email somebody to get to recover it and stuff. I'm like, um, <laughs> like you have to physically email a, a real person to get your password reset or something. Can we get a milkshake, please? Yes. Yeah, I thought it would be like, oh, you forgot your password. Send an email to reset. I'm like, okay, I'll do that. And then I can write my review. And I'm like, uh... I mean, I know it's just another email, but then you have to wait for them to get back to you. I don't know. Yo, I just got like three pop-ups from the Epic Store. Go away! Get off my screen! I was gonna say, uh, how many was the total, Nathan? I was gonna guess way more than 30. Or at least 30. 41. Carmen started, uh, I just got Carmen playing, um, what is it, Shining Pearl on the Switch? She was playing it today, actually. Oh, yeah, world record pay is easy. Is she liking it? I'm not sure. She's been really, really into Mario Odyssey lately, so it's been... She's, like, been preferring to play Mario Odyssey over anything else right now. But she was playing it today. I'll have to ask her when I go out. Oh, what's up, Michael? No, yeah, no problem. Rarest, coolest record... Um, I haven't been collecting that long. Probably like two or three years collecting vinyl. Uh, probably the rarest one I own is my Diddy Kong Racing vinyl. Uh, I'm trying to think some cool records I have. I'd say like, well not half of them, I'd say like, probably a fourth of them are Christmas records. <laughs> Which it's, I don't know, it's really fun to like be decorating or something and put on a Christmas record. <laughs> this prediction dude. Yep, Pikmin, we're, um, but I have, I mean, I have some sticks, I have some Huey Lewis, some Queen, some Wings, I think I have a Beatles record, maybe, I, I don't, I might not have a Beatles record, uh, but I have a bunch of video game ones as well. It's fun, man. It's fun to collect. Uh, I have been, Michael. I have indeed. Oddly, 
Otter. What you see is what you get, baby. Uh, we have three, but two of them are pretty junky. Like, they're really, really cheap turntables. Like, $50 turntables. So they don't really put out great sound. But I got my really nice one for Christmas. Uh, take care, Bryson. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for hanging, man. Nathan, how uh, often do you get Baja Blast when you go to Taco Bell? I don't even know what Taco Casa is, Third Coast. Michael, this was, I mean, I wouldn't just be playing this for fun, um, but it was a charity incentive. So, this, um, you know, whether this actually helped bring in more money or not, it was a milestone. Like I said, if we raised, we ended up raising $60,000 for the Jared Box project. I don't remember what the benchmark is for this, but if it got people to donate a couple more dollars to have me play this, it was worth it. Sanity check? I feel pretty good. My eyes are starting to hurt a little bit. Yeah, in one 24-hour stream, let's talk games. 24 hours, we raised 60K. This community is absolutely ridiculous. And uh, they show up and uh, do some pretty dang amazing things. Really just, it's it's such a cool thing to be a part of. Think we'll beat Lucky Draw? No, I do not. <laughs> At all. <laughs> hey Scramble, how often are you streaming, man? I saw you were playing uh... Sealed Palace. I really need to go back and finish that. Which does Mallet like more? <laughs> I hope Mallet votes on which one. Super Paper Mario yesterday? Nice. Did you so did you finish Sealed Palace? Uh, like I hope Mallet predicts, like goes all in and then he's like, hey, yeah, it was this one. The one that I predicted on. I'm not a, I'm not saying you're a cheater. I just think it'd be funny. I guess what I'm at I wanted to ask you, if you finished it scramble, is it worth like finishing out okay last time you play you stopped okay no worries i've still been loving it but i just i just didn't know if it was worth like finishing it out yo thanks michael it's it's the way i look at it with streaming you know yeah i'm i'm like the face of the channel or whatever but I look at streaming and like content creation as like a giant jigsaw puzzle yeah! and uh, I'm just a I'm just a piece in the puzzle man everybody else in this community is also a piece and uh, it's really fun when the puzzles get put together and you know great things happen as as a community and it's just it's cool to be a part of Yo, thank you so much, Wiley, for the raid. How's the stream, dude? Thank you so much for the raid, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, wow. It's a follow-up question. The marimba or the vibraphone? What the heck is a vibraphone? <laughs> Yo, Mamondas, thank you for the 100 bits, man. I appreciate you. I really hope I didn't leave my wallet in my other shorts. 
I could tell you something about a secret about my wallet, but I'm not going to. I have I have a s secret wallet. It creaks when he opens it. Moths fly out when I open it. <laughs> Is there a secret daddy compartment? I am not a secret daddy. Yes, Amanda. I'm not gonna, I'll tell you later. It's two feet deep. So if I have to get money out of it, I like have to go elbow deep into my wallet. To be honest, the, the part of my hand that's hurting the most are the fingers holding the controller that are bent in a weird way. It's like a, yeah, cartoon bag. Pull out a kayak out of my wallet. We're in the end game, chat. We are much closer to the end than the beginning, so just remember that. Much closer to the end than the beginning. Who does Jen who would Jen Poo like to go on a date with more? Michael Landon or Jimmy Stewart? Or Cary Grant? You can't. <laughs> Who are these people? I know the answer, but do you know the answer? We're talking Michael Landon with long hair here, Jen. We're not talking. What was his name in Bonanza? You don't think you know the answer? You really don't think I do? I don't think, I don't think it was Shorty. <laughs> Not Haas. Haas was the big fella. Yeah, they're blue light glasses. Not Shoddy. Lil Joe, thank you. <laughs> Ross, thank you for the $2 super chat. And the information. Chat, there's road construction south of Henderson, I-11. We'll have to know to take the, uh, take a detour, go around. So, does it not say on the sub goal reward, Neo? I thought it said on it. It's supposed to say on it. If we break 2,000 subs, uh, I'm gonna do a 24 hour stream as a reward. It's supposed to say on it, I'll have to look at that. Hey chat, I decided that next week I will stream me learning how to play piano and I will take everybody's suggestions on the best way to do it. Except Mallet, I won't listen to Mallet. It's not true. Mallet is very musically talented. I would trust Mallet's musical input. 
I do have a keyboard where I could learn how to play piano. I'd actually really love to learn how to play piano. Not to be like amazing or anything, but to like be able to, I don't know, play stuff would be fun. What's up, Cheese? Tell your friends I said hello. Hi, Cheese is friends. Pay attention in school. Drum with hands. Drum with hands. <laughs> what up, L Dubs? My friend says you're weird. Sticks and stones may break my bones. But words make me cry at night. No, nah, I'm 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 pretty good for now. We haven't reached the twenty second hour. Once we reach hour twenty two, then I might sleep that might I might get to the point where of loopy Dave I make you know I realize I'm I'm eclectic if you will I like me in the words of Del Griffith I'm the real article what you see is what you get. At least that's what I try to tell myself. <laughs> Who do you think you are? I am. What's up, Luber? Lobower. Lobo. No, I don't think it's Luber. I don't think your name is pronounced Luber. That's true. Del Griffith was lying about his wife. What? Del Griffith. Del Griffith. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not showing my feet. I don't know. I cannot see what the prediction is. But if it involves showing feet, I'm out. I'm out. Have you guys seen my feet today? I'm pretty sure if you go back in the video, you can see what color socks I was wearing. Ooh, I like, I'm wearing cool underwear today. I'm wearing my cowboy underwear. Just kidding, but I, I am wearing cool underwear. What if it says wrong way at the end? It doesn't, if you turn around, it says wrong way. Always don't wear underwear. <laughs> it wasn't my best stream, but that's okay. Because I am good enough, I'm smart enough, and dog on it, people like me. That's it. Thank you, generic. Listen, I I classify this as a bonding stream. If you've been here longer than five minutes, some of you have been here the whole time. 
it's noticed. Y'all are the real MVPs here. Like I've had fun. I know I know the gameplay hasn't been riveting. I understand that. But I feel like the conversation has been engaging and lightning enthralling entertaining in divisible with liberty and justice for all very low stress yeah it's just, it's a just chatting stream with extra graphics. I'm wearing black socks. For future reference chat, most of my socks are either black or gray. I do have some white ones, but for the most part, I usually wear either black or gray. Or no socks. But I'm usually wearing socks. Amanda never wears socks. Amanda's a... Never mind. She doesn't like wearing socks. I... Alright. Does anybody have those blankets that have a holes in them? I heard that if you sit for long periods of time... knitted You need to practice your kegels. Tighten your pelvic floor muscles. Hold the contraction for three seconds. And then relax for three seconds. Try it a few times in a row. Ooh, yeah! You got this. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, thank you so much for the $2, cheese. We're getting out of school. Let's go. What's up, you just, uh, Lucas? Yeah. I knew somebody with the last name Kegel. Not even joking. That was that was her legit last name. She almost married my cousin, actually. I'm not, I'm not I'm not even joking. <laughs> Dude, we got secret of mana music. Anyways, I was going somewhere. I, wait, I didn't see what your joke was, Jen. I didn't know it was legal to marry your cousin. Sweet home Alabama. Jeez, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those blankets with the holes in them. Yeah, usually hand knitted. Anyways, I can't be the only thank one that you. sticks my toes in the holes. We're getting out of school, Iron. Keep going. Right? Does anybody else stick your, your, stick your toes in the holes? When I was little, yes, an Afghan. Yeah, Afghan. Yes. You'd break your PC if you have it? Well, we're almost done. No? You're a quilt family. Sometimes you need that aeration. Provides heat, but also gentle cooling through the holes as well I don't why is it weird that I stick my toes through the holes why is that weird I have very long toes and it feels good it like spaces out my toes it feels really good dude you better be going all I 
believers or I would go all in on no here chat I'm just giving you a heads up there's no way I'm beating this before eight hours simple flips who is a speedrunner of Mario 64 beat this in like eight hours and ten minutes or something I think I'm just being honest. I don't want people to lose their hard-earned points. You can play the odds, but... Yo, Scramble! My guy! And... And... Scramble? And... Do we have a believer now? <laughs> not that bad thank you for your honesty thank you for your honesty I'm actually shocked my toes aren't one in right now imagine the payout for yes I mean, I get playing the odds. I really do. I'm just trying to be open and upfront. Are we there yet? Almost. Weighted blankets? I use one to sleep at night, Kayla. It's helped me tremendously. Because I'm a very bad sleeper, I, I roll around a bunch. Like, I, my body just, like, convulses when I sleep. So, it, like, it, it basically gives me... It's like an adult swaddling, almost. Teen swaddling. It's really nice. Where do the AI voices come from? Uh, check out Tangia. T A N G I A. Yeah. Lucky Draw is just a random Mario Maker level that you have a 1 in 7 million chance of winning. Just thought it'd be fun to throw it up there while we play this. What happens if you hit a pothole? Absolutely nothing. I don't really know how it works. I made a video on it a long, long time ago on YouTube, like four years ago on YouTube, explaining it. Why? But I don't remember the specifics. It's something about the Magikoopa's chances of spawning a... Something. I don't remember. I made a really quick YouTube video on it back in the day. If you want to see it. Yo, Bionicle, thank you for the $5 super chat. Hold on. I didn't get to see your message, but it'll pop up here in a second. And I can properly thank you, Bionicle. Thank you. Yeah, the guy that cleared it left his system on for 12 days and came back. He's not even sure when it got beat. He, like, he made the level... Left his Wii U on and then didn't check it for like 12 days or something. What's up? Uh, Jamon492? Yo, I... <laughs> Thank you so much, Bionicle. That's really kind of you to say. I am... Flattered you would say that uh, you think I'm the best YouTuber because I'm not. But beauty's in the eye of the beholder, hey, as they Dave. say. I, I appreciate I've been watching you watching. You for a year now, and I just got to say you are the best YouTuber I've ever seen. Uh, I mean the time that you watch watch the silly content, like content like this, that 
is absolutely ridiculous. So I, uh, it's greatly appreciated. Thank you. I used to have a bunch of Bionicles. And by a bunch, I think I had two or three. I don't know where they're at anymore. Do they still make new Bionicle stuff? That's true, Smitey. My fingers sore a little bit. What's up, Queen Hipster? I'll wait till I'm done to eat. You made it and it's hot? Can you switch me? No. I'll, go, I'll gonna jump slow. No, I don't care. I wouldn't care if you beat it anyways. Okay, well, why don't you go sit with the kids? I, no, it's fine. I'll, I'll eat it in a second. Is that a homemade bun? Is it really? <laughs> it looked like it. I was upset that it's not. It just looked like it. Dave! Yes. My last Tangia was an SNL reference. It was a character named Stuart Smalley who always ended the sketch by saying, this yes. wasn't my best show, but that's okay because I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me, but it's from a little before your time because I'm heckin' old. That's really good. That's really good. Oh, thank you, Generic. I was, I've never been a big SNL guy. Chat, just FYI, this isn't randomly gonna stop at eight hours. We have to get to a certain destination. Phil Hartman? Who's Phil Hartman? There's a certain destination you have to get to, SNL. Wow, you are young. I didn't watch SNL, dude. What's up, Medic Stream? He was a comedian, oh, okay. Thank you for the 100 bits, uh, Sarvenpa. Appreciate that. Troy McClure, I don't know who that is. I missed my turn a while back, dude. That'd be brutal. He was the neighbor in Jingle All the Way. That doesn't help me. I hated that movie. I wonder if the Bionic Man had Bionicles. Me too. Yeah, that's a. I love Christmas movies, and I'm usually not too picky. But I'll never watch. Uh, what's the Turbo Man movie again? Jingle all the way. I just. I don't think it's good. Yo, sc scramble! You've been here for like the whole time, man. Please don't ever say sorry when you have to leave. We will only make fun of you when you're not here, okay? So you don't have to worry about us. Don't, don't, don't watch the VOD, we'll just make fun of you after. No, I'm just kidding. kidding. Kidding, appreciate you, man. Best of luck at your appointment tomorrow, my dude. Yeah, if we get 900 gift subs, I will restart from at zero. Just 900 more, chat. 
Random question. Is, uh... I don't know where my is at. Is Sinbad still alive? Maybe I should go back. He is. He's just not, like, famous anymore. <laughs> they just home run strike nice spare Ooh, that's good throat singing i'll join you <laughs> i still had some remnant fry crumbs in my throat Are we there yet? We're almost there. You didn't hear Sinbad died while making Shazam? Wait. Sinbad's not bad, bad dead. Someone everyone said Sinbad's alive. Wait, he's dead? He got killed by Sam. Okay. His career died. <laughs> Whose career is more dead, Sinbad or Carrot Top? Really? One line Derek asked me, hey, Mach, quick question. Dave Mach. was wondering, ah, sorry, my coffee was really hot anyway. <laughs> is Sinbad still alive? Also, if so, is he wearing something made out of colorful windbreaker? K, thanks, bye. Oh, yeah, one line Derek. Don't scald your taste buds before I deliver the hot scoop. Yeah! The hot Sinbad's scoop. alive and kicking. Flashier than a supernova and a windbreaker constellation. Now go cool off with a cup of the macho madness. Dig it! T Will, thank you for the two dollars. Derek, thank you very much. I want I'm glad we got the hot scoop, dude. Where would we be without that hot scoop? Oh no! My computer just froze again. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine here. Except my chat is frozen. Uh. Oh no. Oh no, I can't read chat. Oh no, I can't read chat. Oh no! I can't see anything. Thank you. Hold on. Are we there yet? Okay, I had to pause for a second. I think I'm still alive. My heat is dying. Oh, you paused? I was coming in to help, but. Um, hold on, chat. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I can see. There we go. You paused it. Tainted. Tainted! Give me a chance to take a bite of my yummy sandwich.
Breaking news from the DGR community. Dave's computer has frozen temporarily. He is still live, but his chat does not work. He has also missed a Mario hat redemption. Eight hours in. Nicely done, Uncle Davey. There's Thank only you. one song that is appropriate to celebrate this accomplishment. Whoa, we're halfway there. Oh, dude. Whoa, oh, living on a prayer. Take my hand and we'll... Whoa, oh. Oh, yeah? Dude, if we weren't if we were not halfway there yet, I don't know what I'd do. Whoa, stop ground pounding. No, we are not halfway there. We're on the tail end, baby. Look for the silver lining. Dude, there might be a flipping sweet ending to this, by the way. There better be an ending that's like, oh man. Breaking news! Yeah. Local Pennsylvania man pauses Desert Mario run with just a minute before the eight hour mark, tainting the prediction. We now go live to the scene of the crime. How will he confess his evil wrongdoings? My computer froze. Hey, chat reminder that funny messages that came across chat while it was frozen for Dave. So much better than that desert water joke. That's not even true. My desert water joke was amazing. Okay. Uh, this just in, Mario dies eight hours walking down a long road in the desert. Once resuscitated, Mario finds him back at the start on this long road to nowhere. Ta -ta! I'm not gonna, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm on. I'm fine. We're almost to the end. This sandwich is so good. It's so good, dude. Amanda, I don't know if you're here, but your sandwich is kicking butt. Ooh. Ooh. This would be faster if you rode through the desert on a Yoshi with no name. True. Just saying. I've been through the desert on a Yosh with no name. It felt good to get out of the rain. I hate that song. Why? Well, I, I didn't. I wasn't able to bring my car, filthy. My name's not Mario, kid. Hmm. Which movie would I rather watch right now? That's hard. I hate them both so much.
Sirius Darkblaze asked me, will Dave manage to finish Desert Bus Mario or will he take the community challenge to restart just before the very end to show he truly does love the suffering? Well, I know that I would claim that challenge because the fans demand it. Psh. If DGR Dave has even a sliver of dignity, they'll take that challenge and restart. Anything less and they might as well hang up their controller and take up knitting. Fans run the show, always. All right, bro! When I was a kid, they said I could be anything and do anything. I, so I decided to become a Twitch streamer and spend eight hours running down a long road as Mario in a video game. Yep. Who's laughing now? Yeah! Who's laughing now? Teachers that said I'd amount to nothing. Huh? What's up, Andrew Thacker? We at you. Uh, I, I would rather watch Jingle all the way. Uncharted has zero redeeming qualities. What's up? Bathroom Toaster's here. Chat. Bathroom Toaster's here. What's up, Bathroom Toaster? Also, Floor Tank Yisu. Thank you for the 19 months. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Sorry, I said Twitch streamer in my kind instead of Twitch influencer. I'm not an influencer. You guys know Uncharted is like the bane of my existence. I love the video game so much, and they just absolutely... Chat! Now look, is the look time. what they did to if my boy. 69% of you give two subs each. We can have Dave restart this game true. since we're already at over 100 gift subs for the day. Yep, 900 more gift subs. I would restart. Ah, it's easy, Chad. It's just money. It's just money. <laughs> it's easy, Chad. Tom Holland, listen. I will never speak poorly about Tom Holland. That's the only movie I've ever seen of him. All right, he could, he'd be, a, he's probably a fine, fine lad, a fine strapping young man. But he had no business playing Nathan Drake. And it's not his fault. He, he, uh, you know, was given the role. He earned the role. But he is no Nathan Drake. Yo, CPU, thank you for the two gift subs. I really appreciate that, CPU. Thank you so much, my friend. Cookie Master. The C in, in CPU stands for cookie. 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 Cookie plates. You. Cookie per unicorn. I like that. What do you think about school lunch? I haven't had school lunch in a long time. Although I do have chicken patties occasionally, which is really close to what a school lunch would be like. What's up, Cali Mom? We're still going. We're almost done. That's what I'm telling myself, anyways. Just wait for the giant fanfare that we beat the game. Big fireworks and a big finish line. And Princess Peach and Yoshi waiting for you with cake. It's gonna be glorious. You love chicken patties? Me too. Nah, Cali Mom, it's nothing. Like, it's it's seriously such a small thing. Like, raising $60,000 for Jared Box is unbelievable. And it's this is just such a small, 
small price to pay to show like I know it's weird to say my thanks playing a terrible game like this, but to show my thanks. Am I a Swifty? I am not a Swifty. If we did a prediction now, if I had to name 10 Taylor Swift songs to save my life, I would, I would be dead. What's up, Trustful Jump? The Fonz 8 asked me, is this eight hour journey to Las Vegas really happening? Or are we all pawns trapped in the matrix? Ooh, good question. While I cannot confirm good the existence question. of the matrix, it appears that in this simulated desert, the house always wins, and DGR <laughs> Dave is betting their sanity on double or nothing. Listen, every step forward is one step closer to the end. Just one more foot, and it's the furthest from home I've ever been. Okay? One more foot. One more step. One more step. You can't BLJ. I don't know if you guys understand what BLJs require. You can't just turn around and start backwards long jumping. There has to be some... That's it! Just a reminder to Dave and chat that I love you and you're doing great. No matter what the haters say, you can do this. Yahoo! That's it! That's it! That's it! How about that fanfare? Wow. That needs to be an emote. I think we need to make that an emote. I think this needs to be an emote, chat. Proving that we did it. Yo, Darth, thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. Oh my gosh. Fawns, thank you for the five gift subs. Dark side, thank you for the 20 gift subs. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. Wow. That was that was wild, chat. Wild. Thank you so much. Wow. Uh Yeah. <laughs> that was quite the ending. Um yeah, I think I'm going to be done, chat. As as Amazing as this chat was to hang out with you. Andrew, thank you for the $10 super chat. And there was another super chat that I think came in as well. Uh, I think we're going to be done. I am going to stream tomorrow. I don't know how long I'll stream tomorrow, but we're streaming tomorrow. I just want to say thank you to everybody. That Whether ending is about as exciting as waiting for a table at a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> I just want to say... Uh, if you waited, or if you waited, if you were here even like 10 minutes, some of you were here from start to finish, I appreciate you more than you realize. Just remember that. Lucas, thank you for the $2 super chat. I'm sorry the riveting is over. And Andrew, thank you for the $10 super chat. So about that milkshake. No milkshake. No milkshake. I'm done. Goodbye, everybody. I'll be streaming tomorrow. Probably. You did it. 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 Now the riveting is over. Colon opening parenthesis. All right. I'm done. Bye, everybody. See you guys. You did it, DGR. Well done. You win. Nothing. We all did it together. You win. Bye, everybody. See ya.